Oh boy. Yo, Fight Fan was good. Back at it again. Another night of boxing. We got Hitches versus Lemos. Um, staring at a screen that says this event has been delayed. Don't know what's going on, but we shall see. We shall see. <clears throat> In the meantime, um, we already covered all these fights or all the bettable fights on Patreon, gave the picks. Uh, we got some got some crazy parlays. I got a I got a parlay that um <laughs> I got a parlay that that gets you uh like 590 bucks off 10 bucks. Uh but you know, obviously a lot of good shit gotta happen for me on that foot. Once again. This event has been delayed on the screen. Don't know what's going on. Charlie was good. Killer K in the building. <clears throat> it was supposed to start at 540, but I mean, if you know, if y'all watching it, y'all see it. Toy Mafia was good. Yeah, it's on the zone, but it ain't on yet. It says this event has been delayed. So I guess it's just going to be some waiting around. Hopefully it's just delayed and nothing like it's canceled. But hopefully it's not delayed for long, man. I mean, with the it's supposed to start 13 minutes ago. But what's up with y'all, man? Might as well talk some shit. What's going on with everybody out there? Let me see if I could. Let me see if I could try to find uh, any type of news. My design just has the golf on. Yeah, mine is just showing a yellow and black imagery with this event has been delayed and it keeps showing a diver. Hmm. Yep, yep. Well. That's why I always try to start these like 10 minutes late, but shit, it didn't do nothing for me this time. Like I said, ho hopefully it's not, you know, it's no uh, cancel cancellation, but also hopefully it's not delayed for forever. 
I'm already going to be on stream for several hours. Anyway, any of the uh, subscribers, patrons got any questions for me? Hopefully boxing related, but I guess I could tolerate it if it's not. Surely they can't they can't do a cancellation that's close to the event. Uh I hope not. You know what I mean? I, I don't I don't know what the issue is. Could be some type of issue with the broadcast. I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure. We'd just be guessing at this point. Any questions, though? What do you think is next for Fundora? Well, he has options, so, so I don't know. It's either a rematch, Crawford, Spence. One of them three. Didn't actually see a string for that fight. What did you make of it? Um, it's a good ass fight, man. It was a gory, bloody, gory mess, but it was a good ass fight. Um, surprised it didn't stop um, after round four, but they chose to fight on and uh, fought a close fight, man. Not mad at the decision. It's a good fight. His nose is broken for us, so it's gonna be a yeah. I, I'm aware. I'm aware of Killer K. His, I think they said November or some shit. But either way, I mean, he still got the same. He's still probably gonna have the same options unless you know the uh, fighters he has options for make themselves busy. Do you see Frank Martin doing any better versus Tank than Hector Garcia and Barrios? Now, it's, it's really it's hard to see that. Um, well, Barrios did did pretty well, actually. Um, Hector Garcia, he did well when he was controlling distance. Um, it's, it's tough to see what Frank will do because Frank only has, you know, very, very minimal experience versus Southpaw, and none of them at the top level. None of them near the top level. So, I mean, we can't even find film of Frank Martin versus Southpaw. So, limited Southpaw experience going up against probably a top, a top shit, two, three Southpaw in the sport. It's tough. Tall task. But, you know, Hector Garcia. So Barrios, obviously, you're not going to be able to copy Barrios' game plan because Barrios is orthodox. Frank Martin Southpaw. Um but Hector Garcia, again, he has success uh, getting Tank to reach early on. He has success counterpunching. So they could they could build a game plan around that, you know, and, and build off uh, what Hector Garcia showed him you could do.
that's pretty much all you're going to be able to go off of because Pedraza was so long ago. And then I forgot my my other guy named that he that tank fought. That was a southpaw. He was he just wasn't on a level. He was just getting embarrassed out there. The lows was good. No, oh, Eric was good, by the way. Um fight night, so we got a top in. Tap in with gems for the comments. I appreciate it, man. I wish it was fights on, but it is what it is right now. So I said, any any questions you got, go ahead. No, it was good. We're going on 22 minutes now that this has been delayed. Salute. I'm on the I'm on the YouTube channel right now. Let me switch over to back over to, to, to uh the zone. See if they're showing something different, but I doubt it. Nope, same shit. Hoodie AP was good. Christian Morris was good. You think Devin will stop Ryan? Um, I don't think it's. I don't think it's. Um, it's not impossible, but it's. I don't think it's likely. But you never know, man. I mean, to stop him would be tough, bro, because with Devin Haney, Devin Haney don't have power. He, Devin Haney's got timing. He's got timing. Um, he's got really good timing. He can catch you in between punches. He can catch you doing something stupid with your footwork, which Ryan Garcia does a lot of. But but uh, I don't know if Haney has the power to actually stop anybody. To You know what I mean? He could knock him down, but will he stop him? That's that's a tough one, man. Dr. Seuss was good. Is Lamos a good fighter? Haven't heard much about him. I had I didn't hear about him before this, uh before I studied film on him for the bet for the betting shit. Um uh, he's good. He's good. I'll give him that. I mean, he's, he's got flaws and weaknesses just like everybody else. But he's probably got more flaws. He's got more flaws and weaknesses than Hitchens for sure. But, um, but I mean, so there's a way he could give Hitchens problems. Um, if he, if it's, if they focused on, Getting that boy in the best shape he could be, and and then and then constant pressure in the fight, or majority pressure, pressure, pressure. Bro, yeah, he could give Hitches some problems, but we'll see. Do you know anything about the undercard for Devin versus Ryan fight? I mean, I could look it up. It says uh, Conwell versus Gallimore. Uh, I'm familiar with Charles Conwell. Uh, John Ramirez versus David Jimenez. Uh, Beck versus uh, Didambe. I don't know who Didambe is, but I know Beck. Uh, Barboza versus McComb. Obviously, I'm familiar with Barboza, not familiar with McComb. And that's it. 
kind of week. How did you do with your bets last night? Um, I didn't actually make any bets last night. But let me go back and look at what I said. I mean, obviously, I picked Mercado. But there was no, it wasn't no money in that shit. Um, Mercado by KO was like minus 330s. Yeah, I mean, I don't like to take them type of risks. Um, one fight I didn't see, Morales Vargas. I, I chose Vargas' decision. I don't even know what happened in that fight. One fight there was no film for, the Lewis Watts versus Perez fight, so that was a no-go. <clears throat> and uh, for Jackson Bastar, I said Jackson was the better fighter, but they were on such long layoffs that, you know, who knows? So, I mean, that's why I ain't putting no money on it. I think Derek will stop him. Your thoughts on Majamal versus Crawford? Is that is that actually? Oh, that's a rumor. I mean, um, so I'm actually doing a. Uh, that's actually a request on Patreon that I'm doing next, which should be which should be Monday. For the live live film study, so I don't really have no thoughts on it yet. I forgot he won a title with his last fight. Murder Zaliev, the new IBF one fifty four pound champ. Okay. Merkin was good. Tom Shields was good, by the way. Is lateral movement and traps the best way to counter a pressure fighter? Um, it depends. It all depends. It depends. What what else is the pressure fighter good at? What is he not good at? There's no, um, in boxing, everything has a counter, but it's no general set in stone shit like that. It depends on individual skill sets. So, I mean, what if the pressure fighter knows how to control distance still while coming forward? Then lateral, lateral traps ain't going to do nothing for you. What if the pressure fighter is really good at cutting off the ring? I was hoping Hitches versus Love, but Love don't want that smoke. Yeah, I wanted to see that fight as well. I like that Haney lets his one-two go. He's improving a lot. Not as boring as he supposedly was. I never... I never called him boring. Calling Devin Haney boring is just, I don't know, to me, you just admitting you just don't realize what's going on in the ring. Then even if you do, even if you do, you're taking all the onus off uh, his opponent and calling him boring. What is his opponent doing? That's not being successful. Devin Haney's undefeated.
Carmen Vargas by decision was a win for me. Had that in a parlay that continues into today's fight. Oh, okay. So she did win. All right. Sorry. I mean, I was successful with the with the picks I did have, but yeah, I didn't even know, bro, because they didn't show it on um, they didn't show it while we were live streaming. What time is the live film study on Monday, John? Uh, what time is good for you? We'll do it like that. How would you prepare for Endor to fight Crawford? Bro, that's a hell of a question, man. It's a hell of a question. That's going to take too long of an answer. And that I would have to really think about and, and really study for. But no one from Dora isn't really um, doesn't really like to fight on the outside and doesn't really like to use his length. I don't know. That's that's it's a tough assignment, man. It's taking away his you know his best attributes, which is, which is his size six five, however you know many inch reach. Barbosa is from South LA. I'm surprised there aren't more fighters out there. Probably can't stay in LA and focus on boxing. Okay. I think Frank will try to keep the distance, his distance, and counter tank early rounds, but I think tank will take over about or after about five rounds, but you never know what's boxing. Yeah, I mean, we'll see, man. Again, I you know. I, if I can't see Frank fight southpaws, then it's hard to break that down. 3 p.m. CST. Uh, Monday, nah, I can't do that on Monday. Um, yeah, nah, I got I got I got somewhere to go at 3 p.m. But I'm on the I'm on the East Coast, so That'd be your 2 p.m. I probably won't be back to like your uh, at least uh, 4 p.m. It's 4 p.m. CST. But that's the only thing I got to do on Monday for sure at 3 p.m. Eastern. So. Any other time, about 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., I'll be busy. Any other time, though. Oh, all right, bet. I think Frank bangs with Tank, no diddy. But not a good outcome for either fighter, to be honest. Not a good outcome for either fighter. What does that mean? All right, they are officially uh, tripping on this shit, bro. Now it's been 35 minutes since this was supposed to start. Anybody got any news out there about what's going on with the program? But yeah, what is not a good outcome for either fighter mean?
<clears throat> one of them going to sleep, what I mean. But in the long run, it's going to be bad for their health. My pick is 10. Oh, I see. You saying, you saying it's going to damage them some ways permanently? Okay. Who knows? I don't think they'll bang. Tank never bangs. He's extremely patient. No diddy. Boxer fan was good. Uh, Double R was good. All right, Eric. Well, all right, this this some bullshit here. Can anybody want to come up and ask questions? Come on up. Shayan was good. Salute. You're going to ever come out with that book? Yeah, eventually. That's just going to take time, though. I'm about to come out with a uh, <clears throat> a series of uh, videos about common mistakes, though. A lot of the, you know, just breaking down a lot of the things that we've talked about throughout these videos. Uh, just breaking them down further. And, you know, singling them out and explaining to the fullest what's up. But once again, uh, top rank, top rank and uh, some of the other specific fighters from other companies, they they be uh, they be tripping about me using the film. So most of it will be on Patreon. Once again, I you know they take it they take the monetization or they just block the video, bro. I, and I can't do this shit for free, like I've been saying. It takes too much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh, the parlay I was talking about earlier definitely got that in it. We're gonna see, man. Buddy's a walking punching bag, though, but he ain't never been knocked out. Thoughts on J. Cole's response? All right, bro, I, I, I didn't hear it. Triggs, what up? I saw this on Twitter. Is Danny Garcia a Hall of Famer? Mm, not in my book, but... Um, he's a two weight division champion, but in the second weight division, it was like a he got that belt weird as hell. I think he got that belt fighting Robert Guerrero, like when Robert Guerrero was well past it, like well after you know, like a Guerrero Floyd type shit. They obviously ain't using the film. Um, have it, bro. They just greedy, man. That's all. Especially top rank. Again, because top rank never blocks the like, never doesn't let y'all see the video. They always just take the money. Fair use just isn't a thing on YouTube, bro. It's not. It's not really fair to to boxing content creators. It ain't just me. It ain't just me. I mean, all you, all the other ones had the same problem unless unless you sign up to this bullshit program 
that um, that lets you use film that's more than that's a year or more old from top rank alone. But then, bro, they take ridiculous portions out your video. Shit, in some cases, up to like they take like up to seventy percent of your shit. <laughs> Mid range jab is going to be the very first video. What's your parlay? Uh, it's on Patreon. And lucky you, the fight's delayed, so you get to go look at it. Patreon.com slash boxing jumps. Uh, Glow you fired by decision and the fight going a distance, big money. Um, yeah, I'm bro, I'm <laughs> your fire ain't it, bro. He ain't it. I don't have a favorite fight. $2 on that five day parlay based on your recommendation. If we lose, you're reimbursed $2. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. You do what you want with your money, I do what I want with mine. Lost too many fights at welterweight. A ghost of a ghost. Damn, they'll take the profits. I thought they'd just flag it, so you have to remove the clip. Nah, nah, they just take the money. 70% is absolutely ridiculous, especially since it's 100% my intellectual property. What's a bigger advantage in maintaining distance, arm length or reach? What? That's the same thing. Big splash was good. Why would they care about fights that have already been aired? Other I'll put the fights on YouTube the next day. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, hey, greedy, bro. I, don't, I mean, that's, that's all it could be. Surprise! He became Olympian. You're fire. Yeah, he's a gold medalist. Fistiana was good. It's three dollars. Am I as good with my tickets as I am with my breakdowns? Bruh, um, no. <laughs> Shit, the, the breakdowns, I'm just describing to you what's happening on film. Um anything can happen in the actual fight there's no way i mean so that there's no way i'd be 100 percent on gambling bro that's just <laughs> that's just not <laughs> that's just never gonna happen but it's obvious that i could be 100 percent on on breaking down a fighter's style i mean that's his style it doesn't really change have to explain that bro explain what i mean are uh, we talking about uh you talking about that um well, first of all, neither one of them are as important as feet, as footwork, bro. You use footwork to control distance and maintain distance. It doesn't matter how long your arms are if my man's is stepping to you. 
opposite equal footwork maintains distance. But pit to fist or wingspan, I mean, that's not you – know, what do, what do y'all think that means in boxing? Can Hitches fight well in the pocket? Yeah, when he chooses to. I've seen him fight very well in the pocket. Go check out the um, Alamo fight if you can find it. Question made my head hurt. <laughs> Ain't you up there in percentage of bets you won? Well, bro, I'm, I mean, we put it like this, man. I, I've been working off winning since 2021, bro. Strictly working off bets I won since 2021 or late or early 2022. I can't remember when, when I started that shit. So, in other words, we up. Got the most by KO. It's possible. Isn't it? That's not really laughable. For one year, you had it 100%. Yeah, 2022. Was it 2022? Yeah, 2022 was a really good year. Facts. Wing stopper Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, I I never really I never really was crazy about Buffalo Wild Wings, man. I know a lot of people love B dubs, but I've uh Consume Wingstop far more. Is the stream still delayed? For sure it is. Look, the first part of this is on YouTube. Y'all could just go to the DAZN YouTube page and, and see it for yourself. It was supposed to be on YouTube. In all seriousness, though, there are no guarantees in betting, y'all. I've seen fights go how I predicted up until that one moment. Everything changed. Of course, anything can happen in the ring, man. You'll never be 100% on that. Plus, I ain't no, I mean, I'm far from a professional gambler, bro. I'm just betting my own picks. It's definitely a never be gambling advice. Bets have been the channel's best income. Bro, what in the world are you talking about? And how do you figure that? You've never been to Buffalo Wild Wings? Yeah. Best, best state? <laughs> I, bro, I don't know, man. That's too broad of a question. I haven't. How could I give you the best state? I, I mean, maybe if you said best city, but best state, I don't know, bro. I, it's not like we explore whole states when we go to different states. But the best city, I don't know. I, you know, everybody knows um, from the Chicago, but I would have to say um, best city. I don't know. I really had. To, I probably had to say New York City, bro. It's just so much shit you could do. So much authentic food. So much. So, you know, stays up as late as you want. Um, you can hustle anything. You, I mean, bro, it's, yeah, I, I have to say it's New York City. It's just, it's just too much going on. Lemon pepper, well done, all flats, I hear you. B 
B dubs is nasty for fight night. The Jessica, what up? The best wings are never at chain joints. Let the show begin. Kelvin was good. Something started? Show ain't start on this end. That's, I didn't say that. I said, I didn't say Patreon was only 30%. Well, I mean, full disclosure, everybody, everybody that clicks my link that's at the top of the um or that's pinned to the chat, you click that link. I mean, I get I get um a certain amount of money every time somebody signs up to uh to place bets on Bet US. I mean that's another full disclosure, that's another stream of revenue. Another way to support the channel as well, without even having to drop a dime on the channel. <laughs> Her talks of Fury versus Uzi having six judges. That well, they can't do that. I mean, that would have to be some type of special, special thing that the uh, the sanctioning bodies agree to. You know. Wing stop in London isn't all that. Never been to London. Body shot was good. Uh, Wing stop has better chicken, but B dubs has better sauce by far. Just sucks that they serve you skin and gristle with no meat, no ditty dog. <laughs> yeah, damn, bro. Pocket watch of hell. Facts. <laughs> shot yard, just nosy. <laughs> Wink stopping GA is trash. PBC was good, bro. Yeah, yeah, New York got a lot. Just rewatched the Loma versus Haney fight. Who do you who do you believe won that? When I watched it first, I scored a seven five Loma. So, but when I score a fight seven five, seven five either way or a draw. Conservative in seven to twelve against Bravo may be the very next bet I place. Um, what's the significance of seven through twelve as opposed to one through six, though? Bravo don't really guess. You think it's, it's just going to take time to figure out Bravo or what? Pocket watching it here is crazy. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> bro, put it like this, man. I'm I'm retired, bro. This box of gems is is well, I can't say all I do for money, but it's uh it's my it's the main source I have for money. So and I'm retired. At 39. Question for the chat, okay. Uh, 
Uh, you missed it. I like what? I like Olympic figure skating judging system. Five judges, and they dropped the two judges' cars with most extreme scores on either side. Smooths out a lot of volatility and scoring. Man, boxing, boxing just got to, boxing just has to tell us what the fuck they're looking at, man. The judges just got to tell us what they're looking at. There has to be a single set of criteria, and we got to know it. Because lately, man, they, they've been all over the place. They've been all over the place. I mean, I, you could tell some people looking at, of course, at clean, effective punching. Some people looking at ring generalship and favoring that more. Some people looking at, you know, just aggression and favoring that more. Like, bro, some, they, they just got to get on the same goddamn page so so we could know how to win fights. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's hard to tell. But any fighter, uh, any fighter that I work with, bro, I, I'm encouraging knockouts, man. Don't let that shit go to the judges. You either gotta, you either gotta dominate every round, or you gotta get them out of there. Because if you got rounds where you won them, but you, it was not, it's not in dominating fashion, bro. That shit can go any type of way. Serrano Royalty was good. What's the fighter on the card you're looking forward to the most? Probably the main event. Hitchens, Lemos. King Canelo time. Okay. Andre Nova was good. All right. Yeah, you're doing too much, y'all. <laughs> you're doing way too much. <laughs> Zoo's biggest flaw is always going to be his gas tank. Oh, wait, Zoo. I'm some. I'm my bad. I'm. Why am I thinking uh, Zilly Zhang? But talk about Tim Zoo. Um, Tim Zhu has a has a specific lean towards his back leg that that's that's probably gonna get him. Like if he ever faced a puncher that knew how to fight, it's probably gonna get him cracked and and, and probably drop one day. So uh, he'll either lean to the back leg in a high guard, which exposes the lead side of his face, um, and he can't do nothing about it because he's already ducking and leaning, or or he'll roll the shoulder uh, and get into that lean position before backhand is thrown, which doesn't do nothing for him. Puts him in line for a lead hand uppercut, uh, swivel jab, and an overhand. And exposes that, uh, exposes his the left side of his body on both accounts. What happens if Martin goes and beats Tank, which is impossible? But what if, bro, I don't know why you would say that's impossible. Uh-oh, we got action. Finally, god damn, bro. They, they literally an hour late. All right, shit that came on now. Um... Yeah, that's not that's not anywhere near impossible, but um, it's improbable, but not impossible. But what happens? Shit, they probably try to rematch. That's all. The boxing world will talk a lot of shit that don't mean nothing, and they'll probably rematch. Time to figure out a ball and a body attack.
I think some of the judges not even looking. That's right. You know, some of these scorecards are saying that. What do you think about the most team negotiating for the most to wear gloves with Hitchens name on it? <laughs> I, I didn't hear about that one. That's funny, though. I would love a judge to be mic'd up and explain their thought process live throughout the fight. Man, that'd be cool. Don't give us no fluff and you're an hour late, bruh. Tank ain't losing on the cards, even if Martin drops them three times. Hmm. Hitchens versus Haney would be a hell of a fight. I talked about that though on some. I think it was one of these one of these streams is either on here or Patreon, but but yeah, Hitchens versus Haney would be very interesting. I actually think Hitchens is more skilled, but Haney's Haney's better skilled at doing what he does, which is you know outboxing, you know controlling distance. Uh, uh, with the lead hand and with his footwork. And he's better at timing from the outside. But I think Hitchens is actually more skilled. It's, it's usually always technical form or they're not trying, he's not trying to put uh power on his shots. But, I mean, we've seen him drop people, so I'm not sure about saying he doesn't have any pop. Martin had to make it an inside fight. Tank a fight on the inside, man. Tank's a complete fighter. Imagine the judge just start talking about some. Well, I just think one guy was running. Oh man, ah, bro, that would that would that would uh, it would really discourage me from watching boxing, man. I don't want to hear no judge sound like no casual, no nothing fan. You think Haney is the best champion at 140? The best is the best is uh, determined with fighting. Determined by fighting. So, no. Well. Yeah, you well, you I you was on Patreon, so you probably saw the comparison video. I mean, if you think about the Shakur versus uh, De Los Santos fight, and then you think about uh, the scoring on Tio versus uh, Ortiz, bro, it was the exact same judges with opposite scorecards, fight to fight, and basically the same shit happened. Hmm. 
What's the over under on Taylor faking hurt for the Catterall rematch? <laughs> All right, we got action. Raphael, again, you, no film versus Southpaws. I have no clue. But, I mean, just to go off Tank, again, um, uh, making Tank reach and counterpunching. That's what Hector Garcia had success doing. Right, I'll be right back, man. We got some action. Um, this is going to be a crazy fight. Uh, Madero's is um, <laughs> Madero's about to swing for the fences the whole fight. Y'all going to see it. But I'll be right back. Pretty sure we're going to get some in-game action. At some point, at least. Maybe not for the undercard, but for the main event, we should. Or the main card, we should. The outcry from the fanboys if they were to see Tank getting knocked out was surpassed. I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that because uh, Arrow, I put it like this. Arrow has Arrow has fanboys for sure. Tank got fanboys, but, he, but what he has the most of are just casual fans. And, um, you know, casual fans are, are far more uh, – bandwagon jumpers than any fanboy would be casual fans you know they would talk about it they'd be like oh shit tank got knocked out it'd be a, a big thing it, it just ain't no ain't gonna be no crying about it though fanboys do the crying casuals casuals just jump on to the next one or you know what i mean just move on with their life <laughs> All right. Is this in one of my parlays? And watch my guy. So when we start throwing power, yeah, here we go. But them fences. A body shot. Nice double up to the body. Started off with level changes to stab jabs and a bunch of body work. Mm, another nice shot to the body. That four to the body is tough. Liver shot, liver shot, three liver shots in a row. Another one. 
Oh, yeah, he felt that. You saw that deep breath. Mmm, damn. <laughs> that was ugly. Knockdown. Um, I don't know if this was in one of my parlor. I, I, obviously, I picked the stoppage in this, but um, it was pretty obvious. But uh, I don't know if I picked it. It wasn't worth no money, so I don't think I put it in no parlor. Or no, that's what it was. They didn't give me the option when I was uh, betting to make it by a uh, knockout. Let me check that US. Buddy not gonna last past round two. Matter of fact, did I got it on live betting? No, yeah, they do. Let's see. Oh, they only got the they only got the money line. Trash. It wasn't a standing count, it was a knockdown. The ropes held them up, so it's a knockdown. It's just like he hit the canvas. Oh, yeah, I do have Maderos in a uh, parlay, but oh, I got him in two. But, yeah, this is, I think he was like a minus 5,000, so it wasn't shit. It was just some add-on shit that added, that literally added a couple, couple dollars. But again, I just, I, I just bet what I picked. All right, it should go past this round. Let me see. Um, again, let me see if they got other lines up. Yep, they do. Uh, they got the props up. Madero's by KO's minus 700. Good body shot, man. He keep digging at that body. It's definitely gonna happen sooner for him. Oh, left hook, left hook puts him down. Single mid range jab, uh, bow and arrow jab. Finds that left hook. Got up though. All right, yeah, just let your hands go, man. The ref ready to stop this shit, bro. Let your hands go. The ref ready to stop it, man. Oh, my God. You know, let him fight back a little bit. The ref looking dead at dude, ready to stop this shit. And you ain't doing nothing.
Buddy dropping his backhand and throw a jab. It's crazy. Now, now the ref looking back relaxed and shit. He missed a little opportunity to get his ass out of there quick. Go back to the body. But he wasn't supposed to get out of this round, man. He had to he had the opportunity to stop him. This shit is a foregone conclusion. The ref was ready to end it for him. Corner should have been yelling at him. That's what I don't understand about that shit. Like, bro, corner, the corner, y'all gotta have your eyes peeled, man. So look at the ref. Look at his demeanor. The ref was ready to jump in immediately. If Buddy would have just let his hands go. It'd have been a wrap. Okay, he got he got Yoel coaching him. Yoel Judah. <laughs> it's a slight, slight bow and arrow jab. Got his ass floored. Did you put that live bet on? What, minus 700? Hell no. No, I already, um, again, he's already in a couple of my parlays. I don't bet enough money to for minus 700 to, to be anything. Mm, good body shot. There you go. Oh, my God. Stay defensively responsible, and the ref going to stop the fight for you, bro. But <laughs> studying film, I already said, um, if somebody doesn't uh, get him to control his punches, control his power, you know what I mean? If he's swinging for the fences on everything, somebody going to clip him one day. He leaves himself too open. Trying to put everything behind the shot. It also means once he uh, once he starts having uh, you know like ten scheduled rounds or even eight scheduled rounds, you got to watch his gas tank too. Because again, he's putting everything behind his shots. Similar to Canelo, except Canelo's got somewhat uh, uh, tighter. Uh, technical form on his punches on on most shots that is but you catch canelo wing and wide shit too buddy kind of forgot about the body man there you go that's a body shot Double hook, second one lands. Counter jab, split the uh, double jab. Uh, three, got his attention on that bow and arrow jab again. There you go. They go back to that body, man. He's giving it to you. That's easy. Oh. Tried to hit him with that same three. I think he clipped him, too. Oh, my God. Now, we can see you loading up on that backhand, man. 
Go back to the body. Like I said, Buddy could have been had to knock out. How do you get fights with that record? Uh, well, Ayudas, uh, all right, now you're a professional boxer. You're going to fight. I mean, do you, do you want to fight somebody 15 and 0 for your debut? 13 and 0 for your debut? 7 and 0 for your debut? Or you want to fight somebody 7, 6, and 1? How about your third fight? You want to fight somebody 15 and 0? Or seven, six, and one. You gotta develop the professional skills, man. And it's so much of a mismatch. There we go. All right. All right. I knew the – see, I told you. When he lets his hands go, the ref going to jump in and give him the stoppage. He probably shouldn't even stop it right there. But but I, I just – I mean, I saw him from round two. He was ready to do that shit from round two. Well, Buddy was a no hoper though. You know what time Hitchens fight start? I know the main card starts at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. But the ring walk times, I'm not sure. Probably going to have to Google that one. Yeah, answered your question, didn't he? Again, I said that in the uh, Patreon film study, it was going to be a knockout. Ref stop is just as good. Kenton, you knew the Patreon is, is definitely on there, bro. All you got to do is um, pay attention to the uh, Boxing Gems bets, vids. Um, my pick with the notes are in the Boxing Gems betting chat. Put it like this, though, um, for female fights, I just got a general rule that I go with a more technically proficient fighter. If you know, I just I just pee. when I watch film, I see who has the best tech, the better technical skills. And I go with that fighter. And that shit typically works. Shit, I say about 90 percent of the time. Yep. You see a lot of the UK guys with guys like that on their uh, record. Doesn't this create a comfort zone or something like easy mode? But that's the thing. You don't keep them fighting people like that. You gradually move them up in competition levels. Like you got a blue chip prospect. All right. You give them. You give him uh, easy work his first fight just so we could get 
a taste of the ring and get used to being on a, you know, in a professional setting, right? Um, even if you want to move them quick, right? You still got to gradually move them up. Next fight might be against the guy that's four and two. Next fight might be against a guy that's 10 and three, 10 and four. You know what I mean? For your first fight, you got to fight Keyshawn David. Yeah, that's not going to work well for many people. See, and that's the problem. Folks that don't have um, that don't have proper management and, and a promoter behind them, they got to take what they could get, bro. So that's what ends up happening to some of these dudes. Like some of these dudes could actually fight, but they don't have proper management. So they get thrown to the wolves their very first fight. Or a very or a second fight, a third fight, a fourth fight, they get thrown straight to the wolves on some shit they're not ready for. They haven't been developed for. They don't have proper training time because they don't have any money backing them. You know what I mean? So these blue chip dudes, they get their life paid for. That's the difference. They get their life paid for from the beginning. You sign with somebody before your pro debut, like a top rank or whatever uh match room you get your you, you got your life paid for without making any money yet you're an investment the rest of these motherfuckers gotta go get a job man Mr. Aloha was good. Visionary was good. Can't understand how someone would want to coach a journeyman in boxing. What? Why? It's, I mean, it's money. If you're a coach, I mean, why not? And I mean, it, it actually, it could actually be lucrative. Because the journeyman has no qualms about being active. Like he could be as active as he wants if he's willing to travel the world. And he's not getting knocked out like that. He just got, you know, he just can't be the contender level guy. I mean, you get used as you get used as um, a, a stepping stone for prospects or or a tune up fight for contenders or, you know, what I mean, so. Shit, you get five, six fights worth about worth from anywhere from you know 15 to 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 let's say like 50k. It's a decent living. And then the coach, the coach get 10% of that. So and that's for only one fighter. You got a stable of like, say you got a stable of like five journeymen, bro. You could have, you could have a, a I mean, that could, that could become lucrative for you. How do you become a blue chip dude? I mean, it's just that's just um, that's just uh, promotional companies, matchmakers saying you are. Usually, typically, you got to, you know, come out the Olympics or come out um, nationals, national golden gloves. But yeah, it's just up to the, a matchmaker for 
a specific promotional company to, to, to believe in you. I see you got the skills to do it. In fact, I mean, that would be that would be a type of job I'm interested in. I would be interested in, but I'd need a bag for it. Picking picking champions before uh, before they before they turn pro. And matchmaking, of course, throughout the pro career. You gotta fight Tank or Key first, or else you bum fighting nothing but bums. That's yeah, yeah, that's a fact. One of my old co-workers is a pro boxer. Nah, I missed that one, bro. Working in the warehouse. Yeah, man. I mean, that's most. The vast majority. I mean, how many blue chip prospects you know? It's not a lot of them motherfuckers. It's not a lot of just straight up investments out here. What do you think about Andy Cruz fighting guys with 20 bouts or more since his first fight? I, I think it's cool. Andy Cruz is one of the – Andy Cruz might be the best or one of the best amateurs I've ever seen. So, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense, but don't get it twisted, bro. He's not fighting like – he's not fighting contenders, bro. He's not fighting like those that's, uh, you know – in the runnings to to look at a belt and no shit like that. He's fighting guys that are that are mostly past it, or just straight up straight up journeyman. Don't journeymen make a lot of money, bro? Nobody makes a lot of money in boxing aside from. It depends on what you think is a lot of money, I guess. Opponents like that dude, seven and six, seven, six and one, and now seven, seven and one. Uh, he he, he might have got like, you know, five grand. But now you got to sit. Well, I'm not sure you got to sit out for a TKO as long as the KO. But but yeah, you probably got like five grand or some shit like that. Raw was good, man. Unless you get lucky with some talent, or else you're going to get started making a living training. Well, um, well, how are you trying? I mean, it depends. Like, did you come in it into it with some with some money to invest in it? Like with your own boxing gym? And if you got your own boxing gym, obviously that's how you make money. Um, but if you're just a trainer at a boxing gym, then you know, obviously you get money, you you make money as a as a trainer. Uh you make money as a trainer because obviously you gotta you gotta the people the people uh paying for the program pay you or you get paid through the program so but a decent living uh depends man
But Raphael could come off the streets and say, you know, say if I was a trainer, you, I mean, you come into the gym like, yo, I'm trying to get trained for this, this and that, or I'm trying to just get trained to stay in shape. Then that's how I'm going to make money. If I got, you know, 20 Raphaels, then I'm all right, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Blue chip amateur. Jim's favorite from Jake Paul's Jim's favorite. Okay. Facts. 100% my favorite fighter. Bro, that's that's far from the truth, man. Far from the truth. Sorry to say. I mean, if you can't see it, you don't you don't really know the game, man. I put my last dime on 80s fighters over 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 this era. Uh, he eventually became a journeyman for sure. Piece of boy was good. Not quality in terms of skill, but a brutal war. Now, brother, if you know me, fam, you know I'm not interested. What's your favorite combo, bro? Come on, man. People been making those comparisons, but... Silly, bro. That's all. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, fight, bro. Willie Pep. That motherfucker can fight, bro. Nicolino Lochi, not so much. But... Yeah, that's well before. I'm I'm talking about, I think the 80s was the best era as far as um the height and peak of uh technical skill and and uh, just the overall game being, you know, elevated and on a on a competition and skill level. Shit, bro, them 80s those was crazy. They gonna say you stuck in the past. Well, the difference is they don't know shit about boxing, and um, I created a lane to work with professional boxers. Facts, Mo. Especially you gotta throw that mid-range jab. That's my favorite. I answered that earlier. Uh, film study on Patreon, film study video, partially on YouTube. <laughs> six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five. <laughs> yeah, the shoe shine, that's it.
Uh, who's Tank's best competition? So far in his career? I'll be right back, yo. Who are some of the more technical fighters from the 80s, bro? I, I don't understand how you can make the statement you made and then ask this question. Like, what, what do you mean, bro? I mean, at least everybody, every boxing fan should know the four kings. All right. Navarro Lopez. I don't think this was up to bet on. I ain't bet on this. All right, you know the okay, you know the four kings, but you're asking me who is some of the better technical fighters. Well, you can start with them. Okay. Damn, my, my screen just kicked me out and then went back in. On Patreon, we was just watching uh, Michael Nunn versus Frank Tate from 1988. <laughs> My guy Body Shot made a good observation. So, so you know who Michael Nunn looks a lot like? He looks like Boots. All the way up to the heavyweight division, the Larry Holmes. We go back to we go back to the smaller ways. We're afraid of Benita. I mean, bro, it's... Late 80s into the early 90s, which are, which are Pernell's, which are Julio Cesar Chavez, which are, I mean, It's not even close. Let's put it like that. It's not, and this shit is nowhere near close to say what era is technically better. That shit is nuts. What's up, man? What up, man? How you doing? All right, Treggs is 20. Treggs is an amateur fighter, uh, gold glove champion, New Jersey. Uh, <laughs> is this the best era of boxing? No, nah, definitely not. <laughs> Most definitely not. We got we got we just had Roly as a champion. Like, 
Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that that should say enough for itself. So. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> That's a good point. Good point. What's good with you though, man? I'm chilling. I'm about to go watch the fight. I'm making some food right now. I don't know if it's too loud. Nah, nah, you're know. good. I can't I can't hear nothing. Uh, yeah, this is a fight. This is a fight that I didn't study. I didn't I couldn't bet on. It wasn't up for uh they had no lines for it. So, mm, nice little double up though, five to a three. He did it again. Nice little combination he put together. Who was is that? Uh, Navarro. Oh, Stephen Navarro. I don't know his first name. I only see Navarro. He, it's his pro debut. Is it? Um, Do I got like the stats? Hold on, I can look it up. Uh, this don't look like no pro debut type of fight though. Yeah, it is Stephen Navarro. Yeah, he just he just got back from the Olymp he he was in the Olympic trials. That's probably why. So they're probably pushing him. Yeah, his first fight is against us. The dude is four and two, Lopez. Mm, nice body work, huh? Hey, his little inside combination is kind of kind of nice. Decent little defensive responsibility for the most part so far. I mean, I see him get touched once or twice. He nice. He, he he's, he's, really, he's good in the pocket. Say so Shakur cousin. He be Shakur cousin at the um, at the trial. Oh, he beat Shakur cousin. Oh, yeah. About to go to him pretty soon. Yeah, I really like how he's changing head slots with his combinations, man. I'm the safer way to, to do it from mid range to inside. Mm. Single mid range jab, landed the crawl or landed the backhand right over it. I think. A little hot pivot right there to take an angle. Went to work. Nice tuck and lean. Block that body shot. Inside slip. Five to the body. Oh, yeah, buddy. Buddy, all right, man. It's funny, man. Roly versus the 80s, those. <laughs> Is it Roly versus Roberto Duran? Single mid-range jab got you cracked again, buddy. Nice little uppercut from Lopez, though. Lopez ain't – he's not horrible. At four and two, he's just – he's not horrible. 
but clearly he's uh, outclassed. Hmm. That was a nice ass cross off that level change. Damn that five that five three keeps throwing super nice as well. Nice defensive responsibility in a pocket, man. Definitely like to see um, – this would be tough for a guy st coming straight from, uh, you know, top-level amateur fights, but definitely like to see controls on the inside. And if not controls, then angle changes. Uh, but you'd rather see both. Uh, nice little three on the inside. Look like it buzzing. Nice bodies. That inside slip five to the body's been killing shit. Mm. Single mid range jab and the falling in. Hit him with that overhand. Not a huge fan of switching stances, but. I was just about to say something about that. Yeah. I mean, he stays orthodox, but he keeps giving him a single mid-range jab. So that overhand is just money every time. But he's pretty much just dominating this guy from whatever range, whatever stance. Uh, average, uh, no. No, nah, this is, uh, he's super flyweight. Kermel's 130. Connor Nigma was good, man. Lateral trap into that cross from Southpaw. But he doesn't have an overhand for the single mid-range jab from Southpaw. Uh, decided to keep the high guard that time. Let's see if we see a high guard trap. It looks like it's coming up. Oh, no. Went back into a traditional, back to the high guard, a little long guard. All right, so long guard led to a step back cross. Three uppercuts in a row. That was crazy. Uh, buddy trying to use controls on him, not able to control his arm. He's just getting hit. Mm, nice control for the spin out.
lot of angle changes, but he didn't punch from it. I don't care what guard I have with. I'll never let somebody land three uppercuts in a row on me. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> like, I don't double punches on me. Like, like mm. he's not hitting me with the same hand twice. Like, that's good. That time he hit him with the custom motto shift. Went gotta to work with a body shot. shot. Huh? You gotta have that royal athleticism to pull that off on me. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three uppercuts there. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, that was a good shift. Good body work. Nice. Hey, that, that double up. Nice with his right hand. Shit, and his left. Mm, nice five. Uh, weave cross. Or oh, weave uh, swivel, I should say. It's hard to keep track of what stance he's in. There's got to be some bacon or something, uh, or or frying chicken. That shit's super sizzling. My fault. <laughs> <Now he's, laughs> what he's, is he's, it? He's burgers. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's burgers man. What you on a foreman grill or something? You said a foreman grill? Yeah, that's, that's the pan. That's an old pan. I ain't gonna lie. Man. Oh, okay. I know that <laughs> burgers make their own oil. I'm a, I'm a born musician. <laughs> nah, I said um, I said they didn't uh, they didn't uh, had his shit. Up. They had no lines on this fight. I couldn't bet on. It. Tough to have lines on a pro debut. How would they know? Bro, it wasn't chicken, bro. He just said it was a burger. Still looking crazy out here, so what <laughs> the hell, bro? <laughs> uh, Killer K relentless. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice little hot pivot to that small little angle right there. Yeah, Navarro could fight, man. So pro debut, and he's in a six round fight. Interesting. Buddy's uh four, two, and three. Never been stopped. So I was gonna say I'm not sure if Buddy got a beard or if Navarro ain't cracking, but damn, it looks like he's cracking. The way Buddy's head flopping around. But time will tell. Oh, shit. Yo, uh, like I said, Lopez wasn't horrible for four, two, and um, four, two, and three. Man, y'all should look at his resume. That shit crazy. Man, I got to show y'all this shit. Talk about 
talk about getting thrown to the wolves. What's my man's name? Got a super common name though. Um, God damn, bro. Super duper common name. I look up Navarro just to find him. Look at this shit. First fight. First fight. Fought a guy two and oh. Second fight, fought a guy three and oh. Third fight, one and six. Four fight, seven and oh. Fifth fight, one and oh. Six fight, eleven and two. 10 and 1, 3 and 0, 9 and 1. Like, goddamn, bro. Now, his, his shit went like Buddy was saying in the comments. Yeah, Mo, he's, he's winning every round pretty easily. He probably just like how you were describing. He probably got a bad management team. He probably would have. Had some talent if they moved him, right? That's what I'm saying. Was. He got draws against against nine and one and three and zero, oh and you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like they that's this shit is tough. This is a tough ass schedule for your first whatever um for your first what nine fights. Like what made him go up to? All right, so he, he ended up two, two, and one. Then he fought an 11 and two dude and beat him. 10 and one dude beat him. And then a draw against a three and no guy. Hey, Sus Martinez, right? They putting them against, they like, they testing them against prospects they think are better. And that's that's what it really is. And he's beating some of them. Like I said, he wasn't, he's not horrible at, you know, even with that uh record. But you know, he ain't he ain't exactly good, but he ain't horrible. Navarro, yeah, he he handling them easy though. So this is actually a uh this is actually a really good first fight for Navarro. Damn, he, he stopped him. That ref was kind of bogus for that, though. Ref was kind of bogus for that. I don't know about that stoppage. But he was, again, he was going, he was, he was winning every round. But yeah, really good, you know, first fight. I like really that stoppage. You said what? I like that stoppage, man. I ain't like that. Nah, bro. It was 20 seconds left in the fight. He just, I mean, he just had hurt on me. He, he started landing a little bit, but 
man, that shit was quick as fuck. Well, look out for Navarro, man. He looks good. But yeah, the ref, yeah, it's kind of bogus. Now, granted, it could have got bad. It could have got worse, you know. But shit, let it happen, man. Let the let the guy I, again. He's not no regular four, two, and three dude. Oh, that stoppage was terrible. I'll take it back. That shit was awful. <laughs> he only landed one punch in those uh in that five. That shit was awful. Well, look, um, that's not an easy. So, Buddy's going to be four, three, and three with one knockout loss that he probably didn't deserve. Um, and that's not that's not an easy step, you know what I mean, for a, for a, a debut blue chip or, a, or, you know, even somebody that's like, you know, five and oh, six and oh, he's not an easy opponent. Navarro made it look easy or easier, but it's not like Buddy didn't land. You know what I mean? Buddy wasn't doing some shit in there. What up, Dirt? Navarro is pretty sharp. Facts. That was a trash ass stoppage. Yeah, Lopez definitely gonna be a good test for um for guys uh that they're that they think they're high on. Definitely need fighters like that in the game. Yeah, we uh, we had a somebody requested Ben Whitaker's flaws as a live film study on Patreon. So that video, I think it might be still up. It's been a while though. All you gotta do is go back and watch this, the amateur fights, and you will see all that shit. You will see. You will see uh, a so-called slick fighter getting out slick. Except he's not, I mean, he's not slick. He's flashy. He's slick, but he's he's more flashy. Once you meet, you know, once you, you meet up with them uh, technically skilled and slick Dominicans or Cubans and the amateurs, all that shit going to go right out the window. I'm gonna take this L. So y'all try to um, you could copy the link 
and put it in your uh, web browser. See if that works. No, I don't delete the videos. After a while, they they get uh, automatically deleted for space. Or else, I mean, that means, you know, or else I'm going to have a thousand live film studies taking up all this memory space. Each of them, 30 minutes to an hour and a half long. Like, bro, that's, that's too much, man. Nope, he wasn't. All right, bet for the re every yeah the rest of the card yeah all the main all the main card uh, bet on all that shit every single fight you know all that shit's in parlays so I need Castro to get this stoppage. For my for my big parlays to work, but I got a couple parlays that just got them winning. But I need him to get that stoppage though, which might be a tougher task. Go grab some water real quick. Did you see his fight against Leon? Who the hell is Leon? I think he's talking about uh, Benjamin Whitaker. Yeah, who is Leon? I don't know, some, some dude before he was supposed to be. Yeah. Like, both started climbing him too. Like, I mean, he won the fight, but. He's doing that flashy shit. But most hey, yeah. Triggs, um, I gotta say that um this is the most well done cooked burger I've ever heard of. Bro. Oh chill, chill, chill. Now nah, I was making a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooking dinner, chill. <laughs> I'm about to say, man, you, that burger still frying, fam. That motherfucking shit is black. That shit would look like the, the crabby patty that they found under the under the stove. Right. <laughs> Not sure Pachico would get to stop us. Yeah, I I didn't bet. I didn't bet that. I bet Pachico to win. But I ain't about to stop his man. It, it's just <clears throat> his opponent. His opponent has a skill set that could give Pacheco some problems. But the main thing about the stoppage or not was uh, his opponent is an athlete. So you never know when these guys, you know, decide to survive. You know what I'm saying? What type of 
what type of lateral movement they're going to use to survive when they're when they're good athletes. And that's I mean, it's really up to them. So I ain't want to bet on it. Twenty hours of frying songs. Rob was good. You ain't jacking Majormal versus Bud Jacking. What the hell does that mean? It means like, like you do you like it. Like it's a New York thing. Like it's like you fuck with it. Like how you feel about I, it? I mean, it's cool. It's for a belt. Mark Castro fight started. What? Not on the zone. All right, why this shit ain't? Oh, okay. Yeah, ain't, we talking about the fight started, bro. Where you watching this? That shit ain't start. Body shot was good. What's good, everybody? What's up, bro? Hey, uh. Oh, what's up, Trace? So you all you off again, huh? What's that? I said you off work. I just got off work. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I've been working since seven a.m. Damn. I get off, I get off early on um on Saturdays. I usually work till like six or seven. Well, welcome. Thank you. What I miss? Did did a prospect just fight? Yeah. Yeah. Who fought? I heard you guys well. talking a little bit. Uh, Navarro, uh, he looked good too. He looked good. I, I heard a little bit. You were talking about him fighting in the pocket. What was that looking like? Uh, it was. He was looking nice. He was looking nice. He kind of. He needs to develop some uh, controls, but as far as you know, the angle changes, step arounds, all that shit. He was good. The combination punching was excellent. Moving head slots uh, for defensive responsibility. Tucking nice. lean, like like he had it all. That's a nice. That's, that's cool. Double, doubled up on um, either hand. I mean, he was switching stances, which you already know. But uh, <laughs> um, but still, he he. I could say it's more. It was more tasteful than 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 uh, most people do it. Schofield. <laughs> Did I say that? Oops. <laughs> I meant to sneeze. How's the short, tight, compact punches on the inside? Very nice, man. That's good. That's always very, good. very nice. 
think that's the first thing guys forget to do on he the got a bullshit. He got a bullshit uh, stoppage from the ref, but but still, he dominated the fight. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. No, uh, Cheyenne. I never fought. Um, I never did any striking amateur sports. I only did like grappling, wrestling, jujitsu, stuff like that. But I trained. I trained like in the gym. You know, I trained boxing and I trained uh, kickboxing currently. Oh, Galal Yafai. He's he hasn't fought yet. Damn this fucking guy, man. Yeah, man. Uh, so my biggest parlay got got that upset on there. That that is very possible, man. Because I don't know either he has a chin or he just ain't fighting no punches. Because that dude just be getting clipped badly. And this is a guy that can clip him too. Oh man. So we are gonna see, man. I'm, hey, if that shit happens, then I might be in some. Uh, well, it ain't never big money, but. But uh, I got one parlay. Ten dollars gets me like five hundred and something. Oh, so damn. Uh, yeah, it's part of that. It's part of that parlay. So damn, that's like a that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a plus five thousand. Yeah, or some shit like that. Yeah. Shit, then that's five hundred eighty. <laughs> yeah, some shit like that. Yeah, I can look at I can look at what exactly it is. Let me see. It's in the uh I put it in the uh betting chat on Patreon. It's uh oh I'm, my bad. It's plus it's plus five thousand nine hundred twenty something. So it's ten dollars gives me five hundred and ninety two dollars and forty three cents. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's plus five eight two four. Damn, my bad. Yeah, that's that's that is literally oh, five hundred eighty dollars and twenty four cents. Yeah. Oh, five hundred eighty two. Yeah. Okay, I get, I get you. Five hundred eighty two dollars. You don't see that. I mean, obviously, obviously, I'm going against uh, some eyes, and, and you know, upsets are definitely hard to pick. But you fight ain't it? And I've been saying that for the longest time. Uh, we're gonna see. Mm -hmm. It's for a baby belt, so it's the step up. Yeah, we're going to see. So a body shot. I started to, I started in kickboxing and helped my footwork. Really? Kickboxing helped your footwork. Interesting. It was the other way around for me. My footwork got clean after I started studying, paying attention to boxing. Bro, Shayan, you definitely... You're a patron. Go look at the boxing gym uh, betting chat. It's on there. It's like it's, all you got to do is scroll up twice <laughs> and it's there. Body, everybody talking body shot about MMA. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the match has been that boring? Nah, well, it's just fluff right now, so. I see. Hey, man, I see what you mean. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of people coming here is people from other martial arts that want to learn boxing. So yeah. Yeah, they, they're they interested in other shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, I actually had a couple of MMA guys reach out. Man, shit, they're at the right place if they want to learn boxing and they're from other martial arts, like for real. But yeah, we all could like come together as like a community and start some MMA you know, community as well. MMA gyms. Yes, sir. Coming soon. Mm hmm I'd have liked to do it with UFC 300. That, that, that would have been a good start. I feel like we couldn't have got a lot of traction with that, being what, that that's a big event. It? It's next week. It's on Saturday. Uh, nah, it's too soon, though, bro. Too, too, yeah, I know. It's too late to start on that, but that would have been a good start because I already started on on some film study on that, and then um, but yeah, I, I figured it would be. Too how about early. how about how about you do uh, if it's a big event and and you're doing like one of the bigger fights on there, just do the analysis with. 
that's what I was thinking. Jamal Hill versus uh Pereira. If you help me, we can get that shit knocked out because it's gonna be a striking fight. I'm telling you. It doesn't what I'm saying. Not not a not a film study, but the analysis after after the fight, like breaking down what happened. Oh, okay. You mean after the fights are done? Do it. Yeah, we could. Shit. Yeah. I thought. Wow. You, yeah. Predictions are, are are fun too, though. I like predictions. But yeah. I mean, we could we could do that later on for sure. I'm sure um, UFC got a bunch of good events or MMA. Period. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't know shit about it, man. <laughs> I just I want to be able to do it like how you do it. How you'll you know. You put the the prediction. People are gonna talk shit. People are gonna say you did that. You should have did this and that. And then when when the fight happens, we go back and say flashback. Remember what this film study showed you, motherfuckers. You know, and then that'll make people want to come in and learn. Yeah, true that. True that. He said, "Gems, what did you put on there?" Damn. Then you said you only put one on there, Gems. Yes. What? What? Huh? What you looking for, bro? What, what is your question? <laughs> one parlay, yes, that's the parlay. Oh, okay. About. That's the exact one I, we were talking about. What, what, what are you looking big. for? Oh, there you go. You already got a. Follower uh, to MMA gems right there. There we go. I think I think what he means though is he's here to help out his MMA. Yeah, I know. No, mm-hmm. I think he's just saying he'll be interested in watching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Body shot. Who's the best MMA striker currently? Currently, it's um, uh, Leon Edwards. Probably Leon Edwards. Who else they got? I need to think more. Leon Edwards is fucking nice. Yeah. Oh, um, per- Pereira. I'm tripping. Pereira. Fucking eight-time kickboxing world champion. What am I thinking, dude? Oh, yeah, Pereira. I I know. Yeah. He's the best. Who? I mean, this must be for body shot again. Come on, man. Jamal said he's going to be a str- – he said he's not going to take Pereira to the ground. He said he's gonna strike with him, so he's he's already painted his own like like camp like his bed like he's he's already laid out his bed like it's it's over. He could be bullshitting. I mean, I don't again. I don't know who these people are, but he could be bullshitting. Uh, Jamal Hill is not really a great wrestler to begin with. Pereira has been able to defend against higher like caliber grapplers, and again, you got an eight-time kickboxing champion versus a wild swarmer. And this dude Pereira's a, a counter striker. Jamal's gonna no, win. It sounds like he don't stand a chance. He doesn't. He does. He he's, he has a, a, a look. Jamal Hill is, is very athletic, man. Powerful, fast, and he's got like he counter punches very well too. He's got those twitchy reflexes, as people call them. But Pereira's got too much skills and, and ring IQ experience. He's gonna catch him lunging forward. He's gonna drop. He's gonna knock him out. That's what I think is gonna happen. But Jamal Hill has a strikers or a punchers, whatever you want to call it, chance in MMA. <laughs> Bro, uh, he said MMA casuals worse. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard. No, well, well, here's the thing. MMA casuals are worse as far as being casual and not knowing shit. But ain't nobody as aggressive as these damn virgin boxing fans, man. <laughs> well, I, I think the ones that, that are really aggressive are just fanboys, bro. We I don't get as many of those in MMA. We don't. We we get like people who just you know they're green. They don't really know what's up. But these boxing fans, dude, they be ready to shoot you up, come to your house. Oh yeah, you. that's that, bro. That's people that love people. That's where that comes from. They they're emotional about it because they love a fighter. They love these dudes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, did he? It's all Diddy. <laughs> I like that. That is, that is uh, true. Yeah, so you are tripping, bro. I got all my picks on there, bro. All my picks. You can make your own parlay out of them. That's all I did. Including the parlay I actually put up there. Mom 
Mark Castro is not in the ring yet. No, it wouldn't be on a different channel. Uh, unless, I don't know, not, not at first. Nah, matter of fact, no, it just wouldn't be on it. I probably, maybe, I might I might grow another channel along with, I'm going to put the videos on Boxing Gym, but I'm a, I might grow another channel with the same content along with it. Maybe. That's probably a good idea, though. So I can eventually separate the two. If I if I wanted to, I don't know. I think about it. MMA fighters don't really be thinking like robots. Not every move is for a reason. I think you would get the hang of MMA quick. Is that true or why? Not mm-hmm. every move is for a reason. You sure about that, Jose? No, 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 no. That's, that's not that's, that's not but, boxing specific. That's just combat sports in general, bro. Everything you do is supposed to be for a reason. Anytime you have a, a movement that's being used and you don't know the reason of it, that's a waste of you know of movement, waste of time, gas, opportunity, everything. It's just a lack of ring IQ in any right. martial yeah, art. That, now that sounds yeah, that sounds like any combat sport. Mm-hmm. But yeah, salute, bro. Salute, Beth. Yeah, well, just like with these boxing videos, you know, that we already make these film studies for uh, your pre-fight film studies. Mm-hmm. We don't really give a damn about the predictions, man. We just, I mean, we're just trying to, I'm just trying to, I've been just trying to teach boxing through the best or through the uh, the best way possible that gets the most views to, to spread the knowledge more. And I just found out early on that the upcoming fight film studies get the most views. So that's why I chose to keep making those. But I got, I mean, if you if you go back to the beginnings of the channel, it was it didn't start off like that. It didn't start off like that at all. I was doing like what I would do is I just show you a whole round of boxing and just break down every single move, move by move. That's how the channel started out. It's not damn near impossible to predict. It's not. It's 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 really like just like you say um, all the time. Film don't lie. If you go watch that film, you will see what a fighter's habits are. You could put it all together. If you train, you know the moves. You know how they go. You know what. You know you could definitely predict MMA. The judges, on the other hand. Uh, do you want me to oh, answer that? So you could, I don't care. Nah, Rob trolling, man. But bro, do you like you guys aren't gonna like this? Um, if I tell you who the role of a uh, like, I'm rest in peace to the to him. I, I love him to death. No diddy. Kimbo Slice is probably the role of MMA. Mm. I hate to say it, he just lacks yeah. skill. He, hmm. Except for Rev. Yeah, Kimbo Slice was. He wasn't it, man. In the in the cage, he had a few good fights. He knocked out some. Uh, I forgot. I think it was Ken Shamrock, but Ken Shamrock was like 45, 46. Like he was old. Wasn't well, he a wrestler? Kimbo, who Shamrock or Kimbo? Yeah. Kimbo was a street fighter. No, nah, Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock was a freestyle fighter. It's like he wasn't specifically a wrestler. He did like oh. in in J- Japan they had a whole system. It was everything. I'm talking about WWE. Wasn't he a WWE fighter? Oh, uh, maybe right. maybe long well, look, after. Hey, here go, here go, here go, Castro. Just and y'all could uh, continue with your conversation, but Castro about to, about to start fighting. Oh, okay, just my God. But go ahead, no, nah, go ahead. Okay, I was just, uh, what was I saying? Uh, what were you asking, Triggs? Again, I thought he was a WWE fighter. Oh yeah, yeah, I was saying. I think he probably did it. You know, just some of these UFC fighters, um, some of these dudes will do that shit when they retire, when they get mm-hmm. older. 
He probably did that. But he's he's the only thing I could think of that's like the role of MMA. I was trying to say Michael Venom Page was the role of MMA because he was he was in like the what was it Strike Force and they weren't really they didn't have a stacked roster. It was either old like you know what I mean veterans or just like shitty contenders. And he was running running through that whole division. And he was like, you could see his flaws, man. I was like, that's Roley. But he just came to UFC and beat Kevin Holland. And Kevin Holland, to me, is like, you know, he's not he's not great. Don't get me wrong. But I think he, I thought he was going to expose him. So I, I, I'm going to have to change my mind on that. I need that ref from the uh, Navarro fight to come back. <laughs> I need this knockout. <laughs> oh, shit. So, I, I mean, I can tell a lot of y'all watch this shit, so it sounds like it's a good idea to add the... Add the uh, Add that as a new um, segment. Mm -hmm. Watch these MMA casuals come here and be like, "Gems, you don't know shit about MMA." <laughs> well, I mean, if they know me, they know it ain't me talking. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you know, people used to the channel. They they hate when uh they hate when <laughs> when Jacob. Joey and Jacob do the film study, bro. That shit is hilarious. Like, man, I don't like their voice. I like your voice. I'm like, all right, no diddy. Okay. <laughs> I don't think. All right, no, Friday started. That's crazy. <laughs> stone face. This is stone face right here. Stone face versus Montoya. <laughs> Let's get it. I need this KO stone face. <laughs> nice body shot, man. I was a little sneaky ass body shot. Buddy's a slow, slow punching, slow moving, punching back. That's what he is, but it's hard to knock him out. That was the problem. Castro right. by KO is plus 340, even though he was like a minus 2,500 favorite. Damn. Yeah, that's how tough this dude is to knock out, but I think it's very possible. You said he's a punching bag, so. Oh, yeah. Let the hands go. Yeah. He'll just come forward, punch slow. That's what he's going to do. What is this, 47? Hell no. Nah. This is 35, I think. 35, okay. And and if Castro – look, so I've never really been high on Castro, though, but but not as a as a – not as like a rising star high, you know what I mean? But he's he's way better than this dude, even though he's catching shots for some reason. He's not he's not <laughs> as good as advertised. Let's just say it like that. But if he comes anywhere near losing to this guy, <laughs> yeah, he belongs. He belongs with him. He belongs on that journeyman uh, status. Definitely. So tell me, is is my thing moving slow, or are they actually punching that slow? Like, oh, they slow. They slow. They man. Slow. Nah, yeah, Montoya, is... Montoya uh, shit, Castro slow, slower, or not slower, but Castro don't punch that quick, and Montoya punch like motherfucking, <laughs> like his arm weigh a thousand pounds. <laughs> and then he like pulled by this slow shit moving away. Oh yeah, I told you, I ain't never been high on Castro, but he gonna touch this dude up. I forgot what fight it was. I seen him fight, and he got beat up like he was getting i think he got dropped too it was a fight castro or Montoya? yeah not nah, castro oh. that's when i knew he wasn't it yeah what a bro yeah you can tell we're getting hit by this goddamn jab holy shit montoya jab Yeah, George Foreman jet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Overhand clean from Montoya. Nice combination at the end. 
but Jesus Christ, so far it's a bet ain't looking good. <laughs> luckily, luckily I got other parlays. <laughs> Castro is a good boy. What are you, a priest? <laughs> what type of shit? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I what type of comment is this? <laughs> like he's doing his training <laughs> training camp at a box fit anytime fitness class yeah nah somebody like him somebody like him he might be making like uh 25 25 30 stop getting hit with this overhand castro god damn it's the same punch bro Scooting to you like a punching bag. All you got to do is be defensively responsible, which you're not. Oh, the ref already saying, show me something, bro. I love it. I love it. The ref says, show me something, bro. That's not, that was not a point in the fight where you should have even came close to saying that. Or he at least said, defend yourself, or, or, or you got to throw some punches. He said something to the effect. That's a good sign. You know they was comparing. It's, it's laughable now. You know they was comparing this dude to Keyshawn. <laughs> oh, he beat Keyshawn. Huh? He beat Keyshawn in the amateurs. Uh, this ain't the amateurs, bro. I'm talking about in the pros. They was comparing his ass to Keyshawn. I remember when it was coming up. Then he. That's what I'm telling you. That's when he had that trash ass fight. He got dropped. I ain't hear from him since. Right. They, they shut up. <laughs> It's, he's terrible. Keyshawn, he not being man. They need to make him as Floyd Schofield. I mean, that's that, that's that's more both they speed. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I might even I'm I favor Floyd Schofield. It's the only fight I could think I see I favor him, man. Uh, I don't know, bro. Castro ain't it. He, Why the fuck, bro, if he had stopped cross-stepping backwards, he might stop getting hit by this goddamn slow-ass wide overhand. I don't think he like defense. Nah. <laughs> nah, I don't like this shit. We just going to keep punching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Killer K, facts, man. I saw this shit uh, studying for the fight, man. The dude, I mean, this shit is just ultra slow. Yeah, I'm hoping for a ref stoppage here, man, at some point. Mm. 
maybe maybe swelling up of an eye pretty soon or something. Cut. But you see this dude is a poorly skilled punching bag. You no, know, it reminds me of a uh, uh, post um, Burchelt, post Valdez Burchelt. Slower though. That's how he. That's his stance. That's how he fights. He moves just like him. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking drop, dropped his lead hand and waited. <laughs> Got punched and threw a slow ass left hook. Hey, my <laughs> My Toya, my Toya versus like a uh, Keyshawn. That shit look like a sloth trying to defend itself against the eagle. <laughs> I've seen that shit before. It's it's really sad. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Y'all watching this shit, bro? I just I stepped out. I just came back. This dude is slower than he was when I fucking was just here. <laughs> he said he got slow as the rounds went on. He got even slower <laughs> than he was. I'm saying that, that when he was already slow. <laughs> right? He gonna gas and get even slower. <laughs> How are you gonna get slower than you already was? And you are you already coming in slow. You're supposed to speed up. As nah, the fight goes. Nah, you're gonna uh -huh. get the, the more the fight go, the more slow you're gonna get. Uh, this shit gonna be hilarious. It is the ref probably gonna stop it. I heard you, I heard you in the mic when I was out. I heard you <laughs> saying the ref told him show me something, right? Nah, he said he said something to the effect that you gotta defend yourself, show me something, or you gotta you gotta punch back or some shit like that. Yeah, he had to because how, how, how he looked at him, how he looked dead at him. Wow, he was getting punched in the corner, leaned into him and, and and said something. That's the only shit they say at that point. Well, I like that. Cause I hate to see dudes like this who just inactive and slow. Is our parlay dead? Not yet. Not yet, but you see, again, slow moving punching bag, but never been knocked out before. So you already know this motherfucker. Bro, he's making every mistake you can make. <laughs> Guard, never up, with either hand. Of course, single mid range jabs and shit. Just. Dropping his guard to throw, bro. He, the man, the man's guard, like he, the the shot he's gonna punch with, the arm he's gonna punch with, is so slow that Castro don't gotta worry about it defensively. He could just punch. Facts. <sighs> yeah.
Man, hey, bro. Peace boy, I think it's the opposite. I think I think it's made out of like a liquid gel. <laughs> how you how you knock out how you knock out a liquid gel? <laughs> that chin is fucking man. <laughs> that shit's not good, bro. That's not a steel chin. That's you, that's not a granite chin. That shit is that shit made out of uh that shit's made out of memory foam. That shit made out of Tide Pods. Bro, if he don't get stopped at some point in his career, he unknockoutable. <laughs> you can't knock him out. Is it? I mean, he's getting he's getting hit everywhere on his face. Bro, he's getting hit flush. Like he's flush. He's just standing Hands there. His neatly down. It looked like his face is is his is his counterpunch trap. There you go. Go to the body. Shit. Everybody yeah, I swear. A, I mean, I, that's that's the obvious answer. Anybody that got a chin like that, bro, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, see if his inside is made out of the same tie pots. Uh, no, Diddy. Nah. I, I, I ain't seeing no inside. Definitely gotta, he definitely got to go to the body. <laughs> that sounds better. <laughs> he fight like an OG and used to box back there in the Great Depression. <laughs> nah, I think this is earlier than that. Shit. Mm. Hey, peace boy. I'm gonna say no, Diddy, man. Yeah, no diddy, bro. <laughs> it's too close, man. Oh shit! Oh yeah, that's a that's a no diddy. <laughs> Just told my dad the same shit. He hit Castro too. I told you Castro ain't it, man. He ain't it, but this dude, this dude is uh horrendous. Only thing, the only thing that gives him a shot at ever beating anybody is that tie pot chin. But Castro's team should have definitely got the clue. Like, bro, you go to the body. I mean, I see the stab jab, but I don't see I don't see the work. He trying to control distance. I mean, I mean. Fuck that overhand. That overhand you've been landing. I mean, what what another stab jab, nothing behind it. This I don't even get the point of it. Like Fab, you throwing stab jabs just to, right just to do that? Just to throw a level change overhand for what? You've been landing that shit. You ain't gotta set it up. My man's dropping his hands for you. Like, you don't have to get him to drop his hands by throwing a stab jab. Yeah, they still ain't got the memo, bro.
Castro not really using his jab. All he's doing is throwing a stab jab. What you mean? That's a jab. Trying to use that to set up that overhand that he keeps. But I mean, for for what purpose? Like the overhand is already there, bro. You don't have to set it up. That's just what I'm it. saying. The dude is just in front of you with his hands down. I mean, his hand is already low. <laughs> Throw the overhand. <laughs> Man, let me find out Montoya out jabbing Castro. You know, I don't know about after that round because all of them stabbed up. It's one of the best fights I've ever seen. Man, how old is Montoya? I don't know. Uh... Uh, hold on. Cause that dude, man, he walks around. He 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 looks like twenty nine. Twenty nine, bruh. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. <laughs> That's not, bro. I'm staring at somebody that could be my uncle. I'm thirty, bro. <laughs> no, no, I do. Hold on. We get a better look at it, at this dude's face. Pause. No diddy though, bro. Twenty nine. Oh, what to say? Hey, he might be twenty nine. He ages terribly though, bro. He gets hit in his face for a lip, like literally, constantly. Man. This is, I mean, you see his defense. It's, I mean, everything about his game is trash. Bro, Ryan, look at the way he moves. He's not the most athletic. We could just say this guy did he not. Looked, he was far <laughs> from winning the genetic lottery. Let's just say he that. Looks like, he looks like Burchell, bro. He moves like Burchell post bow does. At 29? I, I, I feel you. I'm just saying. I know. <laughs> yeah, this guy has terrible genetics, man. That's all I'm saying. Uh-oh. Castro with a body shot. It was kind of soft, though. He, he definitely needs to do that more. He, he just can't be comfortable with taking this decision when it looks like. Pizza Boy called him a Joe Joyce wannabe. At least Joe Joyce got power. <laughs> mm, nice overhand, though. That stunned him, but again, this goes. Uh, you're not. It's gonna be tough as hell to knock this dude out with a headshot. I wouldn't even be going to. Come on, ref. Stop. Uh, bro. So the ref ain't even gonna stop it because my toy is steady swinging back when it's uh, on the ropes. I, I would. I would strictly be looking for routes to the body if I was um, stone faced. I would not even try they to go for any any. They ain't got that. They ain't get the memo. <laughs> Damn, Castro's slow as fuck too, man. For real, man. No wonder they put him in the ring with this guy. They don't want to put him in there with anybody that got speed. Hey, these matchmakers, man, they be picking opponents the right way. <laughs> And give him a guy that's slow that's gonna stand right in front of him. It's tough as shit though. <laughs> nice left hook, but didn't do nothing to him. <laughs> Another one right in the temple. What's your time stamp? Uh 19. Oh, okay. I'm a little bit ahead of you now. What do you got? When you said 19, I was at 10. Oh, okay. Oh, can't beat that. I just reloaded my shit. So. Man, Montoya is fucking tough, man. Tough and trash. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Can't forget the trash part. What I miss? Well, that's more of the nothing. same. <laughs> 
Man, he's still fighting. He ain't get dropped tonight. Nope. Why this yeah, fucking yeah. slow ass molasses motherfucker? Hell no. You talking about Castro ain't get dropped? Uh, dude. Dude. Nah. Nah. Oh. Eh? Castro won't go to the body. He's he's punishing buddy to the face, to the head. But uh he won't uh he didn't get the memo that it ain't the head that's gonna do it. Yeah, man. I wonder how they're gonna be moving in the later rounds. They already did slow. Oh yeah, round round nine come around. Oh man. They're gonna be on punching. Rock them sock. Go to the body, bro. He's giving you the high guard. It's open. Nah, they look bored as fuck. <laughs> More to the body. Buddy taking flush back hands and ain't doing nothing to him. <laughs> he he really just eating those shots, man, like it's nothing. I'm glad Castro just got jabbed in the face after that uh, cross-step reset he keep doing. Yeah, keep attacking that reset, Montoya. I'm about to start rooting for Montoya. Good cross, Montoya. <laughs> Oh my God! Just chin, just all up in there. Now he know, bro. He knows he has a titanium chin, bro. It's mm -hmm. just all up in the air, bro. It's just, just every time he throws anything, his chin is just there, never moving. Head slots <laughs> in the air, bro. Never tucked. Nothing. Like, bro, what is? Yeah, he don't have that motherfucker. This is the he don't have a brain. This is the king of Rock'em Sock'em, officially, Montoya. Yeah, nice. the, the king of Rock'em Sock'em. <laughs> My two dollars is gone. R.I.P., man. R.I.P. to that too, bro. <laughs> a horrible fight it is we got two fucking zombies in the ring what actually what costs two dollars these days like a can of soda or some shit shit it's like 250 three dollars for a can of soda out here damn damn Nah, like, like two like dollars. Motherfucking sixteen yeah. ounce. <laughs> yeah. There were a little can of Coke. It's like two dollars, man. God damn, you can't even buy a can of Coke with two dollars. If you go to San Francisco, oh, if you right. go to San Francisco, they charge you like two three quick three. picks. Two quick picks with that two dollars, bro. <laughs> shit 
Shit, I don't buy nothing with two dollars. Oh, my toy is going crazy. <laughs> oh my god, he can't, bro. He changes levels slow. Literally bends his knees slow. Wow, still caught Castro with back. <laughs> Another one. They need to really seriously, like, Montoya needs to look for a different profession, maybe. Because, like, yeah. if you want to have a brain by the time you retire, I mean, you might want to either, like, change your fighting style or this boxing just might not be for you, man. I could have sworn it said he had 25 wins. Bruh. Do you want to have a brain is what I'm saying. Nah, he's got 22 wins. Uh, 22 wins. Uh, 25 fights and 22 wins. Is it? Nah, he's got he's got uh 28 fights, 22 wins, 14 knockouts. He's got five losses, oh, but again, he ain't never been stopped. He's got one draw. Shit, 22. Oh man, how old is he? 29. Oh my god, there's no that's excuse you fighting like this in your 20s. That's what he I'm must saying. already got something. <laughs> I'm just saying, he getting paid though. And he must already be punching him. He definitely is. Look at his 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 movement. This dude yeah. is. He's he's like he probably thinks slow. <laughs> yeah, he's just I hope, slow. I hope not, bro. I, I, the interview he, found. I hope he ain't sounding crazy. He probably. He said probably thinks slow. I'm telling you. Man. <laughs> He Bro, still Cash touches spent Cash all that time. <laughs> he spent all that time mid range and ain't go to the body once, bro. Bro, what is the secret to that chin? Is this like what? He don't have no brain. That's the <laughs> secret. He's a he's an NPC. He's not even human. <laughs> all right, that left, hook, that left hook hurt him a little bit coming up on y'all. Yeah, he's, so like that. He still didn't stop though. It, it didn't, yeah, it don't look like it hurt him much. <laughs> Man, it's like he fighting like a, a, a younger version of himself. Slightly right. better, younger version of himself. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Unfortunately, the Patreon membership is $3. So, yeah, $2 ain't going to get you that either. Didn't know he beat Alberto Lopez. He did? <laughs> Where you see that at? Alberto Lopez who? Oh, he sure did. Wow. The champion? Yeah. The the dude yeah, but you know how he fight. Oh man. That probably was <laughs> Think about it though. Think about how uh Lopez fight though. If he can't knock you out. Bro, he don't have, he don't, I mean, bro, he gets hit constantly. He don't got no like, defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he can't knock you out, bro, he's going to have some issues. If he can't hurt you, he's going to have some issues. So he couldn't hurt this motherfucking steel chin motherfucker. And, I mean. But, again, Castro, you know, I, he could have made the knockout a possibility if he would have focused on the body. I mean, you hitting this dude with every headshot in the book. You complaining about a control and turn? Anyway, I mean, just at, at this point, after all those fucking punches, you would think he wants to really focus on the body, but he's not. Nah. Mid-range jabs. I'm seeing a lot of those from Castro. From both of them. I was, I, I was talking about this moment specifically, but yeah, both of them. Right there, he keeps like doubling up on single mid range jabs. Like, go to the bot. Castro is like, what the fuck is this guy made out of? That was the most sorry Dang. step around turn like I ever seen. Two clean overhands in a row, just nothing. Three. 
Dude's a goddamn body, man. Man, dude is just bro, his chin is something else, man. This dude is is made of something else. There's a body shot. He, he threw a check hook, a level change check hook to the body. That shit wasn't nothing. Bro, the guy like him, Montoya, you got to, like, break him down to the body. Yeah. You yeah. Go no. From round one, no. investing big, in it. Big parlay's gone. Mm-hmm. Wow. And referee has no reason to stop it because Montoya's letting his hands go. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ain't like, he, ain't exactly. like he's just getting punched. <laughs> Facts. I mean, he's landing sometimes, too. I mm -hmm. mean, yeah. I don't like his style. I definitely am not I'm against it, but shit, dude, is, he's fucking he's throwing. God damn, flush back in. For real. God damn. And he just, it, his, it looked like his head didn't even snap back. <laughs> it didn't move. It didn't move at all. It should have turned or something. Go to yeah, this guy. <laughs> Shit, Castro look more hurt. Than <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Imagine you landed more punches. You you ain't you barely. Getting touched compared to your opponent, and you got you you look worse for wear. That's just funny as hell. <laughs> he said Castro ain't worked the body shield this camp. Clearly not. Mm -mm. Clearly not. He's like purposely avoiding that shit. <laughs> so he said what? It's on the zone. Uh, fight's on the zone. <laughs> Dorian, hello, funny yeah, man. That's a fact. Send them to the. To the <laughs> I mean, you know, people can sit here and say, "Well, but look, look, man, he's he's he, he's punching. He's, you know, he's still active. He's he's all right, man. But do you want this guy to have any brain cells by the time he's 40, 50? Nah, fuck it. They need to send him to the Chevrolet plant. <laughs> <laughs> test, out the, test out them side and front airbags. <laughs> hey, man, I've, I don't know. I'm actually worried about this guy because from what I know about brain damage, they say that shit doesn't show up until like it could show up like 10, 15 years later. You can get punched in the face today and the effects won't show up until like 10 years later. So how is this guy's brain going to hold up in 10 years from now? Taking all these punches like this. Well, the crazy thing is, you know, some of these guys end up okay. That's yeah, that, rare. That, that's rare, but like you know, you get a George Foreman or a Willie Pep who's who's been in like a hundred, two hundred fights, or you know, heavyweight like Foreman, and just don't have no stutter, no nothing, no lisp. It, it, it's rare though. Montoya does that little feint to the body like he's going for a cross just to bait out a, a, a single mid-range jab. That's one thing I noticed. And then he'll slip. He'll slip in the counter jab. Shit, this might be the first, maybe, I don't know. He probably won a round. You guys give Montoya a round? I don't know if you're paying attention. If you're no. scoring. I oh, haven't I'm, really been scoring it. but I think this might be the first round I'm giving him. <laughs> yeah, I think he's winning it too. Yeah, just on activity alone, Castro ain't really doing shit. Yeah. He got a gas tank. Castro knows he won. Man. 
Yeah, he got a gas tank and a fucking chain. His conditioning is, is is insane, dude. He doesn't have a lot of output though, so that's one of the reasons why he don't. Well, just, if you don't have tank. to, if, if you don't have to exude any um, effort for defense, that's you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the thing. He doesn't have a lot of out, but getting punched, man, takes a lot out of you. It's just he's so tough. It don't it don't take it, a lot out of him. It takes less out of him to to just sit there and take the punch than it does to try to dodge the punch and be defensive. But it's, again, it's still stupid, man. Put that this motherfucker had the nerve to raise his hand. He's like, I broke him. I broke him. Uh, they said he had problems the first three rounds. I don't know what they talking about. Who? Oh, uh, Castro. Castro. Shit, looked like he had problems later in the fight. Looked like the same problem the whole fight, but it, it don't look like he lost a round. Maybe the last one. Yeah, I get that last round to fucking... Stone chin. Stone face for stone chin. Montoya. Yeah, that's his name. Wow. These replays, man. <laughs> just seeing this dude just... It's like his face is his, is his block. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's the definition of blocking punches. <laughs> With your face. <laughs> Man, an elite level face blocker. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever have I ever seen some shit like that play. I've seen a crackhead do that in like a street fight, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Pryor, that's who he reminds me of. Fucking Aaron Pryor. I kept trying to think of it. Montoya's chin reminds me of Aaron fucking Pryor. But I even seen Pryor get buzzed and dropped. Well, I mean, but Pryor yeah. was fighting fucking Alexis Arguello, and, and yeah. like, this dude was fighting Mark Castro. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> Man. Uh, let me see something. This is for a title? No. Nah, this is a baby boat. Okay. Title eliminator or okay. Yeah, that's definitely a little baby belt. WBC Continental Americas. It was vacant. <laughs> <laughs> it was a vacant, vacant baby belt. <laughs> that's funny as hell. Yeah, I see Celtic. I see. Celtic was good. He said, I need the neck routine. <laughs> Those are genetics, man. Jane. Those are genetics. You ain't going to get a neck like that. No, no ditty. I know, Hoodie. I said it. I said it. <laughs> Relax. Hell yeah, bro. I blame it on us. Because <laughs> it came from the East Coast. It came from your, your hometown. Don't, uh, 
Dorian, man, I gotta, you know, what I mean, be on my P's and Q's. You know, you gotta dot your I's and you gotta cross your T's. You know, when you're on this fucking panel, man. You talking about the no Diddy or what? No, nah, I'm not just no Diddy, but pause in general, man. I'm talking about like no homo pause. That pause, shit, no that Diddy, whatever you want to call it, man. You just gotta be careful in these in these boxing gym streets, man. I ain't even know it. I ain't know where it originated <laughs> from. That shit came from Harlem, man. Harlem cats. Yeah, man. It's those fucking Harlem dudes, man. Fast talking motherfuckers. You gotta call them Harlem cats. Harlem cat. Crush my it crushed my plus five thousand eight hundred and whatever. Harlem. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still saying Castro ain't it. Definitely not. Yo, man, boy, is he not? They need to feed him like they need to. Yeah, sign with him. All right, the biggest the, the biggest parlay I got now is a plus eight sixty. This ain't top that, rank uh tricks. <laughs> but that involves that involves that your five upset. So, you know, that's iffy as well. Mm. Do we see him shutting out Hitchens? I don't. I mean, do I see him shutting out Lemus? I, th- I see him, you know. Maybe it like a 9 on that shit, man. Maybe like a 9-3 or 8-4. I think Lemos is going to ba- bag in some some rounds. I just don't think I – don't, I, don't, I don't think uh, – I just think Hitchens is too good for him. But there's definitely a chance the style matchup could be, you know, interesting. That's the only thing that raises our eyebrows, the style matchup. I don't know, I don't know how Hitchens uh, does well. I don't know how he does against pressure fighters. I don't consider Zapata a fucking pressure fighter. That dude is anything but that. All right. <clears throat> Essentially, one, two, three. I lost twenty five dollars so far. <laughs> Still got twenty five on the table with uh, DraftKings. Let me see what bet you was. Bet US didn't give me. I mean, Bet US don't let you parlay uh, props. So I just had um, Castro straight up Bet US in a parlay, of course. All right, I lost five dollars on Bet US though. I did have a parlay with the under in it. <laughs> it was Thirty bucks, god damn.
Juice was good. Uh, Joseph, I see you. Now I got I got a couple parlays left. Uh, three. I need this. I want this upset though. That's what I need. That's what you bet on. You were saying that. What was it? What did you see in Sky Nicholson again that you saw a potential upset? No, Sky Nicholson is was the favorite. I'm talking about the Gato, uh, your fire. Oh, you're talking about that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. You didn't bet on this fight? I thought you bet on this fight. I did. I did. I got Sky Nicholson by decision. And some of them I got Sky Nicholson straight up. Oh, okay. Then this ain't the fight. Oh, okay. I thought you did say that you saw something like you saw potential upset in this fight too. But I'm, I'm, I'm tripping. Never mind. Yeah, Celtic also hedged the uh, hedged the possibility of um, the most uh, pulling out of upset with all of this shit. Cause really, I only bet like with all these goddamn parlays and bets, I probably bet like seventy five bucks total. Oh, okay, Dorian, I got you. Right. Can Sky beat Serrano? Probably not. Right. I don't know. If she goes in there and fights like she fought Katie Taylor, she just abandons her defense. She could have a chance. Damn, but she's only got nine fights? Never mind. <laughs> Keep, keep her away from Serrano, man. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. But um, again, uh, you know, how I decide female fights is who has the better technical form. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Punch wise, I, you know, I would say Nixon has a very slight edge, even though her punches come from wide and and um, what's her name? Um, What's her name? Uh, uh, what is her name? And uh, my, my fool's punches come from <laughs> exactly what I wrote was Nicholas's punches come from her thighs, and uh, my fool's punches come from her breasts. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, if you know what you're looking at, you can tell where people's uh, weight. Where the you know the weight's coming from, so I could I could already imagine how that. It ain't just the weight, bro. I'm talking about her, the starting place for their punches sometimes. Oh wow, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you mean about Sky Nicholson with the low hand near her thighs. I see what you mean. <laughs> she said, "Yeah, this sounds perfectly inclusive." <laughs> Well, I'm slow. What is he talking about? <laughs> he's, uh, he's just talking about um, um, sexism. <laughs> okay. But now nah, you're going to see it. You're going to see it. Both of them need work on punching form, but footwork wise, Nicholson is way smoother. I, I didn't catch a pause. Did you catch a pause in the pre previous? Jane, you're going to have to. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Pause for sexism? 
Huh? I don't know, man. Uh, I, don't get that. I don't get that one, Jane. Flag on a play. Hellos. Uh, hell no. Nobody could have stopped that bleeding. <laughs> no, it would have took, it have took <laughs> Jesus to stop that bleeding. <laughs> That shit was not a cut. That shit was not, a gap. You, you couldn't have stopped that cut with anything that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have fucking poisoned you. Yeah, Stitch Stitch Duran couldn't have stopped that joint. You'd have needed some like some uh concrete filler to stop that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I say that because you know Rocky Marciano did that in one of his fights, right? Mm. He had a cut in his nose like that, and they had like some some like concrete, it was like some contractor shit. Like some putty, put it in on his nose, close that shit. He had to go to the doctor immediately. He got like poisoning, and yeah, he, he had to like. He was in the hospital for a while, man, like two days. I bet that was the dumbest shit he could have did. Hey, he's hey man, he's a legend, man. He went undefeated because that he shit. Put chemicals on, he put chemicals and bullshit on my in my skin. Marciano's <laughs> different, man. That's crazy. That's a crazy story. That's all I'm gonna say. That it's real too. It's not no. You know I don't like the sensationalism. That, that's real shit. But yeah, that's the only way they could have stopped that cut. Lows. Is Stitch really his name? Don't like. He's a cut man. And it, is that really his real name? That's what I'm. Stitch the man. No, okay, no, his name is, isn't it Jacob? Isn't his name Jacob? Oh, you saying his real name Stitch? No, that's his nickname, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I keep forgetting his name is Jacob. They would have had to super glue that shit, right? <laughs> and that would have poisoned him, you know? It did the same shit. He would have been in the hospital. That shit gets in your bloodstream. Yeah, no, Dorian, when we were on the live, me and Gems, Gems especially, he was, man, he was like, does anybody care about Zoo's health? He was like, y'all not going to stop. He was like, are you guys going to let this go past the fourth round and make this guy fight through this? Like, Gems yeah. was calling for it especially. You were telling, yeah. you were like, you were insisting that they stop the fight before the fourth. Me too. I was like, I was like, yeah, I agree. They, sh I wouldn't let this go past the fourth. I don't want him to have to go through that adversity. As soon as the fifth round hit. You can go back. I was like, adversity. <laughs> Why would you do that to him, man? Yeah, yeah. I've been I've been hearing uh, Tim uh, talk about it a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Bro, y'all motherfuckers, some dummies. Look like some rookies. For real, man. You especially, man, were really like <laughs> hauling ass. You were like, what are y'all? doing like, yeah it, don't, it didn't make no sense bro. like bro it was bleeding right into his left eye and it was all types of blood bro i mean it made no sense. anyway this fight started there we go yep see that punch come from the breast <laughs> it looked like she punched her in the breast overhand overhand she she set out why but that's how you throw it overhand i see she doesn't hold the phone with the left when she's throwing the right I, I didn't see that at least. You will yeah. notice the footwork difference too. I see a lot of pendulum bouncing, a little rhythm stepping versus just like, you know, little half steps. Yeah, C steps, steps. angle changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sky Nicholson's feet are a lot better. Mm -hmm. I've seen her fight before. My food lunging in and shit. Look at Sky's hand by the thigh like Michael Nunn. <laughs> <laughs> she does it just for the step back three. But still, like just like Michael Nunn, like I said, I'm jabbing that lead shoulder and hitting it with the cross. Mm -hmm. Or or I'm throwing a four to that lead shoulder, turning on some more, hitting it with the swivel jab. Mm -hmm. 
She already got hit with that jab like twice. It's because she's because of that low lead hand. Mm, nice cross. Nice cross at the end. Yeah. Bro, it wasn't nothing slow. I, I hear you, Wolf Trey. It wasn't nothing slowing that shit down, man. It was it was too wide. It was too wide. It was nothing was slowing that shit down. Bro. And nothing that you could have legally in the boxing ring. Right. And nothing that you could have legally would have fucking stopped that shit. Nothing that won't poison you would have stopped that shit. You need stitches is what you need. Super glue, <laughs> literally. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some putty. Stitches, staples. <laughs> All types of shit. Some fucking silicone. Oh, oh it'll burn that shit close. You need <laughs> gunpowder on that shit. <laughs> Put some quick seal on it. God damn, this fight boiled down to like a, a, a check hook, lunging, a jab, and a cross. This female fights usually turn to rock'em, sock'em, but from what I've seen from Sky, I, mean, I saw her fight once before and she don't do that. She likes nah, to box. She relies on boxing skills, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. But, but she needs work with her hands, man. I, I yeah, hand placement definitely needs work. Yeah, look how I mean she's she's making herself limited. Yeah. Nice cross. Check hook again. Again, cross and check hook from Sky. Okay, counter cross, step back, check hook from Sky, uh, or one two from Sky, or double jab two. And uh, lunging from uh, my foe, and sometimes a jab. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, my foot's jab only. Uh, it, she that's like the only thing she lands because of Nicholson's low lead hand. There's the jab, and that's her trap. Nicholson will will like step forward to bait that jab. She gets caught with it sometimes, or she steps back and uses those counters you're talking about. Brand that shit closed, yep. Get that hot iron on that shit. <laughs> Damn, female round, female rounds uh be surprisingly quick, man. Yeah, that one minute makes a huge difference. Shit. Yeah, for sure. At least this ain't heavyweights. Got it. Uh, I 
Nice jab right from Sky to set up a better check hook. Wait, what time are you at right now? 102. Oh, okay. No, I'm, There's I'm like... a jab check hook trap. Yeah. I'm like four seconds behind you now. There's another one. Yep, I see it. Where that one two at, man? Wait, so Mafood fought Serrano? They're saying she fought Serrano. Yeah, she did. Oh, okay. That's the fight I we I studied on um Patreon. Got you. I I probably was I oh, definitely wasn't there. That's probably working. Probing cross to a three. A little trap. That cross was good, yeah. I'm at 13 seconds right now. Uppercut was terrible. Yeah, that definitely was terrible. Arm was completely straight. But I think she pulled it back, like, at the end, like, she she like decided she didn't want to throw it. Eddie Lamb, mm, not familiar. He said, "Look down and go over the top." Not much instructions. You just telling her to go look and go, you know, look down and go up top. So look look off the punch. I'm hearing what he's saying, right? He says he said flick the jab. Go look look low, flick the jab, and go up top. That's what he really wants her to faint downstairs. So she could land that overhand. Let's see if we see it. Well, she already let me change. Here's the dangerous part. So level changing without the stab jab at this point is a uh, danger, a nice, nice double jab right to that cross, even though she kind of missed it. But anyway, level changing for uh, Nicholson just to faint the, the level change is dangerous because you already know my food, my food uh, is uh, lunging. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So you're not safe and you're heavy on the back foot. When you do it, when you when you level change towards your center line, so your, your step back game ain't gonna be as quick. So she needs mm -hmm. to level change with stab jabs or crosses, preferably crosses in an open stand. That makes sense. And then, and then I mean, that was set up the level change faint overhand, but she's got to throw it. Mm -hmm. That's two, three, three. Mm -hmm. Another two, three body head. Another cross to the body. She must have heard you. Yep. Yeah, she's going to work now. Telepathy. <laughs> But she's not level changing with the cross to the body, but she is going there. Right. Well, that can set up the level change at least. But no, she needs to level change with it so she can create that illusion. Right. Drop this. Drop a uh, her hand. She, she's kind of doing it right there. She's a little, but she didn't get a reaction from it. Again, yeah, it's because she's not level changing when she throws the shot. So Mufu doesn't expect a, a body shot when she level changes. I mean, so y'all. I mean, I'm enjoying this more than the last fight, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. This is yeah. I'm not even tripping right now. We're still breaking down the fight. That says en enough right there. <laughs> Killer K agrees. I hear you.
Hmm. Yeah, that last fight was uh said they fasted in Castro and uh, Montoya. Yeah, this fight is actually the 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 chess match is still going in this fight. They're not just rock'em sock'eming and you know defaulting. Would like to see Nicholson actually capitalize on the lunging more. Mm -hmm. Just a half step back. Some type of counter, whether it's, you know, changing levels, counter to the body or whatever. Splitting it with a cross, whatever she got to do. A lot of jab right, though. Yeah. She jabs over the top of the hand. No, I just, I mean, as a tactic, you know what I mean? It doesn't, no, yeah. matter, it doesn't yeah. matter if she lands it, but she's actually, she's either making her back up or she's getting advantageous positioning every time yeah. she does it. I mean, at the same time, it does, like, that's why, why I say punching over the top of hand. That controls punch traffic from that hand. Well, the other thing it does is it gets her used to the double jab. So you get her used to the double jab right. Mm -hmm. Um and if she stays stationary enough, not being worried about it, then you could double jab in. You know what I'm saying? And then she'll be stationary uh, for that backhand. That's why she, yeah, that's why she's been able to land that shit after that triple jab or that double jab. But yeah, my food, I definitely see her having southpaw problems. And that little throwaway three uh, backhand been working a lot, too. Yeah. Anyway, this shit is going exactly how it was predicted, bro. And you think Ryan is going to win against Haney. Why or why not? It was a film study. Full film studies on Patreon. Patreon.com slash boxing gym. But yeah, Garcia, bro, I, people people thinking it's impossible for Ryan to win. That's retarded. It's boxing. It's boxing, bro. Anything could happen. Plus, he's got a deadly left hook. Dude's a, dude's a puncher. Yeah. Why wouldn't you give a puncher a puncher's chance? It doesn't have to be I much mean, of a I mean, chance, but he look, has a chance. He didn't need, he doesn't need a whole, like, it does, it's not like you got to, like, reprogram his whole. His whole style for him to throw decent right hands is not much he has to do, mm -hmm. you know, to make him a more complete fighter. But um, but we're gonna see, man. Obviously, yeah, Ryan's definitely got a chance. I mean, is he favored? No, nobody's gonna favor favor Ryan in the fight. But Haney is gonna get knocked out. Haney signed his chin away to a Golden Boy. What? Uh, um, he's saying he's gonna lose because it's gold a golden boy promotion. He said he signed his chin away, and he's and then before that, he said he's gonna get knocked out. So either he's a troll or he's so you don't you know, know nothing about what's been going on. Uh, Haney's, or, a, Haney's, Haney's, a, Haney's his own promoter. In other words, Haney's a free agent. He's been signing to Top Rank, signing to PBC or not PBC, 
yet, I don't think. But Golden Boy is promoting the Golden fight for Boy Ryan Garcia. Signing to match room. I mean, bro, he's been doing that. So that's not a reason that he's going to lose. Well, yeah, Dorian, it's definitely still available. But with that said, 100% bet Ryan the fight is under good. Bro, you don't know what you're talking about, man. Stop people. Stop giving people betting advice. <laughs> that's, that's, ter- that's a terrible reason to bet on Ryan Garcia, bro. Let's take now, advice from this random dude can, in the comments. Because he can crack with that left hook is a, is a better reason to bet on Ryan Garcia. Because the odds are so wide. Is an easy reason to bet on Ryan Garcia. You gonna I mean, bet your house on it though? Hell no. Shit, not you. I'm talking about. <laughs> I like my location. <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, these dudes be talking about betting like you know against the odds. Like you know you want to bet against the house? Because Are you gonna go go- big? Because it's a Golden Boy promotion, like Brad. I mean, oh, you see, Cambozo is top rank. Lomachenko is top rank. I mean, what? Right, Shit, a different animal. Match, I mean, what? I mean, those was match room fight. Like, bro, he signs to the promotional company that the that the fighter he's fighting is under. That's how they make the fight. Yeah, this dude's a troll, bro. This dude's a troll. Well, he's just ignorant. <laughs> You see what he just said? He said Ryan sold his soul for the upcoming Haney win. <laughs> Look at the rituals he's doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's just a troll, man. Yeah, Dorian, crack is cheap, bro. Nah, you know, it's that fentanyl. They got fentanyl nowadays, so. Nah, I mean, it's just an easy excuse. Like, nah, I don't want to learn boxing. I'm gonna just go, go with this uh, the signs. Right, and then if he oh, magically gets okay. the knockout, he can come over here and see. I told y'all, y'all motherfuckers don't know shit about right. boxing. You gotta read the stars. The bones told me, man, it was in the tarot card read. They dudes be having the funniest reasons for why their their fighters gonna win. White white robe, white horse, it's the <laughs> Illuminati. It's Illuminati. Clearly, you can't see that. Open your eyes. That's the ritual for a blood sacrifice. You don't get it. His grandmother died two weeks before that. That's how they got Nipsey. <laughs> he signed the contract in his blood. What does that tell you? He signed his blood away to Golden Boy. Why do people keep talking about Devin versus Hitchens? That would be a boring ass fight. It would do you really want to see that fight outside of just for competition? I wouldn't be boring to me. I don't want to see. I I hate seeing two pure boxers fight each other. Hey, hey, little busy. We done. We done reading what you got to say, fam. We done listening. Yeah, you might get timed out, bro. I'm just being honest. You talking a whole lot of nonsense right now you might get timed out so chill no don't, don't time him out it's all don't. good <laughs> nah nah you nah, just let him let him rant i haven't timed him out because he hasn't said anything out of pocket you know it's not like he's saying talking about you know some other shit so you know as long as you ain't talking about no ditty parties or nothing we good that's a ritual too. <laughs> Stop it.
got to have your third eye open, body shot. Right. Because you know what they say. Nah, I'm not letting anybody on the panel right now. <laughs> not after that dumb shit. <laughs> I was, bro, if I don't recognize your name, I'm not letting you up here. <laughs> Somebody join the show, no? Yeah, I mean, hey, bro, if you don't got nothing to do with that, then it's just bad timing. <laughs> but hell no. Yeah, what he, right. What do you say? No, no, no. Somebody clicked to join the panel and no. And he doesn't know who it is. This and he's is saying that this, time, is, bro. No. This, this is the worst time for a random person to try to join the panel. Yeah, the, the very worst time. <laughs> Definitely don't want to hear that bullshit. It seems like it's it's going to be a troll coming up in here and it's going to set off a can of worms. Like, no. Y'all don't believe in that shit? No. Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dumb shit, bro. Look, after I saw the way they were talking about it on the Breakfast Club, I was like, I'm fucking done with with casuals, man. These these people who believe the Illuminati and all this like like sacrifice shit, like, oh. Who we talking about? Ryan Garcia, oh, bro. It doesn't even matter, fam. Motherfuckers be more into that than been tra than, than trying to then, come up, man. Go get some goddamn money, man. Why is he focused on this other shit that you can't control? That's what I'm saying, bro. If they're the elites and they have all this fucking power and you can't do shit about it anyway, stop worrying about that shit. But anyway, same dynamic are going on in this fight. Yeah, I think at round six is where we like. Round f actually, round five is where we pretty much. Mm. That's everything they had. Nice overhand from a food. She gets hit by an ugly cross though. Yeah, I just seen that. My fool definitely uh, not disguising shit with that pendulum bounce, bro. I mean, again, it's if you do it, I mean, you do a straight up pendulum bounce. You don't change up the rhythm to it. I mean, we can see when you're about to come in and when you're coming in and out, bro. That's it's just it's very simple. Your rhythm could easily be timed. But again, I, I would rather see Nicholson um, get more creative on the counters to that lunge and shit. Mm -hmm. Man, they're talking about Serrano versus Sky Nicholson a lot. The commentators. Hmm. Has Sky Nicholson even fought a Southpaw yet? I don't know. 
But they're saying that, you know, Serrano's not going to uh, not gonna let up. She's going to bring the pressure, you know, all that shit. Basically, it sounds like they're saying that she's not ready yet. Shit, I don't know, guys. Maybe she's ready, but I wouldn't try it. That's that's a that's a risky man. Hey, she's ready if she says she's ready. Go ahead and throw her on in there. <laughs> I mean, fighters are gonna say that, but you know, yeah, yeah. managers, you know, are they gonna advise her, her advisors, or are they gonna let her know, like, hey, Honestly, though, taking an L in women's and women's boxing ain't really shit, though. So, fuck it, throw in up. Like this it, in women's boxing, it seems more like back in the day of men's boxing, as far as uh, you know, win losses and shit. Yeah, that's true. It means it means a lot less to people. Yeah, the Floyd effect, huh? Yeah, we don't have that in in MMA. Nobody cares if you lost. It's only boxing. It's male right. boxing. It's, it's 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 competitive, right? It's always it's generally I'm mean, not say always, it's generally the best fighting the best. Yes. Nicholson clowning. I don't know why, bro. This shit wasn't that impressive. It was I. Right. It was cool. And why not? Have fun. Now you're going to hug her afterwards, bro. That damn's weak as hell. Shit trash. God. <laughs> Dorian just like is so stuck on like Spence being shot. Oh, like, oh give him a chance, good? Dorian. What's good? good, bro? Nah, that was terrible timing. Like I said, man, terrible timing. Did y'all? Did you? I, th I thought you was dude talking about uh, conspiracy theories and shit. Oh, that's isn't that King Canelo? No, is it? Nah, nah, nah. Wasn't remember, that King Canelo? Remember Buddy with the uh, sober liver? He come on up. I thought that was fair. Yeah, listen, Canelo. listen. But listen, listen. Road to redemption, sir. If y'all constantly changing your name to get on panels. And and you got a different name in the chat, different name in the panel, and not just you. And you on my Patreon channel, you got a different name on Patreon, bro. I don't know you, niggas. <laughs> <don't know> <laughs> right? Name. How am I supposed to immediately recognize as you? I have no clue, bro. I thought the dude from Silver Living's was King Canelo. The dude with the soundboard, right? No. Oh uh, yeah, was it? Is that right? Yeah, it sound right. Remember, he had the soundboard. Yeah, yeah, anybody, he had all the gunshots yeah. in the background. Anybody can come on up, man. Buddy looked like he he went off to try to <laughs> explain to some other folk. Yeah, <laughs> then I, then that's the dude from Sober Living. So at least from what I remember, the dude talking about a sobriety, uh, like a, some shit like that. I'm just I'm just saying, fam. I I don't. I don't know y'all, bro. If you keep changing your name, I, I, I'm not gonna know who you are. Yeah, Gordo, he's he's, tro he's a troll. He doesn't. He's not literally a Canelo fan. He's just a tro he's funny though. He's not like a shitty troll. He's funny. I saw this video on YouTube. Um, I'm not. I don't want, I'm not gonna shout out the channel, but it's a decent channel. But it's called the the problem. 
with boxing. And basically the reason, the problem with boxing came down to Canelo. It's talking about how everybody from 147 up to 175 or maybe even 200 is from 147 to 200 pounds and like wants to get that Canelo payday and, and broke down how it works and everything. I thought that shit was hilarious. Well, you're saying the problem with boxing is that everybody wants to Canelo fight. That's like basically that was the premise of the video. He's talking about how like certain fighters don't get a chance to fight each other because they're all looking for a, a, a Canelo payday and then Canelo won't fight the, his mandatories. And then what can like, you know, they based it all off. Can bro, that's bullshit. No, it wasn't. Like, if, I, if you've seen the video, you, you, you'd get what I'm talking about. It wasn't, it, it, it wasn't saying Canelo is literally the problem. It's basically saying anybody in general trying to get a fight with a cash cow nowadays, people avoiding top competition just so they can get the cash cow fight in general. But he used Canelo as the big example. And, and that shit was funny. Got it. Yeah, it's prize fighting, uh, pizza boy. But you know, everybody ain't gonna get a fight with with the cash cow, you know. And we don't get to see the top fights happen because guys want to fucking fight the cash cow. Yep, that's King Canelo. See, I told you, that's him. <laughs> that's him. All right, then. So, King Canelo, it's a road to redemption to something else on the stream. <laughs> you really thought I was going to know it was you? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, Y'all must be thinking I'm joking. <laughs> oh, God damn. Thought he was gone. <laughs> I was trying to take what my last handle was. <laughs> oh, man. I remember dude saying Crawford was ducking Spence. Yeah, that don't make no sense. Um, yeah. I recognize this name. Kings of Reject. What's that, man? Ugly Echo. Ugly Echo. Oh. Wait, so Sky Nicholson just fought. Now we got, we still haven't seen the co main is Pacheco, but we still haven't seen your five fight. Right. So that's next. next. Okay. Yeah. It's for all the marbles. <laughs> what? Excuse for me? all the marbles. Oh, that's right, because you bet against this fool, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's let's see that you fine knockout. Nah, you fine need to get knocked out. That's what I mean. That'd, that'd be lovely. That's what I mean. I got the um it's not really hard to predict points decisions in female boxing. So, got that one. I mean, you barely see knockouts in female boxing. I'm guessing you get a big payday if you if you predict a knockout. Oh yeah, 
Oh, yeah, that's always good plus odds. Mm -hmm. but it seems like you know. Clarissa Shields is just easy money at this point. The odds are probably shitty. What is it? What are the odds on a Clarissa Shields decision? Fucking minus a thousand, minus ten thousand. You mean it? <laughs> aside from um, aside from the what's the name fight? Um, Sarah, yeah. uh, not Sarah. Was it Sarah? Uh, what's the name? Um, I know her fucking name. Uh, it was. I know. God damn it, dude! Why can't? Why do I forget her name? Was Savannah Mars? Savannah Mars. There you go. Not Sarah. Savannah. Close enough. Shit. Yeah, Sarah Mafood had me. Uh, <laughs> Sarah Mafood Savannah. Right. That's that's a tongue twister. Chat. Chat to help. No, we, no, I got. I got it. Chat. What up, man? Joseph wants to join the panel. I dropped the link already, man. Yeah, Joseph, go up. The, the link is there. Scroll up a little bit. Brother. It's at 9.47. Man, Pujols and nobody's betting on Lemos aside from like a hedge. Ah, uh, Killer K is hilarious. All right. <laughs> why? Why she say that? Yeah, value, value, value. value. Yeah, what Kansas the hell? Really the hell? Drop, bro. That ain't gonna work. Shit, Killer K gonna leave before the main event. Shit, I, I wouldn't have showed up for this event if I wasn't gonna watch the main event. I shit. wonder what beach resort Bradley went to after that Pacquiao heist, bro. That shit sound like hating. Shit, you sound like a hater. <laughs> And he came out the blue with that? Yeah, just out of nowhere, fam. Like, what? Yeah. That's a leak, Liz. Damn, you hate me. Hey, man. It ain't even a top, it's not even a top ranked card. Like, God damn, bro. Shit. That's me, my bad. I was about to say, what the hell is going on now, man? <laughs> oh, here we go with this shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, my God. That soundboard, man. I'm telling you. What's going on with you, man? Oh, no, nah, your mic is super low. Yeah, either it's low or it's echoing. Man. Man's got a whole enough money for a soundboard, but can't get a fucking <laughs> can't, 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 can't fix his microphone. <laughs> that dollar store fucking mic set out of here, man. No, we can hardly hear you, man. Barely. All I gotta say is that don't be hating on Canelo and Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> you hear him? <laughs> yeah, I hear right, him. Right. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me adjust this. Here's the mic. Um, all right, try now. Hello, hello. Uh, slightly better. All right. All I'm saying is, don't be hating on my uh, on my top fighters. I mean, I don't even want to see Mungia and Canelo fight. That's a damn thing. Don't be, you don't, don't want to see him. now, bro. First of all, first of all, uh, <laughs> we barely mentioned Canelo. He ain't got nothing to do with tonight. Uh, <laughs> shot was referencing a video he saw. Uh, so we weren't even talking about Canelo. 
You guys want to hear some uh, latest boxing news? Only, only if it's good. I think it's good. Well, it's good for any Terrence Crawford fans. Yeah. Uh, I think Ellis in there. Well, um, well, look, guys. I'm I not supposed to say a whole lot, but I will say this: this is very positive for Terrence Crawford fans. And look, you go. You guys already knew that him. That bullshit petitioning to the WBO, that was just to try and enhance and raise the stakes for Zoo versus Fundora, right? Hmm. right? You knew PBC was not going to want to work with him after that debacle of a negotiation that took place for over a year. So, yeah, he's striking a deal. He already struck a deal. Both fighters have agreed to terms. The Saudis are going to come up with the money. And here's the best part. It's going to be televised on regular subscriber DAZN later this year. And it's going to be Terrence Crawford versus Israel Magmadov for his WBA title. At 154? At 54, yes, sir. So he has the, the he got the vacant title. Was it quote unquote email belt? or? It was, uh, he beat up a very good fighter from Uzbekistan. Okay. Um, yeah, I knocked him out, and so he won the vacant title. A vacant title, and it's still it. so, so Jermel yep. has no belts at this point. He's no, he, does, he, he doesn't. He they, the ring the champ- stripped him. Yeah, that's what I, I I need a clear head on this, uh, Joseph. Who who are the champs at one fifty four? Which belts are vacant? Because that's where I'm. Okay. Confused. Um, the only champ that is still vacant to the best of um, no, he Magmadov fought for the IBF. Was it? Well, has Which to one was Fendora, it, Jim? No, no, Fedora has a, the WBO and the WBC, right? That, that's right. And I think Magmadov fought for the IBF, was it? It's gonna be Gems, which, IBF fight, which, which belt did they fight for in, oh, uh, in Saudi? I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyway, it was one of the titles. There's one still vacant, though. I think it's the WBA, though. That's what I heard you say initially. So, yeah, so they are going to fight for the... Um, yeah, Mokmadov's title. And so that's going to happen later. This- okay. How excited are you guys about that? I mean, really. Oh, he just... He just timed out. <laughs> we, got, we got one that's dude timing a, out. It's actually a dangerous fight. Mokmadov crack a little bit. Okay, gonna- yeah. But um, yeah, I'm doing. I, I already said I was uh doing a live film study on Patreon on Monday for that matchup. Yeah, yes. Uh, Requested by by my girl Kelly K. Sorry about that, guys. I, I my computer's been jacking up, man. I actually spilled something on it. Chihuahua. My coffee this morning, writing articles, and uh, yeah. Uh, so now it's been uh, just the keys are all messed up right now. I had to reset it and everything. But anyway, guys, so there's the news. Um, it is legit. It's not just a rumor. And it's, like I said, best part, it's going to be televised on zone for regular subscriber, not pay-per-view. Nice. Beautiful. See, and you thought I only told said uh, bad news when I came on your show. I mean, <laughs> majority. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> what the hell was that? Was that a uh, Maidana? Uh, yeah, Chopper. it's it's he's his uh, manager, correct? Oh shit, Maidana those men. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they're both uh, Argentines, and uh, in my opinion, this fight is going to play out eerily similar to Maidana. Versus um, Adrian Broner, in my opinion. This fight right here. Uh, I picked the, um, I picked up. I picked no, I'm up about the main event. I'm picking the upset because um, it's five to one odds. Oh, Gustavo, Gustavo Lemos. I'm talking about. You're talking about Lemos. Okay. Yeah, I hope Lemos it is. versus Hitchens. I hope it is. This should be. Hilarious. Yeah, but Maidana's both of their managers, isn't he? He manages oh. both fighters. I have no clue. Yep. Maybe. I didn't know uh, Lemos was uh, Argentine. 
Yeah, dude, he's got heavy hands like my Donna too. He's very awkward, like my Donna. He's I, very I, heavy I studied, handed. I studied a little bit. And if you, um, Don Chargan always told me, "Hey, don't get too high on a prospect and you see until you find out how well he can take a shot from a world class fighter." And we're gonna find out tonight. That's what I said. We don't know. I, I don't know how he deals with a pressure fighter. No. I mean, well, a South, southpaw pressure fighter. He already does yep. that. Yeah, because pure boxers notoriously have trouble with uh, pressure fighters. So if they don't know the right moves, if they don't have the right, you know, tactics. Nah, his is, hey, nah, if press, if press and he can't get away, Hitch can fight on the inside a little bit too. I say, no, go, you can go watch the uh, Alamo fight. Definitely, uh, definitely got down with the, you know, some controls, some frames, all that type of shit. So. Anyway, I, I bet the upset on this fight. So this is what I need. Wow, you did, huh? Yes, sir. Right on, man. I love it. Bit of gamesmanship. Raise the stakes. Got some skin in it, baby. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Who's got that damn echo? So we've got three dates coming up, all almost seemingly back to back to back in uh, San Antonio. And I'm be working all three. I'm doing re-announcing on May 3rd for TMB promotions at the Scottish Rite Temple in downtown. Mm -hmm. Then I'm doing commentary the week, the Saturday after that for AAA promotions. And then I'm doing Robert Garcia's fight card this next one on Father's Day weekend, June 15th. Nice. Hey, so Joseph, I know you don't really know too much about PBC because they're like kind of a fucking cult. But, I know enough. Right, I know you know something because you're you're in the business. Is now not that I give too much of a fuck about about this event, but like, um, or I don't really give too much of a fuck about Tank. But is that fight versus Frank really like gonna happen? Because I it's don't really feel. Um, look, it's from what I've been told, it's slated for the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas in June. Benavides is indeed going to be in the co-main event fighting Gvostik, which is mm. a very tough fight. By the way, but, my yeah. channel is War Week Boxing. I'm sorry I don't have the War Week monitor. I've got my uh, other channel. It's got Guido there with the collection baseball bat. That's so... Yeah, it's War Week boxing. So, um, in my opinion, it's slated, but they're not going to yeah. completely because that's going to be contingent on whether or not Canelo versus Jaime Munguia is a big commercial hit. And with the money that they're giving, um, in my, I, I, from what I've been told, the only reason why DAZN was a part of this event is because they agreed to pay Jaime Munguia's purse of $6 million. Wow. It's going to be the 22nd, brother. Oh, okay. Of the fight's about to start. We'll, we'll talk more about this after this fight. Yes, uh, sir. Of course. I'm really interested 20, in this fight. Wait, the 22nd of what? 22nd of June. June. Oh, okay. Yep. For Frank versus Tank, right? That's oh, wait show. a minute. No. It's going to be on the same night as my event, June 5th. No, no, no. 15th. They moved oh. it to the 22nd because someone's playing a concert or something at the Toyota okay. Center. Fight started. So you're picking the upset on James. Gems. Yes, sir. All right. On. I love it. First of all, Gotto landed some nice little liver shots to start the fight with. Right. That's and an attention south, getter. South ball, the liver's up front. Nice double up right there. Ooh, that was good. Hey, Joseph, how do you think the Canelo Munguia fight's going to go? Hold on. No, 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 no. We're going to talk in between fights, but thank you, man. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I may surprise you, but I don't think so.
Yeah, so your fire always had this constant high guard, which which doesn't do any favors with protecting his body. That's why he's getting his liver lit up. Mm-hmm. Uh, damn, high ass frame right there. Caught another buddy. one. Your fire's <clears throat> getting touched up, man. Good. That that is, hey man, fuck him. He, his, defense, <laughs> his defense is fucked up, man. It's only a, only a matter before that ticking time bomb explodes. Who else is fighting tonight, guys? Diego Pacheco. That's and then, right. Uh, and then you know Hitchcock. the main event. Very good. Yeah, so I guess you're not sold on your fight like most. Most. No, we we've seen him fight like two or three yeah, times you're live. You fighting it? Uh, I've seen him fight live uh, twice, and both times I've seen him fight, he uses his head as uh, defense. That's in the later good. rounds. In the later you mean rounds, like Mungia. Yeah, similar to Mungia, maybe even worse. He, he likes oh, the block punches with his. Oh, he hurt, buddy. He hurt. Him. Oh my god. He <laughs> yeah, hurt him already. Oh the, shit. Yeah, the double straight. Wow. And Buddy don't know how to clinch. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's just bobbing and weaving in the fucking... Kill him. Uh, Kill him my parlay, sir. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's trying to clinch now. All right. Good good rep break. And he got another le- um, <laughs> liver shot. Damn. You can kill the round for yourself. He was having a good round. Mm-mm-mm. Gotta be and better what, than that. I forget what weight is 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 this? He's a featherweight. This motherfucker don't have a clinch. Gems, what is what is your fight? A featherweight? What other fights are going on around the world right now? I know there's a, or did we already see him for the week? Who? Oh. Are there any other fights going on right now? Mm, not that I know of. I think everything's pretty much like all the events are over with, as far as I know. Yeah, that left hand seems to be money for your five so far. He's landing it. Mm-hmm. Straight left hand lands, lands again. You're right. That's it for tonight. Oh, nobody answered this. Oh, flyweight. Oh, really? It's at 112? That's what Moose said. Oh, okay. Maybe not. I don't know, man. Okay. Um, yeah, it's at 112. That's right. Damn. 10 rounds. That's why he hasn't got hurt. He's fighting against fucking 112 pounders. Yeah, he's starting it. He's starting to style on dude, man. Yeah, buddy, buddy got clipped. That shit hurt his yeah. chest. Motherfucker. He's starting to get in his rhythm. Yep. He was it's angle and shit. Like this, not even <laughs> your fight showing it's, uh, out. It's light sparring. Yeah. He's hitting, turning. Oh, he just caught left hook. Yeah, not, oh, jeez. 
Uh, bro, if you're a fighter that don't know how to punch, man, you're not, you're not, you're not going to make it, bro. Yeah. Well, see, that's a no, problem. He did, would you, he did would try you, to clinch in the first round. Yeah. Uh, yeah when yeah, he was about guys, to clinch, dude tried to hit him with a hook, and then he, he let go of the clinch and ducked under it. <laughs> Boy, it's target practice right now, though. You're right, guys. Yeah. Yeah, buddy, walking walking mid range with a high girl, like yeah, it's it's done. Yeah. I mean, I, he again, he must just be fighting hurt because that's the only reason why you would do this shit. <laughs> yeah, he did hurt him. He, he caught him early in this round too with a with a four in it too. That four right there. Oh, he's making him look stupid now, man. He is. Yeah, this is where your fight starts to get like trigger happy, and he drops his hands and gets clipped. I think he yeah. can afford to do oh, that. This is, this is um, you know, it's gonna have to happen if he has any, if Gato has any chance, bro. This shit is getting terrible. Yeah, he's getting uh, severely outclassed. Mm-hmm. Who is sleeping on a go, bro? This, your fire is trash, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kill me, man. If this fight was going the other way, your ass would stay quiet. <laughs> Be quiet, man. <laughs> Who is sleeping on a gold medalist? Like gold medalists don't get destroyed. Ah, right. <laughs> jeez. Uh, and didn't uh, Rabisi Ramirez lose his pro debut to a four rounder? Right. He got knocked. He got dropped too. Yep. So it happens, guys. Some people have a very hard time transitioning to the pro ranks, especially against aggressive-minded fighters who. Put lots of pressure because no one usually fights like that in the amateurs. Pretty much everyone fights from mid to long range in the amateurs and makes it a, well, not, uh, they used to a lot more. Now that they went to a pro style scoring, um, you see people actually um, use more torque because it's part of the scoring now. But they still predominantly fight from mid to long range. But yeah, I knew he was at, he was going to have to. Um, Terence was going to have to fight in Saudi if he wanted to fight this year, because the money that he's asking for, jeez, what network's going to want to pay for that shit? Bro, what the fuck is this? You trying to promote your channel? Man, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. go ahead, bro. I hope I wish you success. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, it's funny. At one time, I went onto that channel. Just because I saw a couple of um, some of my listeners, and I wanted to go in and say hi. And I clicked the link, and I heard someone say this as soon as I get in. That was a wah. That was a wah. And I'm like, what the hell is a wah? And then he started talking about Derev Yunchenko versus Mungia. And I'm like, oh, he meant war. Got it. <laughs> he just said it from like a Northeastern accent, like a Massachusetts. That was a wah. <laughs> like, what the hell is a wah? <laughs> I was like, oh, geez, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, chinga. <laughs> oh, geez. Your fire looking slightly less dominant, but um, all this fucking head movement, no counter punching, is not doing anything for Gato. There's a shot. After getting hit three times. Yeah, Your buddy, just, you're just trying to wing shit now. I mean, come on, man. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Khalid? 
Yes, it's not confirmed. No one's supposed to know about it. I'm just telling my close personal friends, all of you guys on Gem's channel. So you guys get it first. And the best part is Crawford versus Montmadoff is going to be on free subscriber to zone. Not on pay-per-view. Yeah, I remember that, Khalid. <laughs> yeah. But that's there's no shame in getting cooked by Chocolatito. <laughs> that guy's an ATG, man. Oh, yeah, that dude is that dude is something so, else. A freak. He's like a little Alexis Arguello. Just the way he fights. It's incredible. It's it's a joy to watch. And we're very lucky he's in this era. There's not very many like him these days. Speaking of which, I still can't believe that Eddie Hearn is putting Bam Rodriguez versus El Gallo Estrada in Arizona. That's about as sharp as a marble, brother. <laughs> seriously. Seriously, that's about as dumb as it gets. Well. <clears throat> Gallo actually landed some of these winging shots, but again, it's it's uh, it's not enough. It's very few and far in between. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss that kook man doing commentary sometimes. As long as he agrees with the scorecards. Right. <laughs> when he doesn't, oh, it's corruption. <laughs> it's terrible, man. You know, we're mad as heck, and we're not going to take it anymore. Right, he said even up, if he, he said even if you win a fight by one round, uh, you know, it's a robbery. Okay. A close fight, even a close fight is a robbery. Yeah. And He's Triple an G won the fight. They said, they said well, he, he, what if he only won by one round? They said, he still won the fight. It's still a robbery. Oh, jeez. You know, it's amazing how that's such a subjective process, but he's so absolute about the outcome. Right, exactly. Ben Dejo. Teddy is just a raging coke addict. <laughs> Don't say that, man. Well, he's not. <clears throat> I have no idea. I, every time I've met him, though, and talked to him, he's a, he's a severely nice guy. <laughs> Seriously, he's a very good, um, uh, seems like a good-hearted guy. He really does. But then again, I, I just have talked to him um, about the fight game. That's it. Nothing personal. But, yeah, he sniffles a lot, though, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought that's why that's because he broke his nose several times. Could be. I don't you, know. you know, like a pug, they always have respiratory problems. Could be. Or he could be on that. Uh... Oh, stop it. Booger sugar. <laughs> Yep. That stuff is evil poison, man. Oof. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he could, he could. I mean, he could just have the sniffles. I don't know. I just, I like to joke about him being a cokehead. I'm not really serious, Joseph, because, you know, he, he definitely has the personality, the flashy personality. Of a <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that's corrupt. Yeah. Sniffing so, hard as hell. Yeah. Raging. So maybe, maybe that's what he means by, I got to put some bugs on the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> I like that term. I, I love that term. That's, that's a good one, though. But the that is, you gotta put some bugs on the windshield. That's a good uh, one. I, I love some of the terms that he comes up with, some of the sayings, just to get his point across. He's really creative at times. <laughs> We're firemen. He's just old school, man. <laughs> we He's run to the school. fire, not away from it. This gold medal is getting hit by a lot of power shots. He's just landing more. This, this is this is when that's what I'm saying. This is when your fire starts to get cracked. It gets comfortable. I like that the referee's letting him fight. <laughs> Take the air out the tire. Yep. It takes some of the air out of the tire. This is what you say. Cracked. Uh, break some of the windows. Start breaking uh, windows. You got to put some water in the basement. Put some water in the basement. Right. Go to the body. <laughs> Break the windows on the on the bottom floor so that you can 
bra- he he has all these fucking. Men. That's how these old motherfuckers talk. My dad does the same fucking shit. <laughs> you, know, you know that's how these old folks talk, Joseph. Um, what are you trying to say, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad. It's just OG, uh, you know I just, you know, man, I like um, I like being old. The only the only thing I don't like about it is feeling like shit all the time. <laughs> that's about it well i wouldn't talk about you in general in specifically but you know that's nah, all right i embrace that stuff man i like being old sometimes most of the time they said they're cons- the corner is considering stopping the fight because he's taking a lot of damage they should yeah they're thinking about their boy he's completely outclassed he's got no he chance is. to win this and he doesn't have the see firepower to, to hurt him, really. It yeah, looks like if he can't, if he can't it, hurt him, it's a wrap. That's what I'm saying. It looked like he punched all his like all his power out of him, like from the first round. He just he took. Where's this at anyway? I don't know. You don't know what venue it's at? No. You know, I don't really. I'm not really paid too much attention to that. And that was an intentional shove. Well, seeing that Eddie Hearn put a bunch of non-ticket sellers in one card. It's in Vegas. Yep, Vegas, and it's got to be a very moderate casino like the Cosmopolitan. But I've been to the Cosmopolitan several times. That fine, may be it. Fine blue. Oh, huh? your fight just got cracked. Really? He didn't get hurt, but he got cracked by a clean overhand. Got the crowd it's to react. Good. Yeah, yeah best of luck. Fine blue. Fontainebleau, Fontainebleau, I don't know. There no, it's Fa- Fontainebleau. It's French. Fontainebleau, yeah, all right, there you go. Fontainebleau. What you wow, it's a new about? venue. I love it. That's what we need. More venues uh, uh, paying where, these side fees. My bad, I wasn't paying attention. Where is this venue at? Fontainebleau. Where is that at? I heard On that. the strip. Oh, in Vegas, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, okay. you give him a warning. So what are the chances that this cat push him again at um, the point? Shoshan Urdashev finally gets a shot at the title and he has to fight Subriel Matias. Because I guarantee you he fights any one of those other cats, he has a very good chance of winning. Highly doubt it. Oh um Shoshan Urdashev? Teo schools him. Haney schools him, especially after what I just saw. Uh, Matias would not, would destroy him again. Uh, he has a chance against Pitbull. Really? You think all those dudes destroy him? Absolutely. Absolutely. Really? Tell me yeah. why, please. I respect your opinion. I'll get more into it after the fight, but um, just based off what I saw Haney do to the southpaw in the last fight, he, he could, he'll take away Erg- Ergashev's left hand the same way. But um, Tio, he could beat Ergashev too. Really? I, so I really like uh, Ergashev's power, and I really like his footwork. I believe so. I think they're too Un- good. Unfortunately, the um, the M- Matthias fight, I just did an interview with him, getting ready to write another article. They want me to put it out. Um, that, they, he just landed two clean shots on your fight at the end of the round. Another no, that, was a good, that was a good round for Gato. He, he won that round. <clears throat> I don't, wait, it, did he win it's that o- round? That was- it's only midway through the fight. Okay. Well, he showed his team that he could stay in the fight. Good for him. Yeah, because I'm doing a little work for Dimitri Salida so, and Salida Promotions. So, um, yeah, they want me to put out an article the week of the Haney-Ryan Garcia fight. They think in a couple fights he's going to be ready for another title shot. But Ryan it's Garcia. a problem. It's a problem. Um, oh, because, Yeah, Ergashev. Yeah, because he's just not a ticket seller. Who the, you know, who's going to want to fight him? So in this case, is like guys like Ergashev and guys like Raymond Ford who aren't ticket sellers. They depend on the sanctioning organizations. Otherwise, they're worthless. Mm-hmm. But that's that's what the that's what purpose the because even still you're gonna see a lot of stars just vacate the title rather than giving giving the contenders their uh, mandatory 
Right. They're, they're giving uh they're giving uh, Ray Ford a lot of uh attention since he won that belt. I'm not gonna He's lie, good. Ray Ford, I, he like every time they ask him like uh you know questions about like what's going on in the ring, he gets some pretty good commentating, man. I think after he retires, he could he can get a a good job on one of these panels, man. Yeah, he's a very astute kid. I I, he I heard he's going to be fighting um, Ball in. Um, he's going to be defending his title against Nick Ball in on uh, June first. Fucking Nick Ball. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> that last fight just left a bad taste. Well, he's give him a break. He's fighting Jose Vargas. No one looks good against Jose Vargas. It wasn't uh, he. Accidental hit, but okay. It wasn't that he looked bad. It was um, this is fucking. He was fighting hella dirty, like you know. Oshaki, Oshaki beat him pretty easy. Nick Ball? No, Vargas. Oh, sorry, Vargas. Oh, Vargas. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Sh uh, Shaki, Oshaki uh, fought a very disciplined fight and forced Josue to take the lead. Something he's not good at. Yeah. Oshaki's oh, veteran savvy. Oh man. wow, damn, rep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He just, I, I mean, no, cool Bro. little tag. Cool little tag. He straight up pushed him and landed a yeah, punch. Yeah, that's not legal, though. I mean, you could nudge him, but pushing him is not. Like, he does on, it man. all the time. Does it with his elbow. And the ref hasn't done come anything on, about he it did yet. did it with his hand this time. Oh, okay. See. Wow. Yeah. I don't like how the ref is allowing that shit, man. Well, Tell you know, no it's just like not paying your taxes. It's only illegal if you get caught. Yeah, nah, I ain't. I mean, shit, it's a fight. Yeah, it's not square dancing. Let the rev let the rev do his job. That's what I say. Yep, indeed. Indeed. Yep, Shit, I would say more people. about taxes, but I don't want the IRS to come after me. Ah, pff. they've got enough problems, brother. I don't know if they're listening. You know these fucking YouTube fucking AIs. Yeah, because your phone is is impossible to tap. You're right. <laughs> Dude, if they really want to listen in on your conversations, they've got your computer on your hand. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> I pay for I pay for audit protection. Leave me alone. So next time you're at the store and someone says, "Hey, would you like to join our club and just give me your number and your email address?" Yeah, don't do it. So I don't never do that. And whenever you go online, if someone asks you to accept cookies, don't do it. If you're really that paranoid about someone tapping into your phone. Yes, um, the Nick Ball is the buff ass man, baby. The dude who's yeah. like a, a baby Brock Lesnar. <laughs> he said, he's the, Brock Lesnar. It's crazy. <laughs> tell me he ain't. Nah, he is. He's a baby Brock Lesnar. Dude. Nah, short and stock. Yeah. He's got no neck, just like Pitbull Cruz. <laughs> he built just like that. He said Nick Ball is the short UK fighter that gets knockdowns from pushing. That's what pissed me off. Oh, when he got the two knocked. Yeah. Hey, what's up, little Clarity? How you doing, brother? Yeah. The UFA is is look so much for the gold medalist guys. He's looking sloppy. Your boy's yeah, looking sloppy. Spirit of uh, You know, it's funny. What came on on my feed earlier today was Bernard Hopkins and Roy Jones at RFK, the old Washington Redskins Stadium. I had forgotten how boring that fight was. Which one? Jones versus Hopkins won. Jones versus what? Hopkins won? I mean. You thought it was boring? I didn't think it was boring. I was going to say yes. I was like, I the second fight, man. That was that was Superman in his prime, man. I get like that just, was just sensational, man. Um, okay. I'm I'm just saying, bro. We, like you don't see fighters like you'll never see that again, uh, Joseph. No, 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 not like Roy Jones, but against uh, Bernard Hopkins. I guess the executioner, so man, of oh, yeah. all people. Uh huh. Come on, man. Hate him because he's his right hand was fractured in that fight too. That might oh, have been that's I right. I think you're right. The, both guys were waiting for each other to get off first. Don't ever call me. Dude, that's right. WrestleMania is on right now. WrestleMania is Saturday. I'm going to be tuning in tomorrow. I love wrestling, man. 
Joe yeah. is uh, he's killing me with this with this uh slick for no reason shit. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're fine? No, Gato, like bro, some oh. of these sequences is just all head movement. Uh-huh. <laughs> you have to and then hit that overhand. I mean, clearly, clearly, um, you know, he, he's finding some success with simple slip counters and shit, but then he gets into this whole he's very uh, squared slip up. Slip left, slip right, uh cross step backwards, like bro. What? Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Like that shit right there. Weave to the left, weave back right. You still got hit. If that's whatever, he just needs, he needs more power. Yeah, if, no, if he had more power, your five would have been in trouble. Because uh, he definitely landed his, his fair on, share of power. Come on, Red. That's all it's going to take is for your five to move up and wait. She's going to get fucked up. Yeah. Yes. yes. Prime, I don't know what's up with your mic, but every time you talk, it's muffling. It's like we can't really hear you. You have your headset on? You, yeah. you, can you guys hear him? Because I can't. Like He's muffled. It's, it's difficult. Very difficult. Like, really difficult. And the Reds win against the Mets. Nine to oh, six. Man. He's Woo! getting tagged. Man, your fight always fucking... He always spoils his work, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. he, he's doing so good, and then he just starts falling apart. Getting That's lazy. why we say he's a ticking time bomb. All you guys talking and shit. Look, this is what we see. Yeah, y'all just. Well, what he should do right now. Rounds. What he should do right now is say he can't see from that cut and spare us all. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll go to the judges' scorecards. Gets an easy victory. We we'll move on. What's the next? Look, is it just me or does this guy from Argentina look like his gloves are filled with helium? Um, well, well I mean, they're, different. Once. they're different gloves. I mean, I can tell they're both wearing two different types of gloves. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Of course. One is Elvis Grant. The other one's Everlast. But the red, I don't know. They look huge on that kid. They look winning or something, like their winning brand or ringside. What's the best glove? Which one? What's the best glove? Did you guys hear something? No. Someone was trying to talk. It's Prime. His mic is hella fucked up. Oh, dude. I'm sorry, man. That stinks. That's what I was telling him. Every time he talks, like we can't hear him. He sounds like that dude on, um, like a deaf mute trying to talk. Yeah. <laughs> like we yeah. can hear noise. But we you can't about hear to say South Park? <laughs> 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 oh, that's what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, Yo, you can't be doing that. That was too much right there. That was just ear rape. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Bro, this ain't going to work, man. <laughs> you're going to have to back out come back in. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. You're, you're, we yeah. can't hear you, brother. <laughs> Holy shnikes. We heard that. What the heck? We definitely heard that. We can hear your soundboard, wow. but we can't hear you. We got the old school mixtape sound effects. <laughs> I, I told y'all this dude has a soundboard, man. Those are some of my favorites, actually. I like the old analog sounds back in the day. And your fire is fucking his dude. He's a punching bag at this point. Mm -hmm. I told you when he gets into this head movement shit. That's what I'm right saying. He's a good punch, man. Tell the ref or tell the doctor at ringside you can't see because of all the blood. And smear oh. us of this. Come on. This is rinse and repeat. Oh. Then he lands a big left. Man, you're fine, bro. Right. He just got caught again. You're fine still getting caught, even though he's beating up, dude. He is he is the tickingest of ticking time bombs right now. Mm -hmm. I love I love love all the love all the controls though that, that he's getting away with. 
Um, yeah, yeah, that he's getting away with. Ones that are illegal, <laughs> illegal ass fucking controls. My buddy is just making it easy on him with, with this pure head movement shit. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Yeah, he stopped the fight. Good. That is ridiculous, bro. Yeah. Dude came in with a. The trashiest. Of life or death. This dude, this your gold medalist, just went life or death with this guy. No, dude, that was. Far I don't know about that, death, man. Yeah, Come what on, you mean, dude. life or death, buddy? Come shot. on, dude. <laughs> life Bro. or death is uh, Lomachenko versus Devin Haney in the last three rounds. That's life man. or death. He's getting touched a little bit, man. That's what I'm saying. You're five. Man. Look, you had a trouble stopping this dude, and you let this guy tag you up when you really shouldn't be getting like. Come on. But it's dude bad. Like, what's his record? Nah, he's nah, not he bad. Your fight is not just... bad. Again, if he would have had, if he would have had more power, your fire would have been on the canvas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. But, uh, but uh, nah, you shit, he ain't have it. Yeah, these are flyweights. Oh yeah, so they're not really cracking like that. Nah, just wait for Gustavo Lemos. He can punch. But he's gonna bring out the best in you know, Richardson thought, Hitchens. You know, in um Junto Flyweight, Super Flyweight, some shit. He's, no, no, no. You think he moved up to Bantamweight? Oh Junto that man. dude, I don't know how that guy ever made 112. He's big, of course. No daddy. That guy's huge. <laughs> Man, he can punch like a mule, dude. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Nah, what are we so talking about? You're five, you're five versus a, a Junto, Junto Nakatani. A, a Bam. Oh, he's dead. oh forget it. He's forget dead. it. He's... I see. I saw Khalid's comment three pounds. Three pounds is 115. That means Estrada, Bam, Chocolatillo. Yep. Like, bro, it's going to make a big difference, fam. Yep. It's a big difference in power. Yep. But uh, dude, Bam can crack, dude. Bam that, whooping his ass. Yeah, Bam, Bam is not gonna lose him. anytime soon, but, guys. But Junto would knock him out in the first round. He wouldn't make it out of the first round with it. Yeah, Junto's it, it, a bad dude, man. Dude, I, that guy's scary, man. Junto is nice. Yeah, he made Mahoney look like a bobblehead. Bro, that, that, was, was, that was pretty. That was pretty scary. That was a scary knockout. Yeah. I seen him twitching yep. then. I was like, oh yeah. Shit. Have you ever seen that live, guys? Bro, I saw it live. I screamed and I woke my brother it's up. It's creepy, man. Bro, creepy. I, Joseph, I was like damn near falling asleep because um I was just like, man, Maloney's about to survive and make it to the 12th round. And and my brother was asleep. And then I was just like, all I, all I seen was that overhand left, and I just I was like, oh shit. Yeah, my brother dude. woke up. What the fuck happened? I was like, look at this. He <laughs> yeah, it's like, creepy. Did that feel like? Did he fucking kill that fool? <laughs> like, uh, do you remember the White Wolf, Sergey Leakovich, when he got knocked out by Deontay Wilder? Yes. Oh my that god. That was scary. Scary, dude. Scary that, knockout. That was, was there live. He said, um, "What did he say about that shit?" He said, "I think I killed him for a for a split second. His soul left his body. Some shit like that." Oh okay. gosh. Does anyone still pay attention to anything that Deontay Wilder says? <laughs> that's how he. T- you know, that's how he be talking, man. Uh, I know. I used to do, if Jacob I used to do was press here. work for all those guys. If Jacob was here, he'd, be, he'd probably be able to tell us what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he does the best impressions. Of nah, the for real. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, his David Benavidez impression is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. David Benavidez. He said, I, you know I what? Guys Something in the fucking hospital. You know what? Something tells me, man, he's gonna lose this fight against Vostic. I that I I favor uh, Vostic damn near. It's a 50-50 just because Vostic ain't really been too active, or he ain't at that highest level. He ain't been. But I kind of favor him really, realistically. Yeah, he's gonna have a really hard time cutting off that ring against Vostic. Vostic, remember, at one point in time, he was in the top five pound for pound. Hmm. He retired. Um, yeah, my brother, uh, Superman. What's his name? From Quebec? Adonis Stevens? Adonis Stevenson, yeah. He retired. Yeah, him. yeah he did. Oh, that was scary too, man. Um, but yeah, Gvostik, 
He's going to have a really hard time cutting off that ring and closing the distance. He's never fought anyone with that kind of um, skill set and power. That's a, and he has a serious chance at getting knocked out by Vosdick, too. Vosdick mm. can crack. He can Yeah, move, he can punch, he man. Can He's got it all, dude. He's a pound-for-pound yeah. pound guy. I don't know about pound for and any more pound for no, pound. No, I'm just saying he was at one time. He was yeah. one of the elite. He was one of them. He so was a little be, Alexander Usyk. And better be if he he does he oh he fucks people's careers up like yeah that. yeah you too he damages Gosh, that, you. that's a scary man right there. But to answer your question before Canelo versus mm-hmm. Mungia, um, I think Mungia has an opportunity here. I really do. Um. He's really coming into his own. He's he's entering his prime. He's at the apex of his confidence. He's using his jab more. He's being a lot more patient and selective of his shots. Um, and I think after the Dervianchenko fight, he really worked on the skill part of it. And I like the way he's been progressing over his last two fights. Um, I'm not going to give all the credit to Freddie Roach because that's ridiculous. But... Mm-hmm. I'm sure the sparring in that gym hasn't hurt at all. Um, where he's used to just sparring in Mexico. Now yeah, he's that's true. He, he just, he's sparring in, with world-class competition, guys who can actually fight, box. They don't just come uh, come forward and take shots, right? Um, he's he's um, He is – I truly believe he's got an opportunity. If he – Fights him in the box. And because against Canelo, I think that may be the safest place to be. And that may increase his chances of landing something of consequence. Because we all saw in the gorilla fight, the Brit, he takes a lot of shots and his reflexes aren't the same. Aren't what they Mm -hmm. used to be. He was getting touched up a lot um, against gorilla. And I think if Jaime Munguia works his way intelligently in the inside and then stays there. He's got a chance. He really has an opportunity here. I wouldn't be shocked if both men, Canelo and Benavidez, lost their next fight. I don't think Mungia has trash ring IQ. He has, he has like he used to very questionable defense, but his ring IQ is decent. He doesn't have trash. That's that's way too like he used to. That is a, that is a reach. Admittedly, I think he used to, but once again, guys, he was only 23 and 24 at that time. He's 28 now or 27 coming into his prime. Um, trash yeah, is, I, is a bit excessive. That's all I'm saying, Joseph. Like you say, no, 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 I agree. Threats, I agree. Trash is that's what, he's what, definitely what? not. He has, he has some ring IQ, guys. Yeah, I, I, IQ I agree guy. from what Kalita's <laughs> saying. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, yeah, and this is why Canelo favors this fight, and this is. This is why I told you guys he made the offer, Canelo's team, to Mungia as early as late December. Like I told you when this when that this was gonna be his next fight. hmm Yeah, you did. You you shit, you know what you're talking about, man, with the business shit. You're usually right about this shit, man. Thank as you, much man. as I don't want you to be right. You oh know, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't me, think I... I don't think you want you to be right. No, I don't. <laughs> but I'm very, very happy that Terrence Crawford, he's found a home in Saudi Arabia. Okay. That's cool. That's the only place that's going to be able to pay his salary. Yep. I don't know why, Joseph. I, don't, I still don't believe Tank versus Frank. Um, look, it, it, look, if the Canelo fight is a bust, which it's not going to be. I mean, Munguia, and I've been telling people this um, that aren't familiar with the Mexican fight market down there. Munguia has yeah. been making the rounds on mm-hmm. all the major media outlets down there, and he's becoming a big star. Mm-hmm. You're going to see that crowd split in two. That's You're going to see half the crowd cheering for Munguia and mm-hmm. the other half cheering for Canelo. But Canelo's got a lot of haters in Mexico right now. Yeah, I bet he does. Why is it – another thing is, what is David Benavides doing on an undercard if he's just like, you know, 
Um, it's headlines. not a good look, but but in my opinion, um, they really wanted him on there to increase and bolster ticket sales. And if For look, Tank versus Frank, okay, uh, this is this is this would be hilarious because Canelo promised a surprise to all of his Mexican fight fans on May fourth. Mm -hmm. And if he announces the Benavidez fight and Benavidez loses to his sparring partner, Gravostic, that would be so ironic. Who's sparring partner? Um, uh, Alex Gravostic is Canelo's spar chief sparring partner. Oh, really? Yeah. They're, they're, they're stable mates. Um, Eddie Reynoso is his manager now. Interesting. Yeah. Manager why do you think he's coach? Look, look, why do you think he's fighting Benavidez? And Canelo promised a big surprise. My guess is that if this is a big moneymaker, proves to be commercial success, not only are they going to announce the tank fight, they're also going to announce Canelo versus Benavidez in November. So, so the tank fight, like I said, is not finalized. Of course not. So, so people thought I was crazy. All no, right. no, no, no. They, I they told everybody this shit's not going to happen, man. I don't believe it. <laughs> Look, they've talked about it. The fighters have talked about it. I knew that this was going to happen a long time ago, but they, they're not going to announce it until they find out if they can. Look, they, PBC, the, uh, everything they have, it's all invested in this Canelo fight. And they've invested over 30, uh, 36, 37 million. And this is coming out of Heyman's pocket. This has been bonded. He had to wow. come up with this. Amazon is a distribution deal only. And I've told you guys that. Uh-huh. So this is it. It's going to be June 22nd, Khalid. Thank God, man. So I get to go. I'm going to go watch the shield with my, or the, the fight with my brother, Ronnie. Ronnie Shields. Uh huh. I was actually thinking of going with him to uh, Saudi. So I already have my passport. Ronnie Shields looks like a cool cat. Honestly, he is the best guy I've ever met in this business. Yeah, like honestly, really there cool. he's not only the best guy that you'll ever meet in this business. He's the best guy you'll ever meet in life. He's such a good-hearted guy, and he is he is such a an affable demeanor for a fight trainer. That's what, but, that's my thing. Yeah. But dude, if you go to the gym, he is not like that at all. <laughs> no, I, I, he, I, he gets a, on the ass, man. <laughs> trust me, I, I know how it is. Uh, Joseph, that's how a lot of, you know, I, I know a lot of trainers like that. I'm used to it. Like once you get the, in there, like you just don't expect them to be like your friend or none. You better go in there and get in work, you know, but he is, he is by far one of my best friends in this business. And he's such a great guy. Um, yeah. And that's why he gets, that's why everyone loves to work with him. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I agree because of his demeanor though, because yeah. he doesn't have those sayings like, um, Nazim Richardson or Teddy Atlas. He's like, Oh, swim, swim without getting wet. Bullshit like that. That doesn't yeah. mean a damn thing because he doesn't have those. Yeah. He doesn't get the kind of respect he deserves from the media. Right. Because they're dude, it's it's sinful why he's not in the Hall of Fame and so many other trainers that haven't done um nearly what he's done is already really? in. Yeah. He's not in the hall. Of, he's not in the hall. He's in the Nevada. He's in the um Texas, but he's not in Canastota. And I can't believe it. Dude, Sylvester Stallone is in Canastota. Well deserved. I am mad at it. Well, I no, but come on, dude. Then Ronnie Shields really should be recognized. You don't think Stallone deserves a, a with all the inspiration, all the people that started boxing? What he's done rocking? for the sport? Yeah, of he, course he does. Okay, I thought look, you were going to say if, no. But look, if Mancini is in, come on now. If Ray That's Mancini is in, right? Come on. No, I come on, man. I I I thought Ronnie Shields was a Hall of Fame trainer. Fuck that. Yeah, he should be. Well, international. Okay, he's a Nevada Hall of Fame. You said so. Um, yeah. If yeah, that is criminal, Damien. If that he's is not bullshit. nominated this year, then I'm gonna be pissed, and I'm gonna start making a campaign, man, to get him in, because it's it's ridiculous. Ronnie's done it all in this business. He's given his entire life to this business. He's been in and around the business ever since he was a little kid.
Where boxing gyms go? I'm here. Um, oh, okay, you've been quiet as hell. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a pleasant conversation. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Um, yeah, it really sucks. I. I. But I love Ronnie, man. He's. Uh, he's the greatest. He's such a great guy. And I don't know one person who doesn't feel that way, except for maybe um, Effie Ajagba. <laughs> Why you say that? Um, because Ronnie just got on his ass live on on TV, I think it was, or I don't know, maybe it was a periodical, or maybe it was my show. Um, but hold on, bro. Is somebody meant to tell McCalman to do this? I mean, what the fuck is he doing, bro? <laughs> yeah, this is even warm. No, nah, I mean, you see Pacheco hit mitts with his trainer. My man's doing a promo. Maybe he, I mean, I think he's sweating, so it looked like he was just hitting the pads. Maybe he just. Just, yeah. hey, punch at the camera. Well, why not? <laughs> well, I don't know. Why not? Just stay warm. That should look weird. He could have stayed warm looking somewhere else. I'm sad. It's like, it's almost like they told him. No, uh -huh. he's trying the he's trying to do the old school promos back in the day. Right, yeah, that's what yeah, I that's figured. What, that's yeah. how I remember it. That's yeah. what I figured he was doing, which is which is it's cool. I don't got a problem with that. <laughs> hey, have you guys? Um, I did a really cool interview with um, Dimitri Salida where he was talking about um, big time boxing USA. Um, his his latest uh, series on his own. Um. Where he's talking about fighter development and creating that fan base, he gets it, man. He's one of the few promoters that is willing to beat their feet and build a fan base um, in the regional area. And that's such a beautiful area, man, for boxing. So much talent traditionally comes out of that area. Mm -hmm. Michigan, Ohio. Yeah, man. Yeah, Michigan that's, has the best fucking boxers historically. That in Ohio. Yep. Yeah. That's where the best amateurs come from traditionally, man. In the U.S. No, well, USA I don't boxing. know about Ohio. I'm talking about like the pros, all the like the legends is from fucking, you know, Michigan. Aaron Pryor from Cincinnati. Well, I mean, Aaron Pryor is it ain't you know on the level of the people I'm thinking of. Oh yeah, he's only the. I'm thinking of Ray Robinson. I'm thinking. Oh of Joe yeah, Lewis. yeah, I'm yeah. I'm thinking yeah, of like yeah, you know, Floyd. Yeah. James Tony, Floyd, Tommy yeah. Hearns, you know what yeah. I mean? You're you're right. You're right. Hilmer Kenty. I can, yeah. I can go on, man. <laughs> yeah. Tommy Hearns. Yeah, man. Michigan. That cronk, that cronk gym is silly. Yep. Like, and even if you weren't fighting out of the cronk, you always went down there for the best sparring. Yeah. Chingao, man. Boy, there's That's never gonna be another Emmanuel Stewart, guys. Never. Emmanuel Stewart was something else, man. He was the greatest. Like, everything about him was great. Like, and it was hilarious. He never put up with bullshit. It's like when he was not in front of the commentary booth, he would tell people what time it was. I'll never forget, man. We were at um, Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. And Vladimir just beat Samuel Peter, um, mm -hmm. getting off the canvas twice. Mm -hmm. And he still went on points. And That's Samuel Vol Peter, man. Oh, that guy could punch. But... <laughs> um, yeah, former Nigerian Olympian, but he um he was undefeated going into that fight. And this was a pivotal fight for Vladimir Klitschko. Mm -hmm. And he had just um started kind of getting in the groove with Emmanuel's style, right? Fighting behind the jab, being patient, sparring more, trying to get the uh, exercise the demons out of Vladimir. So this is a really important fight. And Miguel Cotto versus Ricardo Torres was in the co-main event. And afterwards, Zavala Gotsev tried to stand up Vladimir Klitschko and say, HBO was sick of it. We want a rematch because HBO has been picking this guy up off the canvas, giving him so many opportunities. And we, Emmanuel said, you know what? Just shut the hell up and sit down. This is, <laughs> this is your introduction to big time boxing. Now you just need to shut up because you sound like a bunch of sore losers. Now just, <laughs> just take your loss like a man and get back in line. That and sounds he, just like him. And he shut the hell up, and he never said another word for the rest of the press conference. All right. He, so he he doesn't. I've heard he like Emmanuel doesn't doesn't give a fuck. He'll he'll, he'll tell you. Yep. He'll tell you off. You know. Have you ever heard my Kopi Luwak story? Did I ever tell you that? 
No, but you're gonna have to save that for after the fight because it's about. To I start. sure will. Very good. <laughs> just please <laughs> what, remind what, me though. What was that name you just said? Kopi Luwak. It's the most expensive coffee in the world. Oh, is that that shit from like monkeys at ass shit? Oh, <laughs> it's it's uh it's a it's, cat it's... called the Servat. Um, and I had no idea what it was at the time, but Emmanuel, of course, he did. Emmanuel was so um, cultured. He had been around the world. All He'd been everywhere. And so he hey. taught me about the most expensive cup of coffee in the, the entire most. world. And they were selling it at this hotel casino Hold on. for the, 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 $50 the, the, a cup. The fight's about to start. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, man. Here we go. Shit, they still doing ring announcements for me, bro. Yeah, is I know, it, bro. Is it but just me I don't, or th- if he gets started, guy- he's <laughs> it's gonna take five minutes, so that's all I'm saying. You know, we want is, is it just oh, me or is, is this a, guy is the worst ring announcer? Is it a long story? It's gonna be a long story. No, no, no. It's it's yeah, it's kind of it's not not terribly long, but it's it's so I want, but, but I wanted to ask, what do you guys think of McCalman? That was what I wanted to ask. What have you guys what? seen any have you guys seen any film study on McCallum? McCallum. Yeah, I, again, I study all this shit. But um, <laughs> yeah. uh, I saw him making a lot of mistakes. Yeah, personally. he doesn't have very good guard discipline. Mm-hmm. So uh, he, had, you know, he had drop his hands at times. That's where he's in bad positioning to do so. So, uh, but but uh, he's got he can he's a slicker type fighter. So. Um, He's got some shit that Pacheco perhaps hasn't hasn't seen yet mm-hmm. that could trouble him, but I don't I don't see him doing very well overall. I mean, not having not having good uh, guard discipline, yeah, it's probably done bowl well against somebody that could punch like Pacheco. That's what I was thinking, especially a counter puncher. But um, I think I think he's you know. In good enough shape, you know, at a, at a point where I think he might be able to go to distance, but yeah, I don't see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, again, he's he's got he's got a um, he's athletic, so you know, anybody right. athletic, you probably got to give a chance to survive if they choose to to fight that way. Well, unless he can uh, do something to keep the bully from taking his lunch money, it's going to be a problem. Yeah. No, but Calme can punch, man. He's not a, a vicious. He's not a puncher, but he can punch. He's got you know? zero knockouts. No, he doesn't. He has seven. No, he's got zero knockouts. He. Oh, I you're right. He's got. He's got seven knockouts. My. My apologies. You're right. I was about to say what? Like, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong guy. Which it, it isn't. A, it isn't a high ratio. But don't let knockout ratio. Andre Ward had a fifty percent knockout ratio. The dude could punch like a motherfucker. You know. No, oh, yeah, yeah, he's so athletic and um, very smart, very good at setting up his shots with that jab. Mm-hmm. Um, he had such a way, like Floyd, of neutralizing an opponent's offense. He was so smart. Um, yeah, he um, Virgil was lucky to have uh, trained a specimen like Andre Ward. That's a special fighter. One of the goats. Hmm. Touch him oh. up. Last great American oh. fighter, bro. Is that that's Benavidez, dad? Ain't it? Yeah, yeah. He trains with Benavidez. Yeah. Camp. Mm-hmm. Benavidez was talking about it in an interview, saying, "Oh, it's time to pass on the torch to to Pacheco for 168." Mm. Well, I will not, say this: not man, not the, the greatest sign, in my opinion. But anyway, fights on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Common is looking slow. He's just probing. Yeah, he's going to take the first round, man, to just get his eyes adjusted to the timing and movement. Common's in slow motion. Chilling. <laughs> that motherfucker got, uh, he got a heavyweight's frame up top and a uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and a, a fucking Walter Wade leg, bro. He's right. got Deontay Wilder legs. He's got those Deontay legs. 
<laughs> nah, it ain't that bad. Not but. quite. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like toothpicks. Like Yeah, he oh. does look slow, doesn't he? He's just Man, like moving he's slow. Only pro he's probing. Yeah, well, maybe he should have done more to actually get, get warmed up instead so of that looks, uh, promo work. He, he, I mean, he just looks very, like, his movement is just like a sludge. I don't know. It's those tiny tweet. legs, man. The man. The man is probing. Yeah, I'll tweet him, bro. I, I get, I'm just talking, I'm just more so talking about his energy. He, he has a very calm you know energy yeah oh. well you know what that that's that's what you that's what's preached he's not jittery game. he's not moving around it's, it's, it's just, very it's... very important to relax or else you're not going to respond well to punches coming at you well he might be too relaxed joseph that's my thing well, you don't <laughs> yeah. want to you don't yeah, you're right frozen, yeah either. yeah you don't, don't want to be frozen but yeah mm -hmm. well he but, might but be get, relaxed all the way if he's not careful <laughs> i like what he, i like what mccallum is doing he's not wasting a lot of energy he's just giving him a few looks he's he's collecting data that's what he's doing i hate that term but he's really doing it though i know it's cringe it's it's fucking yeah but, <laughs> but he's, he's downloading really, the data but he's he's literally collecting data because i already saw him throw like four or five different feints he's he's trying to get some different looks out of pacheco Yeah, well, hey. the thing I'm noticing, the thing I'm noticing is he's not responding to Pacheco's uh, feints at all. Mm -hmm. That's a Which good thing. Good. No, no, that's a good not, thing. It's not because no, it leaves you open. It, it could, it could be a bad thing though. Yeah, could be a bad thing. You know, you would think it would look. The only way Pacheco's going to get him to bite on his feints and to react is if he actually lands something of consequence. Not always, you know. But that's what I'm saying. One, so that's what I'm saying. If you're not, if you're not biting on nothing, nine times out of ten, I could throw the punch and, and I'm a land. That is true. That is true. Unless he's got reflexes like Floyd Mayweather. Right, right. But Pacheco, and we ain't seen no lead backhand. We ain't seen none of that shit yet. So. Yep. This is round hey, one, and this is his first ten rounder, right? Uh, I don't know. Let me, let me look. Let me look. It may, yeah, it may be a second. I don't second. think so. I don't think so. It may be a second because he <gasps> was a headliner, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't think it's his first. God bless you, whoever sneezed. Um, oh. oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> then what do you say after that? Uh, Cover your mouth. You all right? You all right? It's his... It's his second 10 rounder. Yeah, I uh again I, I get that first round of buddy though. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. What's his name again? McCall Sean McCalman. McCalman. Yeah. I give it to Sean. Fontainebleau. Joseph. What? Joseph Joseph in that chair. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm old. Hey, let me yeah. let me let me fix that. Let me switch out. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My apologies. <laughs> it's a crib keeper. Uh, the forward shift was bold, but at least he smothered with it. Right. He's a football player. It built like one. Yeah. <laughs> Good job holding the phone. All right, so a little guard discipline right there. Good. Good. You know, he oh. hasn't been using the low hand style this fight. It seemed like he trained to, to have that, like he knew he was going against the puncher. I like yeah. that he's not being cocky about it. You know, he's that's good. That's cool. Man, Pacheco, Pacheco being super cautious too. Yeah, uh, well, McCalman can't crack, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen him hurt some guys pretty fucking badly. Well, if you guys are happy, I switch to a less comfortable chair. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm kind of lunging in with that stab jab. You can switch. You can switch back when I get this. Uh, when I get this uh, Crip Keeper gift. Oh, nice jab from the <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing every time I hear. It. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I forget, man. That's my favorite rocking chair. <laughs> and unfortunately, no amount of WD-40 is going to help. <laughs> The WD-40 just rusts it. It makes it worse over time. Mm-hmm. That's just, just temporary. You got to use Vaseline. Ooh, nice swivel jab, bro. Mm-hmm. But he caught an uppercut after that. Yeah, this guy's not bad. Yeah, I'm telling you. You were right. Yeah, son, he, he possessed some shit that'd give Pacheco some problems, but yep. As long as he doesn't start making mistakes like later in the fight, he's very mm -hmm. physical too. That's it's that football. It's a nice cross from Pacheco off that. Wait a minute. Heavy. Football? Yeah, dude's a football player. He started boxing at like 17 and he's You've gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Wow, because most He's talented. Football players who they don't look like this usually. They've got the athletic gifts, but they're not nearly as uh, polished for, for or sure. coordinated. Right. They don't have that understanding. Like, you remember Seth Mitchell back in the day from the Spartans? No. You don't remember Seth Mitchell? I remember no. Seth Mitchell. He was undefeated, and everyone was saying he's the next American heavyweight champion before he got knocked out by Jonathan Banks. Damn. <laughs> yeah. yeah man shit happens you can get it knocked out by a regular ass fucking heavyweight not even a contender well jonathan man was always a very good light heavyweight cruiserweight fighter um and when he came wow. up to heavyweights yeah he had him he had some success hmm. but oh um, shit he missed that uppercut but hell of a oh that was like a up jab swivel jab yeah that's yeah, what i was thinking of like a up he's jab, giving pacheco he, some problems man yeah yeah yeah, I, oh, I figured oh, this would be the most competitive. That, bro, that last round, first of all, the first two rounds, neither one of them were dominant. So who knows uh -huh. who the Jazz gave it to? Yeah. Um, but I, I get both yeah, rounds to count. Was actually close. Well, look, if you're talking about the guy who's controlling range, yeah, you've got to give it to McCallum. Yeah, but you know that they. <laughs> Right. Look, and any more <laughs> Joseph, man, these judges have been going <laughs> yeah. man, been so far off. It's been ridiculous, man. Like, yeah. I thought we were looking at clean, effective punching. Mm -hmm. Apparently not. <laughs> now, honestly, that is the primary scoring criteria, and you only go to the – and once again, I have a lot of friends who are judges, right? And so they insist to me, and they have a they have classes and meetings all the time to go over this and study fight film and the primary scoring criteria, which means the only one that you record that you consult or, or follow is clean, effective and consequential punching. That's what makes it subjective. The clean and consequential part effective, yeah, right? And if you can't determine a winner from that, then you look at ring generalship or effective aggression. And that's actually considered a tiebreaker. OK, because chances are, if you're. You look at the one who's being the ring general, which one is controlling range, then there's a very good chance that your work is more effective. That's why it's considered a tiebreaker. But that's how it is. Honestly, that's what everyone should use at home when they're scoring a fight. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. Uh, I don't know what the fuck has been going on. The problem I, is some of these judges try to make it more difficult than it actually is. They try to make it more intricate of a process than it actually is. Yeah. Well, what you mean, style? By the way, Pacheco, at this point, at this point, Pacheco's. He's uh, waiting too long. He's, yeah, he's waiting way too long. Yeah, he's a counterpuncher. That's what, that's what I was saying earlier. He's a counterpuncher. Well, he's getting because of the disjunct rhythm. The uh, dis uh, the disjunct mm -hmm. intervals that he, this guy's using, yep. it's making it very difficult and freezing his ass. Pattern record, he can't he can't he's, find a pattern. You know what he looks like? He's starting to look like Anthony Joshua when Ooh. he's fighting Usyk. That's a, that's a good hook. that's a good evaluation, Joseph. And he did land a nice lead hand hook. He's working him on the inside too. McCalman mm -hmm. has a little inside game. 
I like it. Yeah, he's yep. completely um, befuddled right now. He needs to be more assertive and take the lead. The the ref is helping uh, Pacheco. I don't like it. And, yeah, and I, don't know was, I don't I don't know what he was talking about right there. I mean, oh, he's trying right. to disrupt the rhythm. That's a hold. He's trying like to hold. He's not holding. To me, bro. Where is he holding? He's not. He's, it like, it, it ain't even was a, a normal clinch. It ain't yeah. even a, a clinch. It's like a like he's switching controls. Like he's not just holding you and just clinching you. So is, did is working? Did, did Pachenko? Did he not wrap the arm? Right. Because it, well, look, look, you, uh, he's to do clinching. Is, this is what yeah. I can't stand about some pros, right? It's funny every time someone engages the clinch, you always see his opponent complying. It's like, why do they do that? Keep working. When someone grabs in the clinch, tuck your elbows and keep working. You can, you can, you can police that yourself. You don't need the ref. But too many of these guys, they comply and they give you something. They concede and they give you something to hold on to. I'm like, why don't these trainers actually practice work on that in the gym? I'll never yeah. understand that. Why are you letting this guy tie you up? But that's not happening here, though. Pacheco, he's wrapping up his arm when he extends it. Listen, listen, chat. Um, you know, it's cool that you guys. <laughs> I like seeing you guys score scorecards, but I'm telling you, it hasn't been a dominant Real. round from either one of them yet. So yeah. uh, you know, I'm telling you, you have no clue what these scores are. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We have we no have him up 3-0, but the judges probably don't. I don't I don't, I don't think I'd I think I'd have him 2-1, but 2-1, right? But I got a 3 -0. But still, uh, but honestly, still I don't I don't trust that at all. Honestly, I think I would have scored two of these rounds even. But you know, it really sucks that oh, judges. Yeah, why is that a break? McCallum is mad. Yeah, Ooh, the bullshit. ref is being too efficient. Yeah, dude, he, he's not even fucking like holding him. He's it's a let it work, man. Yep. You it's like this will piss me off. It's kind of like the ref is making his own rules. It's Isn't like that saying, a Harvey Doc? In fighting doesn't no, hell no. Hell okay, no. I hell no. Shit. No, you're right. You're right. Shit. He's maybe too fat. maybe feels like a fucking uh a, a restaurant owner. Yeah, he looks like he ate Harvey Doc. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nice jab for Pacheco. That jab is landing. That's See, the he's one got him in the corner. There you Why go. isn't he yeah, doing he finally, anything? He's finally doing something. Shit. Finally. Nice right hand from Pacheco. Don't break him, man. Let this dude work, man. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let mm -hmm. him work. Mm-hmm. People complain about fighters holding. He's not holding. He's he's punching. Yeah, bro. I could tell it. It, it kind of man. Yeah, he's that's he neutralized. He kind of neutralized a part of uh, McCallum's game, bro. He is, and that's why he's frustrated. He's not letting he's him work on the inside. And I could clearly see he knows how to fucking fight on the inside. And Pacheco doesn't know how to fucking. Or at least, it. or at least he's willing to work on the inside. I mean. Bro, the shit he's doing, a lot of people don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's not very assertive. I'm I'm surprised, actually. No, but I'm I'm telling you, Joseph Pacheco's a conservative power punch, um counter puncher. Yeah, I can see that All now. Like regular, set up work, traps. regular work, regular work. Uh-huh. And but McCallum, yeah, he needs to stop throwing his hands up. It's just work, bro. Because ref work. telling him like let go. That's why he's throwing his hands up. I'm, yeah, I got this, it's it's usually not. Goes. I mean, it's, it's definitely not him, the one that's trying to clinch with a hold. You yeah, know I mean? you look. He's holding that left arm. Mm -hmm. Like I don't understand what the ref's issue is. Yeah. yeah. It's just once the once he hears the ref complain, he's just putting his hands up to let him know, hey, I I ain't doing shit. <laughs> yeah. Don't start with that because I think McCalman knows the assignment. He knows that the the that the network's not on his side. So he's trying to make it dirty. He's trying to – he doesn't want them to have anything on him. I'm quite right, surprised now, that now, this guy's a football player. Now, bro, how the fuck do you score that round? Um, <laughs> one one for the ref? That was a hard – that was a really hard to score round. on that one, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he won a free coupon to the uh, Golden Corral Buffet. 
super middleweight Sean Porter. That's a good comparison. Not super accurate. Like, he's not exactly like Porter because he doesn't pressure. He's not a pressure fighter like Porter. Pre- Do you, you know, know what? Honestly, Sean Porter, I couldn't stand that, man. Like, when you see him in the amateurs, he fights very well behind the jab. Very smart. He knows how and, to box him, and, even and, in the pros. He, I've seen and, him. No, box. no, no, dude. And then you see him on the inside, smothers his offense, doesn't yeah. know how to throw combinations on the inside. He looks like a club level fighter on the inside. Too oh. hyper, just jumps inside and doesn't know what the hell to do. Like, mm-hmm. honestly, dude, it, it just it says worked, a lot about his worked, trainer, Kenny Porter. It, it worked for him because of his athleticism until he yeah. got to the very top. His footwork isn't bad, but, you know, he should have worked with a fighter or a trainer who actually knew how to teach the art of defending yourself and fighting on the inside. He just didn't have the greatest control game. He smothered his own offense like a... Yeah, bro, it was the it was the punches and everything, bro. It was all yeah. wide and all, you know, he didn't know how to short. He has short arms, but he ain't know he, how to shorten up his punches. He fought like a linebacker from the Cowboys. I mean, yeah, and he was a football player, so that's why I guess we're comparing him to McCallum. But you know, it's crazy though. In the amateurs, he looked really sharp. Mm-hmm. I was shocked, man, when he he adopted that style because he was fighting in a much taller um, uh, pro um, division, like forty-seven, and yeah, it, he felt that he had to fight on the inside in order to be competitive. And I'm like, Hello. dude. That little forward shifting uh, McCallum is doing, it looks like he's running a route, man. Yeah. That's kind of dangerous. <laughs> nice, oh, nice, uh, oh. nice counter. Chris Mannix agrees with you, brother. Oh, nice straight right. What do you say? Fuck 39-37 McCallum. Sure. <laughs> and, Chris yeah, and Kenton Massey garbage. in the comment section says the same thing. Never a good sign when your card lines up with Chris Mannix. <laughs> 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 Thanks for being here, brother. <laughs> uh, that was a weird swivel jab from McCalman, but it landed. Oh, boy. Yeah, they said McCalman looks like he has the edge on, but shit. The judges. I'm telling you, man. The judges got fucking Pacheco. Not a one, not not a one, not even none of these rounds. None of First them five were. rounds, none of them been dominant to either side. Yeah, mm-hmm. I I really don't like this fucking have ref, no man. fucking clue. Nice cross from Pacheco right there, though. Yeah, this fight is nice. reminding me of Roy Jones versus Bernard Hopkins one. Oh, come on, man. No, it's not. Yeah. Just I think you put it on a little thick, man. That that fight was not bad. I, I am. I am. <laughs> watch it. I could watch Roy Jones dominate in his prime any any day. Like it's just, I, it well, was it wasn't dominated. It was Bernard Hopkins. Man. Come on, but but I will Shit. say this. I will say this. It was much better than the main event that evening, which was um, Rick Bow defending his uh, against Ferguson. Was it Jesse Ferguson? Uh huh. Rick Bow really, he's, man. He fight. really, really sold himself short, man. He, he just didn't really make, didn't get the most, make the most of his career. Yeah, he wasn't super disciplined. No. David Benavidez has been. Oh, what the punch. hell, huh? bro? Benavides is drunk. He's lit as fuck right now. Oh yeah, man. Of course, he's training. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Oh yeah, ben- Benavides. He's, he's family, he's bro. Fighting, bro. Why yeah. is, he, is he isn't he trying to camp already? Yeah. Bro, Benavides is lit. I doubt it. Bro, did you he's like <laughs> y'all didn't hear him? No. Nah, bro. Oh somebody. shoot, let me turn this up. I'm bro, behind you, you guys. Bro, James, if you would have heard him, he said, Oh, these won't work in the hardest job. Bro, he's lit. Yeah, he's anybody crazy, heard man. anybody he heard Benavides? Sure. Everybody's I, saying Benavidez drunk as fuck. Yup, <laughs> see? Drunk as oh, fuck. Wow. He's he lit. Uh, what is he drinking? He's doing real good right now. He got a yeah. boy. <laughs> you heard that shit, dude? Yeah. <laughs> He's tripping, bro. Well, well. <laughs> He's too slow. <laughs> Forget the oh training, Cap. He is wasted, dude. Well, so much for Vosdick. He is <laughs> wasted, dude. <laughs> Is, unless he's um, <laughs> trying to do his best imitation of Melchick Taylor. 
Yo, what is the they gotta, they gonna fucking clip that. That's gonna fucking be on TikTok. Watch. He is hammered. Oh, what is the Roger fight? Oh, it's 20. June twenty. It's on. It's in the co-main event of Tank versus Martin. Supposedly, James. No, that's in the co-main I'm, event. Of, oh I'm yeah, to, yeah. It's it hasn't been announced. It's not official. I'm starting. To, it's all cap. It's that whole card is cap, but. I'm. I don't believe it. So it's supposed, supposedly a month and a half. Hey, this is what he used to do. Just, like, oh that's my what he God, sounded that like. Was weird, dude. Bro, he he's was. Lit. But what is he drinking? He's drinking something out of a water bottle. Dude, is he drinking Mad Dog 2020? <laughs> hey, is this, hey, I feel good. He's so lit, dude. Hold on, let me take a bit, let me take a deep breath. <laughs> I feel good. Yo, he then took all the attention from the fight. If all of us is talking about how Lydia is, imagine what the world is saying. All dude, the viewers he are saying was, the same shit, bro. Dude, he was, <laughs> I look, put it this way. We, oh, we've all seen Canelo drunk, and I've never seen Canelo that hammered. Never. <laughs> Viva Mexico, cabrones. Yo. At least he could open his mouth. And pronounce some of the Man, syllables. Hey, bro, it's rough, bro. I, I... He's yeah. way too officious. He just, she's just like, bro. Dude, you're starting to sound like Benavides now. Making his own rules up. <laughs> He's making his own rules up. I'm just joking. <laughs> bro, Joseph, he's like, who's working behind the job? He is working behind the job. He needs to let his hands <laughs> more often. He sounds like the stork on the Looney Tunes cartoons, dude. The ones that delivers the baby to the wrong wrong address. Man. Man. Dude, seriously, that guy was drunk. <laughs> that guy was hammered three yeah, sheets yeah, to the wind, brother. Like hey, uh, uh, next time you stick a microphone in my face, I'm going to stick it up your... Um, oh, no diddy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, stop it. Stop that's it. no Diddy. No, that was no Diddy. <laughs> oh, dude, that's terrible, man. Dude, can you believe all the stories that are coming out? Yo, I don't even want to get into that. <laughs> no Diddy. All right, man. And okay. yes, I do believe him because Diddy liked the party. Oh, jeez. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Everyone likes to party, but come on. No, no, no. Is... No, no, but, but Diddy likes to party. <laughs> dude, that's not my <laughs> idea of a party, brother. <laughs> Dude, whose right, idea is out of a right, I, I just heard it. I just heard it, man. I, man, that sound like he off a pill or something, bro. He's off yeah, for real. Shit. That guy's bro, fucked up, perking. man. It, it's like, yeah, it sounds like he's on more than just like liquor, man. He sounds like mm. he's, it sounds like he's off a pill for real. Mm, do you think he's? You think he's doing? Um, you think he's doing X? Bro, don't X don't do that to you, bro. No, 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 no. That um, that shit, that's Percocets. That's what Percocets. Do. Oh, you, you think know. so? Yeah, they have you seen? Oh, three. he's getting the you good good. People, he'd be like, uh. he's getting the good good man from his uh, conditioning coach, isn't he? Memo Heredia. Molly, you know, the ecstasy don't do that shit to you. Percocets. Really? Look, I no. wouldn't know. I've never done it, but I've, I've seen never, people at nightclubs, and they look like Percocets. freaks. I've never done Percocets. I've done a ecstasy, but Percocets, I've seen what they do to people. They do that. They'd be having dudes turn into robots. Uh, I see how dangerous pharmaceuticals are, dude. I I, I can't stand taking uh, any kind of pharmaceutical uh, pharmaceutical Bro, medication unless I can help it. The, the ref doesn't like, but Pacheco is like scooping underneath him, and he's mad that McCalman's pushing him, like pushing down on his neck with his elbow. Come on, man. Yeah, dude. Honestly. Chris Mannix should have terminated that interview, man. What? Like, I can't believe he kept trying to ask him questions. I know, right? He's Dude, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about you, but that ring card girl round number seven was straight fire, brother. <laughs> I'm serious. Dude, y'all y'all notice the same thing. I'm the only one with no filter. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not gonna lie, Joseph. I, ain't I got to a point, I got to a point where I like ring card girls are just Extra. I don't even pay attention to them, bro. They all look the yeah, same. Yeah, because you're, you've been spending too much time at Diddy's house. That's funny. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> dude, how could you not notice that girl, dude? 
I don't know, <laughs> Joseph. I just like I've been Dude, watching combat. Look, I know, I'm not be saying honest. you haven't been, but I've been watching combat sports my whole life. I just don't pay attention to these. Bitches. Dude, in person, come on now. Look, I could be in church and I'd still notice that girl. Come on, dude. I that was a that was the point where I rewound it and listened to listened to uh, Benavidez. So I ain't see it. No, you didn't. You didn't hear it. Oh, you didn't hear the. No, uh, or you no, didn't I see didn't see the ring. You didn't he see ring card girl it. number seven. You know, honestly, I'd rather rewind it to that. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that girl is straight fire, brother. And I never remark about that because I'm an old geezer and I don't want to sound like a dirty old man. <laughs> hey, Pacheco, Pacheco is definitely starting to land a cleaner, more effective punches, but what do I know? <laughs> They're going to give you him know, a fight. I, I, I agree with fight. Khalid, man. The girls in South Florida are nice. Yes, sir. But Ooh. look, look. Honestly, he's starting to He's looking like Pastinko in this fight, man. Now, McCallum, McCallum is starting to run up on a regular basis like he's a linebacker. And and he is starting to hit him on the back of the head, too. Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't blame the ref for this shit. Oh, you know what Emmanuel used Ooh, to say about big that? big overhand, though. When the ref used to uh, warn some of his fighters Ooh, about hitting the back of the head. I just seen it. Yeah, that was the hardest shot of the round. Hmm. Sorry, Joseph. This is a big overhand. I know no, 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 no. I'll, I'll tell you guys in between rounds. Right. Yeah, McCallum, <laughs> Let him go, bro. There you go. Calm is sneaking in some Mind good shots here. And there. Yeah, why is he staying on the ropes? Oh, that is a nice right hand, man, that he landed. God, I hate being behind you guys. Pause. I was just uh, – uh, no <laughs> that's a no diddy, bro. Yeah, that's no diddy. Oh, dude, stop it, man. Come on. Dude. Nah, nah, Joseph, nah. Been, you ain't been on the panel nah, enough, man. Nah. Dude, no wonder you didn't notice that ring card girl, bro. Come on now. <laughs> bro, there's like really, there's like only one ring card girl I noticed. It's just that one black girl from top rank. That's really it. I don't really know. I dude, know all of the girl. top rank girls are nice. I, 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 like, I don't know. That one black girl stands out. That's all I remember. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, don't know, I don't watch. I don't watch the shit for that shit. I watch it. For no, that. no, of course not, dude. Of course not, bro. Nah, the one with the crazy smile always stands out to me, man, because it looks like she doesn't want to smile. You talking about? Yeah, no, bro. Well, with, you with can one. always you can always tell in the eyes, gems. You talking about the smile? The PBC chick? Nah, I'm talking about the top rank chick. The blonde, the blonde. Yeah, oh, I know you got like a real, like face down there, look plastic, like frozen into the smile. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I know which one you're you know talking I mean? about, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it looks like that movie smile, right? You seen that movie? Right. Yeah. Fact. Yeah. <laughs> With the face. I, 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 I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that movie, but yeah, that's the face. That's right. <laughs> it looks creepy, actually, sometimes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like this little theater, man. Yeah, nah, that'd be it'd be dope to go to this. Not a bad seat in the house. Go to the venue, yeah, for sure. I like that's how, that on that upper deck. Yeah, that's how the Scottish Rite Temple looks. That's the place um, that we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna be doing ring announcing on May third, and obviously yeah. it's the night before Canelo. So round round mid ring on that second story. Hell yep. yeah, that should be perfect. Yep, beautiful. Not a bad seat in the house, man. I love it. Hey, and this is the very first um, event where I'm going to be singing both the um, Francis Scott Key Classic as well as the Mexican National Anthem. I'm going to be singing both. What the hell just fell out? What was, What is that? A hair tie? That was a hair tie, yeah. <laughs> it probably is a hair tie. Come on, ref. Throw that shit out and continue the fight. Oh, jeez. You gonna stop? My, bro, you did all that just to hand him that. Oh, jeez. You should have just <laughs> slid that shit to the corner and continue the Kick fight. Kick it out. Kick it out. <clears throat> bro, this ref needs to just, they need to keep him away from these bigger... Just like, do a uh, Mills Lane and kick it out of the ring, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, this ref is way too officious. Like, there's no reason to be. 
I don't like it when refs like see a clinch and automatically want to break it up. Like they're not waiting for you know to see a break in action first. Dude, you remember the fight when Pauly was fighting? Um, I forgot who he was fighting, but it was when he just became the IBF junior welterweight champion by beating Lovemore and Dew. And his very next fight, he fought overseas in the UK, and his hair weave was coming off. And they had to cut it in between rounds. Do you remember that? Yeah. Dude, freaking Pauly. <laughs> Yeah, I swear, McCown, I thought he. McCown, um, is to, McCown is starting to lunge and smother, smother yeah. just to get in the clinch or, and smother his own work. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, not gosh. not not good, man. Not good. Doesn't make for a very eventful evening at the fight. Nah, nah, it's terrible aesthetically. Yep. But I mean, I, I don't even. Matter of fact, I'm I'm thinking Pacheco won the last few rounds, but again, what do I know? <laughs> I agree. I agree. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Joseph, the only guy in the industry with a keyboard, Mike. <laughs> what? Stop it, man. No, it's just set up. It's right here straddled. I've, I'm using my SM58, actually. It's just, it's just I've got heavy hands, man. I was a, uh, I'm like a, a light heavyweight puncher, man. <laughs> no, it's, you can, it's. You can throw them I, hands, Joseph? Hell yeah, man. I used to be able to. I just couldn't take a punch. That's all. It's like someone no. would hit me with a nothing jab at the end of the, or like at the, like when I was young, you know, and I would spar and. Someone just popped me with a nothing jab and my eye would start to get black and I'd, yeah, my lip would start to get swollen and yeah, I didn't. Oh, you're, bru take, you're, you're a bruiser. You're bruiser. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't take punishment well at all. And that's the reason why I never pursued it. But I was fast, dude. I was really fast. I was like Linares. <laughs> Could dish it out, but I couldn't take it. Well, that's why I'm saying, guys, like most fans don't realize that your ability to take a good shot determines a lot Hell yeah. in this business, how far you go. Like a perfect example, look at Danny Garcia. Yep. Because he had such a tremendous chin that that, yeah, determined how far he went. Protect he really went far. With a clean right hand. Oh, you're right. It was Ricky Hatton. Whoever said that in the chat. You're absolutely right. It was Ricky Hatton. That his hair weave was coming off and they had to cut it off in the, the corner. Well, I thought they were just his braids. His weave? Yeah, it was a weave, dude. <laughs> it did look like braids, but it was a weave. That's weird. <clears throat> Yeah, I used to fight, man. Why do you think I fell in love with the game, dude? Right. You ever had any fights, like amateur fights? Um, No, no, I didn't. I just sparred. I got on late when I was in college. Yeah. I was fast, and I made the mistake one time of sparring with no headgear, and it got knocked the fuck out. Ooh. Yeah, and it was a headbutt that did it. Split me open, man, right over my eye, and that was the last yeah. time I ever put on the gloves and sparred. Oh, yeah. I thought I was hot good, shit, though. dude. I thought I was so fast. I was like, you can't touch me. Boom. Nailed me with a headbutt, split my head open, 18 stitches. Never did it again. Ooh, but God. yeah, man, Speaking every that, time. Hey, go ahead. Speaking of headbutts, McCown is starting to use his head now. <laughs> yeah. Isn't yeah, that slung, nice? Slunge and ain't getting a beat up. He's using the Evander Holyfield method of offense. <laughs> But that Holy field was slick. A... Look, look, Joseph. There was only two people I remember that could do it that slick. Holyfield and Beehop. They had the the art of headbutting like mastered. Fred. Yeah, yeah. Well, they would lunge in right behind that. They would lunge in with the straight right hand and then put their head down. 
I think you got to be bald to pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> Sure does yeah. look that way. Yeah, wait, yes, what's, what's, yes what's PBNC. I've got a glass face and a glass chin. Thank you. Tim, Tim will tell us the right techniques to use. Oh, yeah. Talk <laughs> about Bulba's head. Chingo. He might be listening. Tim, where <laughs> you at? <laughs> I tell you what, though, man. <laughs> no, I can't remember Tim actually uh, headbutting anybody. What? <laughs> Which fights? Like, what? No, I'm serious. <laughs> what, what fights? Uh, you uh, gaslighting Devin Alexander. Uh, oh, I forgot about that. You're right, dude. You're um, right. He had that battering ram, dude. What's the name? Um, God damn. Uh, what's my man's name? Not um. One of them yeah. punches he faced. He uh, saw Ruslan. Right, 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 Ruslan. Right, not well. I don't remember. I don't remember the headbutts in the Rouge line fight. I don't remember any headbutts in Rouge line. What's my man's name? Oh, was it um, Lamont Peterson? No, not Lamont. Because I thought he boxed that. beautifully against Lamont. He did. He did. That, he, he, that's a hell of a. Uh, that was uh, a beautiful performance at 140. What? Oh, Nick Campbell. What? The Galaxy Warrior. That's right. Campbell. Thank you, Campbell. Arthur. Yep. Campbell's one of them. Uh huh. That's and, right. The uh, Galaxy Warriors. That's right, Arthur. Thank you. I thought that was about to take a point off. And Ken and Kendall Holt. Yep. Kendall. Right. Kendall the Bolt Holt. Yep. yep. I would have told you we just had to be like the Jersey dude. I really like Kendall Holt, man. He's a good dude, man. Yeah, I met him once. Yeah, he's a really good dude. Um, he used to co-host my radio show about fifteen years ago. He's a good dude, man. Yeah, I, I would be very surprised they get this shit to McCallum. So, no, yeah. they're not going to. That's a stinky not- style. They're they're going to um, give the fight to Pacheco, just because. Yeah, yeah, he's not a ticket seller, and he fights in a stinky style. This is what I what I predicted happening. McCallum will get to the distance. It'll be a Pacheco victory. Oh, I tell you what, man, wake me up when it's over. <laughs> shit, a minute and nineteen seconds, man. I know, I know. <laughs> Enjoy that Shit. nap. Feels like an hour in 19 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it does. I feel like I just watched a Stanley Kubrick movie. Nice Jeez, overhand man. again, man. McCallum lands that overhand occasionally. I'm not too impressed with Pacheco for real. No, not Me at neither. all. I'm surprised, Dude, actually. Pacheco's not bad. Since I, tricks, who are you talking about? Pacheco's not bad tricks. It's, you know, factor in that this oh, style. Oh, I mean, you got to be able to deal with this style, though. No, it's I hear you. It's not too crazy to deal with. I, I, I hear you. Just... He, getting, he hasn't adjusted to that overhand. I've been seeing him get hit with it for rounds now. He's not. Yeah, right he's, right why that. not adjust to the smother? What? Where's the step back at? Exactly. Okay. If he a counter puncher, too. Yeah, he should have been counter. He's trying to wing the uppercut in there. Why not mm-hmm. step back, though, to six? It's a, yeah, it's a bunch of shit that he could have did better. I mean. Working with the David Benavides camp, too. I don't. Yeah, I don't get that one. I told you. Well, it's a bad sign, bro. I, what, I mean. Mm-hmm. Well, very few fighters today know how to fight proficiently on the inside. It's become a lost art, man. Well, I mean, we, we don't, no, I don't. I don't know. I mean, we're. We're not too like big on the Benavidez like style. Like it's, it's it's, it's very, very naturally gifted. It, it's like it's it's very incomplete. All right, so yeah, like, it's not something you want to teach in the gym. These dudes mm-hmm. see him training David, and I think they might think he's a better trainer than he. I I don't want to discredit Jose Benavidez Senior, but I I think he's overrated. I don't I don't think he's. I I wouldn't go to him to train personally. Of well, course I not. Again, I wouldn't say overrated because I don't know who's rating them high. Yeah. No. Um, I mean, if he's w- training guys like well, this, like blue chips, like dude. Look, if if you're comparing him to Tiafimo Senior, maybe you'd rate him high. I, I mean, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> then, um, what's the dude name? Then, Ryo Levo. Uh, Ryo Ryo Valenzuela. 
Yeah. I think so. Well, I heard him talking about him like he's still – I heard an interview with him still talking about Ryo and um, like like he was still part of his team. So, yeah, man, know. this is a – this is a – um, yeah, this is a – this was a terrible fight, guys. The thing – and the funny thing is El Ryo could have stopped De Los Santos. He hurt him. He even dropped him at one point. He did. But – but he he got reckless. He got that Mexican 50-50 yep. uh, with no controls, no defense, no smothering. Yep. Just leave your head exposed. And he got cracked. That's that. Right, I'm going to turn it up. Hold on. It happens in boxing, guys. Yeah. I suppose. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds here in Las Vegas, we go to the judges' score totals. Eric Cheek, 98-92. Chris Migliori, 97-93, and Dave Murray scored this bout 96 to 94. All three. Wow. By unanimous decision, he's still undefeated and still the WBO International and you as a WBC Super Middleweight Champion, Diego. That wasn't a, uh, an impressive performance. Not that he had the most, um, yeah, not that the style matchup was favorable, but, yeah, I wouldn't feel good about that performance. Uh, I mean, some adjustments just weren't there, but but I'm, the judging found it favorable. <laughs> oh, geez. I, think I mean, scored, I, I gave him the fight. I gave him the fight. Shit. I think I would have mo- uh, scored most rounds even. I scored at 96, 94, Pacheco. Yeah. No, what about 98, 92, body shot? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I'm just going, I want my money back. When, look, when there's no when when there's no one sided rounds or clear rounds, bro, you never know. You never know. Yep. Honestly, if I'm just going, I want my money back. <laughs> I'm serious. Why? Oh, from Pacheco? You, you mean like? I would have scored every him? round even. What do you mean? <laughs> I would have scored it a draw. He's, 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 <laughs> Joseph would have scored it 100 to 100. Yep. <laughs> yep. Do you really oh, think man. any of those guys deserve to win a fight? Uh, yeah, Pacheco no, won no, the fight. Dude. No, dude. I would have scored both rounds or both fighters uh, a draw. No one no, deserved think, to win I that think, shit. I think um, Pacheco won, Joseph. Okay, yeah, I think it started. I think some of the rounds uh, in the in the final final three four rounds, Pacheco won. Mm-hmm. But okay. was it dominant shit? No, but was I think it, he won. Did the, did the fans win? No. Then it's no, uh, ten no, ten. Fan, fans didn't win. Then it's uh, hundred to a hundred. Damn, Joseph. You gotta understand, Joseph, man. <laughs> yeah, he'd be gaslighting on purpose, dude. No, I'm all about the no, fans, he's dude. Not, he's not, bro. He's just talking. No, I'm about not. It. No, I'm all about the entertainment value. I'm actually, um, I look at boxing from a different perspective, and I don't have any favorites. My only bias when talking about boxing is the Shit. health of the sport. That's Neither it. do we. We don't have favorites here, neither. Of course not. But I'm talking about just the entertainment value and the business end of it. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I um that's my only bias is is it healthy for the sport? Do the fans walk away um content and happy? Are they talking about the fights on the way to the car? That's what you want. Are they talking about it the next morning over coffee? That's mm-hmm. that's all I want to know. Sports that's what horrible. I'm most interested yeah, in. They, the 98 92 was horrible. 97 93, I can see it. 96 94, that was my score. So. See, here's the thing about the scoring system, and this is what what kills me about the fans. That was not the worst score. They, they card. think I mean, way if, more egregious. Look, they, no, see, that's why I'm saying, what the hell is egregious? Because you could have a very close competitive fight, but if you can make a case for one fighter eking out every round, you could have a clean sweep on the scorecards. That's the nature of the scoring process. Yeah, and people think that, oh my gosh, that was such a close fight. 
there's no way it should have been that wide on the scorecards. You, then you're not, you don't understand the scoring system then. Right? Well, if you can I, make a case for Pacheco winning eight of the 10 rounds, then it's 90, uh, 98, 92. That's exactly why I was saying there's nobody dominating around yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly the reason I was saying that. You never yep. know what, what that shit's going to be. Yep. What what are the judges preferring to see? So I remember um three of them. So I remember there was one fight I was covering because I was doing PR work for one of Ronnie's fighters. Um is remember Edwin Rodriguez? Edwin Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. He was fighting Will Rosinski um in I think it was Atlantic City. And it was a really close competitive fight. It was a barn burner on Showbox. And Every judge had it the same way, a clean sweep, um, 100 to 90 in favor of Edwin Rodriguez. And he was like, oh, my gosh, the fix is in. They robbed me. And I'm like, no, dude, you could seriously make a case for Edwin eking out every round because he was controlling range. And punch stats were almost identical. But that's the way that's a flaw in the scoring process. If it's close and competitive, but you can make a case for one fighter barely eking out one of the rounds or every round, then you could conceivably call it a clean sweep, ten to one, ten to nothing. Why? Why? I mean, I don't know why the comments are going crazy over the, the scorecards. I mean, it was it was not a it wasn't a horrible decision. It wasn't like you know, what I mean, this this wasn't one of those moments like. Yeah, you can't we try far worse, this. Guys. That's that's absurd. Bro, if nobody if nobody in the chat was saying anything when I was saying that wasn't a dominant round, then shouldn't nobody be saying shit now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, bro, if neither side is dominating, fam, uh, <laughs> that shit is gonna be real subjective. Yeah, dude. That that honestly, David Benavides, that's gonna be um yeah, that's gonna be a meme, guys. From this. No, get forward. ready to see that in the YouTube shorts tomorrow. Yeah, that's I, gonna I be might, a meme, guys. I might upload that shit just just for fun. I just that seen a video bad, of him going to the corner. That was bad. That made him look really bad. <laughs> he was giving instructions. His tongue felt like the one one too. He just looked mad while doing it though. I'm like, Bro. why would you yeah, agree? Good. Why would you agree to do an interview? Like seriously, why would you agree to that? He just snuck up on him, uh, Joseph. He didn't even ask him. He just went, where was David Benavidez? Uh, David. What are you talking about? He snuck up on him with cameras and shit? No, no. They always on, ask bro. if they can do an interview live with you <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> th it's like they woke bro. him up. Like, honestly, well, David was, that was a dumbass. He's a yeah. dumbass. Yeah, he well, so he must really brain. think that he can. He, he's like... There's nothing wrong with him because if he can go up to the corner, give instructions, agree to a fucking interview, then he just doesn't know. He's he's he has lax self awareness. Well, he's that he's, drunk. people don't be thinking. I, well, he's drunk. obviously he's not thinking clearly, brother. Bro, some people would know. Hey, I'm drunk. Can we keep this motherfucker away from me so he don't fuck up my? Yeah, high? he should have done that. that. He no, should have done that. Like, like that was I'm that was God. that was horrific, and that this is gonna haunt him for high. a long time. I don't know how, why he would agree. I'd be thinking, man, this shit fucking, I'm not, that's a waste of weed. Yeah, this fuck was terrible, here. dude. This was really bad. And look, you're never going to miss it. Like in the immortal words of Ronnie Shields, you're never going to mistake any of these fighters for Rhodes Scholars. Yeah. They just don't use good judgment. Yeah, that was pretty fucking stupid, right? There. That was awful, dude. That really made him look terrible. That says a lot about Benavidez right there. That says a lot about prize fighters. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm talking about Benavidez is supposed to be the exception. He's like the way he markets himself or the way, you know, he's supposed to be this world beater. You come. No, here. they all party. Well, most of them. Look, anyway. man. Look, Joseph. Mm -hmm. Andre Ward had a saying. All right. He mm -hmm. said, if you've drank, smoked in the last 10 years, you can't beat me in a fight. Like, you know, what I mean, it would never like, and everybody. Well, it's hard it. to prove him wrong. Everybody doesn't do that shit. That's what I'm saying. No, 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 no. He's the exception, though, and, and, and he is a very rare minority. But like people Bernard talk about Hopkins Benavidez is the like, same way. But to be honest, those two guys are the only ones I've ever known that have truly lived the Spartan lifestyle. 
Floyd. Floyd. The ring. Floyd, Floyd drank the smoke. No, no, Floyd, Floyd, that's another one. He was a dog, man. That guy was a gym rat. Crawford. Sugar Shane Mosley's another one. Mm-hmm. Crawford drinks the smokes? Nah. No, 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 no. He lives the Spartan lifestyle. That guy is is the product of clean Devin living. Devin Haney? He doesn't drink or smoke either. He trains. Like that's there's a lot of disciplined fighters out there, man. All these like high level world champions, these dudes ain't all just getting drunk. Bro, oh, speaking, bro, them. speaking of that, man, I finally saw that crazy ass press conference where Ryan got up there talking about, yeah, I drink, yeah, I smoke. I'm 25. Oh my gosh, that was <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> you said that? Bro, that You're was last saw that shit today, bro. <laughs> look, he man, that's, look, that's, like, that's, bro, that's what happens. That's what happens when you make thirty million in your last fight. No, no, Trig. So he he came up there with his voice all fucked up, and he was yep. like, and and Devin was like, stop, stop fucking sniffing coke, stop drinking. Your your voice is fucked up, and he was just yep. like, I don't do coke, I don't do coke, and he's trying to prove that yeah. he don't do coke. So yeah, he, he, he thought he'd make himself look better by saying, no, I don't do coke, I drink and I smoke weed. No, he's <laughs> he's telling the truth. He smokes crack. Yeah. He smokes. Yeah, it's crazy. Nah. No, I don't. I don't sniff coke. I, I drink and I smoke. And then he was like, "What do you do, Devin? <laughs> Devin, what do you do? Oh, I drink gosh. and I smoke weed. I drink oh, and I smoke weed." Well, this look, wow. To, 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 to his that. defense, to his defense, Oscar was a Hoover man in between fights. But but when he yeah. when he when he started camp, he was a workhorse man. That guy. His workouts were legendary, Oscar. That guy was a machine in the gym. Yo, Oscar wait, 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 wait. Time out, bro. I got to go. I got to rewind. Did you say a Hoover? <laughs> 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 it was like a Hoover vacuum? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, he did. He did that shit like it was the seventies, brother. Oh, like I just it was Studio Fifty Four, yeah, man. He said he was a Hoover. I was yep. one. Oh, I, damn. Oh. <laughs> yep. He used to just vacuum that shit, huh? Just... Yep. Oscar was a machine, dude. Both in and out of the Teddy, ring. He put Teddy to shame, huh? Oh, stop it! Teddy doesn't do that, bro. He's a good family man, bro. <laughs> Hey, so I mean, obviously, we can explain these fishnets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there it is. There okay, it is. is a hell of a drug. Hi, is it? Oh, Rick James, yeah. I love it. <laughs> <clears throat> the most famous entertainer from Buffalo, was, New York. I, I thought it was funny. Joe Rogan was talking about that shit. The De La Hoya there, he was saying like when people talk about him like he was gay, and like they're like, no, it's it's just coke. That's just cocaine it's is just a hell of a drug. It's yeah. just coke. <laughs> yeah, dude, you right. just don't think clearly, man, on that stuff. <laughs> terrible, terrible, yeah. terrible. Yeah. Joe Rogan had me dying when he said, he's like, oh, he's not gay. It's it's just fucking coke, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that impresses me. It's fucking coke, dude. <laughs> it's, it's, it's coke, dude. That's that coke sounds good. You. That sounds good. To you, so. <laughs> well, Joe Rogan would know, man. Sure thing. Oh, that motherfucker's probably done everything. Yeah, That's but David scary. Benavides, I'd say he's on more than two or three different Bro, drugs. He's like, nah, that motherfucker. <sighs> I, look, I, it gives real pill vibes to me. I mean, I. Like Not honestly, really. that looked Percocets. that looked disturbing. Actually, they had a rap C&C 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 like that. that. It looks to me like what what I was thinking is he's on some lean. Oh gosh, oh, I don't even. Like what that, is that? What is that, that, that rapper shit? What is lean? Yeah, it's promethazine codeine. Uh, that cough syrup. Why the hell would you want to take that? It's it's basically heroin. Promethazine. You it's might as well like, do what uh, methadone. Liquid, liquid heroin. It's what these uh these you know these oh, drink so they could you know get slurred and shit. No, thank you. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, goodness. That's gracious. what he sounded like. It, but if he was on some pills, he's probably on some Percocets or something. I don't but know the, why he'd be the, doing that shit though. The only thing that I would do and that I've ever done is Jack Daniels. That's it. Sweet Amber. That's all. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I really don't miss it. <laughs> 
But I have to admit something, as if you guys didn't notice. Last, last weekend, I was going through some tough stuff personally. And so I actually fell off the wagon. And when I was on your show last weekend, was it last weekend or the weekend before? Yeah, I was, I was, um, I was uh, indulging a little bit. I had too many. And because I hadn't drank in a while, yeah, it hit me really hard. So my apologies, guys. It's, hey, it's all good, man. But uh, yeah, we don't got to do that shit over the air, fam. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're right, man. I'm sorry. And that's why I'm apologizing. No, no, no. I, I, I do have to. Because I'm sure more than one person noticed, I'm sure. I got you. And it's good therapy, man, to uh to admit that that your wrongdoings. Yeah, I mean. Um, but yeah, man, I've always been very fond of Jack Daniels, but I'm too old for that stuff now. But I will say this. Um I'd rather indulge in a couple of shots than take any kind of pharmaceuticals, opiates. Those things just, are downright dangerous, man. I just seen liquor fuck up too many people's lives. So I don't do any of I don't fuck with no type of drink. You know what? That's smart. That's very smart because you're absolutely right. It can uh, damage all of your major organs, including your kidneys, your heart, and your I'm not even talking, liver. About, I'm talking about I'm talking about people just, you know, become antisocial. They stop making people lose their jobs. People um, lose their kids. Well, people look, lose their wives. I've, I've, their I've seen I've seen I've seen many different types of drunks, and there's three different kinds, right? One, you're a depressed, sad sack drunk, and two, you're an aggressive, ornery drunk, or you're like me, you just like to laugh a lot and have fun. That's it. I've, I don't think I've ever been upset when I've been drunk. I've been loud and boisterous, but I've never been upset. Yeah. Well, you also don't really recognize the states you're in either. So that's what I was going to say. You might be a little bit of a dick. Last week, you were, you, I remember, like, that makes sense because last week you, you triggered the fuck out of me. I remember. And uh, I caught what did myself. I say? Man, I, like, all right. You asked me a simple question, like about why, like, basically, why Fundora would be as tall as he is, but never had to use his breech. And I had a simple answer, which was like, "Man, he never had to. He's never had to. He just likes to. He likes to fight people on his side." He was like, "That makes absolutely no sense not to no <laughs> one." <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, no. brother. I didn't mean to be offensive. <laughs> I remember but the I, comments. I, I will say I this. I had to but... calm down because dudes in the comments was like, body shot, man. I was like, yeah, I need to calm down. This shit is I'm not that I'm sorry. Serious. I didn't mean to be offensive. My apologies <laughs> if I am like, you. Because I'm like, man, it, like sometimes I feel like – I know I know uh, Gems does this shit, on, but he be doing it on purpose sometimes where it's like be combative just to gaslight me. You know what I mean? But – I was getting a little frustrated, so I like you know. Yes, I, 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 don't, I don't fucking gaslight you. You know what? Man. what oh, hold on, hold on. No, I've heard you that be, a lot lately. You be joking, like I don't I've know, heard like, that a lot. I've read that a lot lately from people. Yeah, a lot of people what using that, that goddamn word. What does that it's even like, mean? Basically, basically, it's like when you, uh, it's it's like when you're trying to trigger somebody. Either you're no, saying that something, means you're just fucking you know, with somebody. Either yeah, you're just no, either like you're that. either you. Either you're saying some shit that you don't necessarily you don't even like think is true, but you're saying it just to just to fuck with them, or it's like you're you're refu you're like refusing to hear them out. You no, know, you're no, 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 yeah, right, right. right. Listen, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. It's man, it's manipulation by or it's manipulation in some way causing somebody to question their own reality that's what that's started. what i thought right. it meant yeah, exactly so yeah, yeah, yeah everybody so uses it in their own thing. context it's, it's a that's what thing. i'm saying so like it's like in your line it's, it's kind of like you know well, you dude, say well that makes look, look, absolutely look. no sense i'm like shot, am i retarded right not, no but that's not yes i'm not i'm not i'm not getting offended body shot don't get offended from this but i'm gonna say that Dude, you have been at Diddy's house, bro. <laughs> I keep coming for you like that. Yeah. Now, now I'm trying to gaslight you, brother. Yes. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, body shot. I, I, I wasn't um, 100% in control, so I'm. I don't. I don't, I don't care, bro. Look, I, I'm not sensitive, bro. So, like at the end of the day, 
I fucking got over that shit two seconds after you said that shit. I don't thank care. you. I appreciate but that. I'm thank just saying you. now, like now that you mentioned that, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. It makes more That's sense. That's why yeah. you're such a dick. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Was I really being a dick? I'm sorry, man. My apologies, dude. I'm sorry. I'm not like that. Oh man. Only when I'm hammered. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so um, I think the strategy for uh, Lemos has got to be pressure, 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 pressure. Um, I don't. He doesn't stand much of a chance in the middle of the ring, in my opinion. Um, but we're going to see. You know what? Low clarity is actually right. Gaslighting comes from an old movie called Gaslight. That is absolutely correct. But I just didn't know why. I, like, honestly, I think people use terms nowadays. And they really don't understand what they mean. And Gems actually gave I, the I, accurate definition. I, I, no, that I, is I, the definition. I, yeah. I say that no. shit when I feel like someone's purposely like disagreeing with me or like trying to trying to be like combative or you know playing the devil's advocate for. No, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, so it would be true if they were purposely disagreeing with you and, and feeding you like false information. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. trying try and to make you second guess you. your own psyche. Yeah, 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 trying to make you right. Right. Well, so, I'm a, so why I felt that way is because I feel like I was being very simple. He said, why doesn't he use this? I'm saying because he never needed to. And he's like, that makes no sense. So I'm like, are you retarded? Bro? <laughs> yeah. like, see, that's why I, so I said that's like it felt like he was gaslighting. But again, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, 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 no. I told you guys the real reason why, right? Yeah. You said because it's because of his vision. I, I, it's because of his vision. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. But I was telling you why I initially thought that like, you know. A reason why, it's like somebody like him, would need to use it because shit, he bullies guys on the inside. So yeah, but why would you want to do it if you didn't have to? Yeah. Hey, that's Mary's forty of them. Uh, yeah, it makes for some entertaining fights. Sure does, man. He's always in great fights. <laughs> now, why would you, you think know? that? What? What you just said? Why would you think that? That's very you sporting should, of him, or you, what? Yeah, you you sure? Of his vision? That's gaslighting. No, no, no. I know that for sure. Oh, <laughs> no, shut up, no. man. What I, hold on, man, Joseph. Dude. What I just did is gaslighting. Well, dude, you know what, man? Oh, oh. You're <laughs> way too convincing, dude. Don't do that, man. Like, seriously, I've never heard you fuck with people like that. Don't do that. No, no he's exactly. definitely fucking That is me. way too convincing, dude. Really. <laughs> like, seriously, I can't tell when you're being sarcastic and when you're not. That's, that's I wasn't being sarcastic. I was just showing you what gaslighting is. That's really good, dude. Don't do that anymore, man. <laughs> That's what I thought you were doing to me, Joseph. That's what I thought you I'm were doing. I'm sorry, to me. dude. I was hammered. My <laughs> apologies, bro. I don't I don't want you to apologize. You're good, man. I'm just I'm just saying. Thank you, man. Thank you for accepting my apology. But but I appreciate it. All good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's because of his vision. Um, it's crazy too, man. When you when you meet him. He's wearing these Coke bottles. They're not just glasses. They're like Coke bottles. They're thick, dude. I'm like, wait a minute. Are you legally blind? Ah, uh, a little clearer. And he like can't that. see. He can't see three feet in front of his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make you question your ability to reason. That's what I said. Yeah. Got like, yeah. yeah. That's what. That's what Joseph had me doing last week. I was like, bro, am I retarded or something? He said it makes sense to nobody. Am I saying like, am I speaking gibberish right now? No, dude, I wasn't. Just, I was sound mine. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. I, I, I'm embarrassed about that though. Anybody. I was, was, I was doing week. so well. Y'all remember? I was, so I, well. I was fucking pissed off. I'm not gonna lie. Because I, I had been sober since December, to be honest. And so yeah, I'm 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 embarrassed about that. So oh, right, but man, anyway, I'm let me let me this, before this is it the fight starting now? Nah, <laughs> no. Okay, well let me tell you real quick my Kofi Luak story, right? And where'd I leave off? So I get a call from Emmanuel, right? It's the um uh, the morning of the weigh-in. I get a call from Emmanuel. It's like time difference. It's in Europe. And it's like, I don't know, four in the morning, my time. But over there, it's, yeah, um, a reasonable time where the sun's already up. And so I'm, I'm exhausted. And jet lag is kicking my ass. Mm -hmm. And I get a call. Hey, Joseph, you up? 
I am now, Emmanuel. Hey, uh, would you like to, to uh, try a cup of the most expensive coffee in the world? Oh, shit. Literally. Hell yeah, I'll get up for that. Well, just get down here as soon as you can. And so I go down there to the lobby, and he's right there reading the local paper. And he goes, I'm enjoying this too. It's $50 a cup, and I'm going to buy you one. Hey, man, I'll take that. He goes, tell me what you think. I know you're a coffee connoisseur. You grind your own beans and all that. So tell me what you taste in this. And I said, oh, wow, this is excellent. You can tell, like, I can taste a cherry flavor. I can taste chocolate. Um, but there's a root or something. That's not hazelnut. That's not. Hold on. What is that? Is that. What is that, a man? It's shit. And no, no, no. He goes, well, let me tell you something what makes this so expensive, right? <laughs> and it's uh, from Indonesia. It's a cat called the Savat. And what they did, there was a famine. And the cats, it's a cat that grows native on that island. And they used to eat all the coffee beans one year. And the farmers, they absolutely loved the coffee. So there was a shortage and there was a famine. So um, they used to follow around the cat. I was like, oh, no. He's like, yeah, they followed around the cat. And because it, the coffee bean, they would eat the cherry, like, still in the wrapping, right, in the natural casing. And so they would eat them, but their gastric system wasn't strong enough to enzymatically break it down. So there was still a lot of the coffee bean left. And they would follow it around, they'd pick up the shit, and they would clean it off, and they would roast them and grind the beans and drink coffee that way. And that's what you're tasting. Wait a minute, Emmanuel, I'm drinking <laughs> shit. Damn. Yep. And he's that's like, more, well, for fun. lack of a better term, yes, you're drinking shit. It's shit. Oh my gosh. And I just went nuts, dude. I just went nuts. You bought me a $50. And I'm like, oh shit. my gosh. And this is 50 bucks. You're paying to see me drink shit? And he goes, yes, it's worth every penny, motherfucker. And I was like, oh, my gosh, dude. And, dude, the whole rest of the trip, he was like this. You know what, Joseph? Embrace it. When in Rome, in, embrace their culture. And I'm like, shut up. Fuck you, Emmanuel. And so, every like, at the press conference, I'm, like, typing everything, right, on my word process. He goes, Joseph, Joseph, print this, please. When in Rome, Joseph. When in Rome. I'm like, fuck you, Emmanuel, on the plane ride home. Hey, uh, Joseph, can you hand me that pillow right there? Yeah, sure, Emmanuel. Hey, Joseph, win in Rome, Joseph, win in Rome. <laughs> so, I got, so, so let me ask you something. <laughs> Would you drink the coffee again? You know what? I told, I told my listeners this. On his birthday this year, coming up, I'm going to buy a pack, a pound of Kopi Luwak just for him. And I'm going to drink it live on the air and tell that it's story and tell some I mean, more stories. No, it's not here's bad. The, here's it's, the worst part it's about it. It's a mental it. thing. It, I, I would never drink it because I no, can't no, no. get over Here's that. the worst part about it. It was really good. It was fruity. I know it is. Yet it wasn't acidic. It was outstanding, That's actually. what they say because the stomach um, enzymes break down the acidity. Yes, in it the, enzymatically in breaks bean. it down, but you still have the flavor of the bean. So you get more, more of a pure coffee taste without the acidity. That's why it's the best in the world, but that's, I would never drink that's it. it. That's I, it. I can't drink shit. <laughs> but but, but I, I will say this. Yeah, it freaked me out at first. But for Emmanuel's birthday this year on, on my channel, um, yeah, I'm going to buy some Kopi Luwak just for him. And drink it live on the air and tell that story. And I'll tell a bunch of other Emmanuel stories. What did he say? When in doubt? What? What did he say? What he can, No, no, what no. He, he said, you? no, he said, hey, when in Rome, Joseph. When, when in, in Rome. Rome. Yeah. He kept saying that. Embrace the culture. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? Fuck you, Emmanuel. And like, so, yeah, he kept on fucking with me about that. Like until he died. Hey, Joseph. When in Rome, Joseph, when in Rome. I'm like, fuck you, Emmanuel. <laughs> but that's that's what a that's what a cool and smart guy Emmanuel was. He knew that's hilarious. He knew so much about so many things. And he was always the teacher. And he taught me so much about everything. Um, and he was so humble. He attributed 
um, he attributed him learning so much and him knowing so much to just teaching, right? He said, um, like one of the last interviews I ever did with him when, when he knew he was sick, he said, you know what, everything I've, everyone I've taught over the years that pales in comparison to what being around these young kids have taught me about life. That's how great Emmanuel was. Everything about him was good. Um, and when he was trying to tell you something and when he was stern, and when he said something in a stern manner, you knew to shut up and listen because it was important. And he always cared about your best interests. And that never, you never doubted that. That's, that was a manual. Everything about him was good. Um, right. It's about to start, Joseph. Yeah. But anyway, man, I miss the man every day. Is this for the IBF? What? Subriel Matias has the, the title idea. eliminator. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, this is by far. Um, if Richardson Hitchens um, gets it's away good. from this unscathed and he looks great, this is a real, <clears throat> this is a real statement, dude. Because I honestly, I think this is going to look like, in my opinion, if I had to guess, it's going to look like Adrian Broner versus Marcos Maidana. Yeah, well, it started and Lemos already on a little bit of pressure. I think Lemos is going to knock his ass out or at least win decisively. I hope Knocking so. him down it's several it's times. It would be fucking hilarious. This guy's a badass, and Richardson Hitchens has never fought anyone who's going to get on your ass like this. He's making a miss badly. Pure boxers uh, notoriously don't like nice pressure, so we'll, we'll see. Well, well, it's is um it look the reason why Adrian nice Broner and turn. Yeah, the reason why Adrian Broner was was there for the for the picking, right? Um, because he depended on being flat footed. He combined speed with power. Well, this guy ain't gonna do that. Hitchens yeah, will stay on it the looks like Richardson Hitchens on the balls of his feet. He's a big one forty pounder, man. Woo! Richards and Hitchens is a big dude, man. No diddy. Dude, quit saying been, that, man. No, man. It's, it, <laughs> hey, man, it's starting to sound like you've been at Diddy's house now, man. What are you talking house. about? Oh, my God. He's so big. He, he dude, I did not say it like that, bro. <laughs> hey, dude, that was no a, diddy, that y'all. A, Shit. Dude, that is it a sound like one. Joseph been at Diddy's I'm just fucking with you. Dude, are we still you talking know, about gotta boxing? You know I got to are we still talking about bikes? Ben, of course not. This <laughs> is doing a doing I, a fun I had to get job a back bullshit. No, no, uh, uh, Vietnamese coffee. Yes, I do love Vietnamese coffee. I love Ethiopian oh, coffee actually. Good. Thank you. Ken. Um, okay, the most finally snuck a power shot in there somewhere. He's having a hard time touching uh, Hitchens, but Hitchens can't do this for forever. He's gonna have to land something that. Yeah, I, I that can't stand. Up. I can't stand man fighters who are brilliant from mid to long range, but have nothing on the inside, and the only thing they have is to tie yeah. their opponent up. That's, That's what we call low, a donut second, fighter. Second low blow. Yeah, he punched him right in the hips. Mm, oh, big, yeah. nice, nice four from Hitchens right there. Jab. Yeah, Hitchens, he's at least going to have to back him up a few times with double jabs or whatever. But he's doing a good job spinning out little uh, overhand clips, Hitchens, right there. Marcos Maidana, part two. I can't stand, it's, it's man. A, it's 1-0, Hitchens. Oh, dude, I can't stand donut fighters, man. It's like, dude, you're so athletically gifted. Dude, learn how to fight on the inside, man. He knows how to fight on the inside. Really? Uh-huh. When have you seen it? You don't see the control game? He's, yeah, he's, I, he's, I said it earlier. Go check out the Alamo fight. He's he's actually oh, fighting. Okay. He's using inside fighting. He's just not punching on the inside. Because why would he want to fight that guy on the inside when the distance favors him? Just keep being the distance, you know what I mean? 
is what he, he won around. So I, it, it is. What yeah, it is. he's he's that controlling distance, sense. Joseph, and he's using controls on the inside to like to maneuver him out of the the ropes. Like Ward, right? But I'm just saying, it's just not. You don't want to do this for forever, so he's yeah, gonna have to sit down. Ward, Ward was a lot more aggressive, uh, uh, Joseph. Look, look. Either way, it's very um, ugly for the crowd in attendance. It's not a good look I, for boxing. I, I've seen Hitchens get clipped, you know, by either contenders or journeymen. So I'm not surprised he's getting he's getting hit. Uh, hit. But- he ain't got the assignment yet. But Hitchens is patient, though. You're saying Hitchens ain't got the assignment? No. Well, well what, most what do you important mean thing is as long as Hitchens looks relaxed, right? Then hey, oh, what do you fine. mean by that, uh, Jim? Good, good work in the corner. That's great work by Lemos. Boom. But uh, what, what do you mean Hitchens doesn't get the assignment? Oh, oh, cage, man. Cage. Is that the name of your dog? Kobe, yeah. Got him a month after Kobe died. Oh, yeah. That was rough, man. That was hard, man. Like honestly, I was I was in shock and I felt most most bad for his daughter. Yeah, for sure. Oh, geez, that was ugly. <laughs> your dog <laughs> gives a final stamp of approval. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, Lemos is winning the round. Yep, dude. Yeah. Telling we'll you, man. Half a round left. Broner, my Donna. Hey, it would be hilarious. Uh, Hitches is a little bit more defensively responsible than Broner. That is true. That's what I'm saying. But I'm. I'm what did you mean by he doesn't get the assignment? Um, just too much backing up, man. Too much, oh, too mm-hmm. much. Uh, like he's got, yeah. he's got happy feet even when he comes off the ropes. Like so, mm-hmm. instead of stopping in mid ring, uh, set. Ooh, big overhand from Lamos right there. But mm-hmm. uh, but instead of stopping, ooh. Mid-ring, always backing up, always backing up, always ending up on the ropes. Like eventually, you're gonna have to stop doing that shit, bro. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, you look in, in order to keep the bully. In the mortal words of James yeah. Dogie. Keep going. In order to keep the bully from taking your lunch money, you're gonna have to get his respect by punching him in the mouth. He just did it he's again. just I gonna mean, keep he's... coming. He's gonna keep coming. You're doing and, nothing uh, to deter him. People always ask what 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 is the best way to deal with the, a pressure fighter? If it, if you don't like honestly, the best thing to do like to deal with them is stand and fight. Having power, they hate power. But if you don't yep. have power, you gotta have an inside game. Well, look, you well, know it's funny. You have to stop them in their tracks with something. Well, no. Earlier well, this year, well, how about oh, how about good right hand? How about use a fucking jab, bro? How about control oh, some yes. with the jab with stab? Yes, jab look, at Floyd, look, right at look, look at Floyd, guys. Look at Floyd. No, look at Floyd. So I was just about to go to that, fam. These fighters ain't Floyd. I mean, They're not. so even look, even when you back Floyd up to the ropes, that motherfucker was excellent off the ropes. Yep. Yep. He was like excellent. James Tony. <laughs> James Tony. James Tony too. So I mean, these dudes they end up back into the ropes, but they don't have a game plan afterwards aside from you know clinch and turn. Do you right? know why? Do you know why they don't work on fighting on the inside? You've got to get comfortable, man. You've got to get comfortable in that place. It's like how you fight is how you fight is how you train in the gym. Definitely. I can tell he's never worked on this. And it's awful to watch. Awful. So he's not, you say he's never he's worked on what? never worked on a shit against the Rose, but I'm telling you. No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking this. about fighting on the inside. Because you, you know this, Gems. How you fight off the ropes is is you just it, exactly the same as you fighting on the inside. Well, it is only round two. It is no. only round two. And Doom might, Doom really. might punch himself out if he keeps up that pace. He not does. really. Not, you got a whole different posture against the ropes. Joseph, I mean, your posture is broken against the ropes. That's okay. that's the problem. Well, well I'm just I'm bad. just telling you what James Tony told me in the gym. He fights it. Well, maybe that's just him. He fights exactly the same way he does in the that's, pocket. That's just him, man. James, yeah, Tony, that's James just him. Tony is always going to use a lean back, always going to duck, always going like yep. right, James Tony fought the exact same because he's in a Philly chef. But but um, 
most people's postures broke against the rope, bro. You're right. Like You're they're, right. They're, so they're bent backwards most. Of the yeah, time. they forget they're to stand up. sideways. Yeah. yeah. Right. You're right. You're right. The pure boxer is not liking the pressure. Yeah, I told you. Most of them pressure, don't, bro. Pressure, pressure, pressure was his was his chance. That's his best, yep. Most of them don't, yeah, bro. Right. Now you see a stab jab. Let's see what it yep. do. Yep. This is why I like to see a boxer fight a pressure fighter, not a fucking another boxer. Yeah, because they very yeah, seldom they see this in, at the, in the amateurs. Very seldom. Do you see he this got kind of style right back in the, uh, use it going laterally away from the you know he's doing a really good job of cutting off the, the ref really yeah guys now, doing his look, thing. Yep. look if this was a different ref he could really fuck with Hitchens right now with all his holes. yeah yeah honestly it's really right. fucking with his head because this guy is making the ring nice jab for the most bro you Hitchens look at him, got... he's not committing he's actually cutting off the ring standing in front of him and he waits until he's in a stationary spot and then he starts to move in. It's really yeah. fucking with Hitchens' brain right now. Yeah, this is he's not this is not having a good round. He's uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. Uh, like this is not Lada versus Canelo. He looks uncomfortable. He's very, yeah, that pressure, man. That's what I said. I said, I don't know how Richardson is going to deal with the pressure. I've never seen him fight a, a, a rugged pressure mm, fighter. Nice, nice overhand. A two nice yeah, overhand. This, is why, I, um, this nice. is why I bet. This is why I bet 500 bucks on Lemos. Good shit. I hope you win, bro. I love this. I just plus six 500, three. brother. I'd love this, some, someone to shut this guy up, man. Well, let, Lemos is the litmus test for everybody, man. All right, Hitches, Hitches, is starting to, Hitches is starting to get to the inside now. Here goes his inside work. Mm -hmm. Got the frame on. Uh, he backed out in a straight line. Oh, terrible. I'm um, – Oh, my I'm God. Lemos is straight on the inside. I'm getting shades of uh, Devin Haney right now. Ching Gao. It's starting to frustrate me. Man, Devin Haney, look, listen, let me tell you something about Devin Haney, man. The only three people I've seen touch him up are like two weight, three weight division champions, man. Jojo Diaz, Loma, and um, and Linares. I didn't see him mm -hmm. getting touched up by contenders like this guy, bro. Or or, or journeyman at like at worst. Lemos, a journeyman? No, not Lemos. I, dude, I've seen previous fights of Richardson getting caught with the same shots. Oh really? I, yes, by either contenders or journeymen. What, like I, I can't tell you who. Wow. He's been clipped plenty of times, and you didn't see Devin getting clipped till he got Ooh. in a fight with Linares. Well, I tell you what, Lemos is a bad dude, man. He's uh, he's he's as tough as it gets, and he's going to give everyone a hard time at 140. He may not be the most skilled, but he may be the toughest overall outside of Super Real Matias. <laughs> Lemos is good, man. He's a tough motherfucker. Uh, they say he's at Lemos breathing hard. Yeah, I was saying, you know, he might like maybe Richardson's waiting for him to punch himself out because he's he was blocking all those shots in round two. Well, if y'all didn't notice, um, in the well, Zepeda fight, fight, in the Zepeda fight, even though it was a southpaw, it was kind of the same dynamic uh, throughout the first uh, few rounds, and then. And then Hitchens started to pick him apart. So what's yeah, the, Zepeda just just faded. He, Zepeda I mean, is not no pressure fighter though. No. Yeah, no. but that's what he was doing versus Hitchens. This yeah, guy, I mean, this like guy. I don't know why this guy isn't a special pressure fighter either. I mean, y'all see, y'all see uh, great footwork. Do y'all see jabbing in? Do y'all see? No, I you know, see relentless see? pressure though. Uh, yeah. Well, what does that mean? I mean. He's not following him around like uh, what's his name, Zapata was. He's getting touched up in the middle of the ring right now, though. Really? Yeah, yeah. He's just starting to hold his. When he holds his ground, I'm telling you, he has a little inside game. But when those he last two rounds, on this shit, those last two rounds from Lemos look better than any rounds Zapata had that whole fight. That's my point. I, mean, I don't remember that. He touched Zepeda him up didn't have a South good point. Zepeda never fucking touched him. I don't like that little swish you be doing. Yeah, he's starting to time that right hand, isn't he? And Lemos is getting some combos in. 
Nice work on the inside from Hitchens, man. Yep. He's doing a good job now of timing that right hand and stepping around him. Look at that, that uppercut. Beautiful hook yeah, to the inside. No, he's, he's doing yep. a good job of staying in the center of the ring. That's what he's doing. Yep. He's not backing up so much. And yep. he's actually trying to put him against the, the, the ropes. Excellent. Yep. There you go. Smother him. They switched southpaw, Lemos. Just got jabbed. Did someone just say Bitchinson? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. You fans are funny, man. That's a funny name. <coughs> you know, I heard somebody call him uh, Mr. Popo. That shit had me dying. What is that? What nah, that that's mean? crazy. <laughs> You know what does that what mean? Yeah. He's this character from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, you know, it's funny. My son's man, speaking of which, it's called Roshi. Go look up Mr. Popo. You'll see what I'm talking about. He, he, that, that shit had me dying, bro. <laughs> Pace slowed down. Hitch is looking better. Jeez. Yeah, my computer, keyboard's all screwed up, man. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a new computer. That sucks, man. I shouldn't have spilt my Kopi Luwak, man, on my computer this morning. That was a Hitchens round. I got a two-two. That was a big time Hitchens round. Yeah, I got it. This By one. far, his best round, man. Lemos did 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 land some good shots too. You got somebody. But but look, that's what we expect from the elite right they start to create that separation after round four five six that's what usually happens if you are that guy you're gonna figure it out and you're gonna create start to create that yep. separation and if hitchens is that guy we're gonna start to see that separation about now man isn't las vegas beautiful man adult playground yeah <laughs> <laughs> the adult playground, brother. I don't like Las Vegas. I love Las Vegas. Either. Look, nice in, see, here's nice, the, nice, here's, nice inside work from Hitchens to start the round, though. A little overhand from the most, though. Yeah, man. If you go for the shows and the food, Vegas is spectacular, man. Yeah, I hear that. For sure. But if you're a degenerate gambler, stay far away, man. Yeah, nah, I uh, I brown is actually like most of my friends. <laughs> I, I don't even like, I don't even like seeing the zombies, bro. That's what I call it. Oh, them. it's terrible. Yeah, dude, they've got this. You talking like, about the guys that have to buy like adult diapers and shit, and they fucking no, dude, bro. I'm talking about, you, I'm man. talking about normally, normally regular people turned into yeah. zombies. They do my fucking three, four in the morning, just walking yeah, around dude. gambling and shit, bro. That shit weird as hell to me. Yeah, I heard. It's silly, I heard dude. they said it's those silly. people be wearing diapers, man, <laughs> like all day. Like, like, like dude, I, 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 I remember I was at the MGM Grand mm, nice and cross. I saw this dude playing four machines at one at the same time, right? And I said, "Hey, man, oh, I'm sorry, his, what?" His, oh, his, oh, sorry, his, man, nice cross. I saw this dude though playing four machines at once, and I said, "What are you doing? Why are you playing four machines?" And he looked at me like I was offending him and he goes why not and i said oh, oh, oh shit God. sorry <laughs> nice that's when you know you have a problem they both landed low blows on each other but again it's just it's just decent on the inside i'm telling you i know that pace slowed down and it's in his favor of him so so the the work lamos is putting in is mostly like smothered Smothered, uh, winding stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Mm, nice, nice, nice. Too. He's bad. lunging, man. He's lunging too much, and he's falling out of position when Hitchens and make uh, Hitchens makes Look, a miss. And Hitchens, Hitchens starting to make him bend over for that stab yep. jab. So here comes the overhand. So eventually, yep. making him fall out of position and making him pay, man. It's beautiful. Yeah, I, I like the way he's fighting now. Nice little he's, body shot on the inside. And this is starting to discourage Lemos, man. You can see it. See, yep. he has the inside game, Joseph. 
You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right, brother. Ugly low blow from my mo. Look at the body. Look, look at the stats yeah, that holding him. Oh, Lemos is fucking just. Yeah, he can't, bro. He's not no. He's not no real inside fighter. He's just a. He's just pressure. He's dude. a brawler. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, just he's a glorified fight. brawler like uh, Sugar just Shane. Good. I got it. I got it through <laughs> Soul Hitchens. You know, you know what's funny it's though, man, is um, when I talked with uh, Sugar Three, Shane two, earlier sure. this year, we we're doing commentary. He said, "I don't care how tough a guy thinks he is. You test his body then." If he thinks he's got a great chin, no one likes getting hit to the body. And he was talking about his fight with Margarita. It was brilliant. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, body hurts regardless, man. Mm -hmm. When you hit that organ, the liver, oh, boy. That it's is just several. There's several spots, bro. I mean, yeah. Again, I've, I've, yeah. Uh, I've been – Solar plexus. I've, I've I've been a victim to that. <laughs> that shit. It's no fun. Before man. I knew how to before I knew how to breathe when you when you get hit like that. So yep. you know I damn there panic. <laughs> yeah, you slow everything down. Take deep you know, breaths. You, know, you gotta breathe out. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> nice little clip from Lamos right there. He clipped on with an overhand, but yep. again, again on the inside, Hitchens Hitch is getting the cleaner work off. Man, he, he keeps landing that right hand. He's going. He's trying to go crazy, and his name it ain't really working for him. It's it's mm, not. Nice he, he, he lands some some of uh, those right hands. I see him land like three of them at least. What's he warning him for? Uh, back of the head. Back of the head, but yeah, the last two rounds nice have been dominant. Yeah, last two rounds have been dominant for Hitchens. Oh, that was a nice uppercut from Hitchens. That's the ring card girl right there. Mm, nice cross. Yeah, he's really starting to uh, measure distance well. Let Doing him go. Really good job of that step, Man, so step this back is the with, This is the problem with Sam back at the head. Lamosa's positioning himself uh, – like ducked over his center line. So if he's ducking, <laughs> I mean, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Yeah, it reminds me of what Emmanuel Stewart used to say to the ref. Hey, if you don't want him hitting his hitting his opponent in the back Lamos of the head, then tell him not to keep showing it to him. All right, Lamosa did, <laughs> Lamosa did the famous uh, jump punch and nice cross. Yeah, Lemos is slowing down, man. He's getting beat up. Mm -hmm. He's stopping yep. his pressure. Yep. He's starting to get uh, think twice about it. Nice. Yeah. His is showing his, uh, he's, that he's more skillful. Yep. It's very impressive. And I'm going to lose $500, aren't I? Uh, unless he gets clipped by something. Cause it looked like he's getting into, you know, he's been in this little mode on the inside, and he's mm -hmm. he ain't letting up. Yeah, been he's been clipped. It don't seem like he's been hurt though. Yeah, Lemo or uh, Hitchens. I'm really impressed with his durability at this point. He looks like a complete fighter after the last two rounds. Told you, man. I Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I told you you can fight on the inside, man. Shut up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Are you? Do you ever get tired of being right? Oh, I ain't right all the time. Only I mean, I'm right about I'm right about what the fighters could do all the yeah. time. But predictions, yeah. that's tough. I mean, predictions are always tough at the world class level. Mm, nice jab at the end. Again, easy Hitchens round, man. Hey, were you surprised at the Brian Mendoza or two performance? Hell yeah, I was. You were, I, was you were I was shocked. You were here. <laughs> was, I, was I? Did I? Yeah. Oh, I was, wasn't I? That was the yeah. night I was hammered. You're right. right. That's that why smart, right. Dude. <laughs> I don't even remember that. Holy shit. 
Yeah, I no, guess he, he was like yeah. Mendoza looked like complete trash. He looked like you look like just a guy. Man, against another just a guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, that was embarrassing, actually. Y'all are funny. This is actually turning into a really good fight and a very good performance from Hitchens. Yeah, what what is this shit, man? What is Baumgartner talking about? No, oh, Chingao. She said, Clarissa, know what time it is. Oh, my okay. God. Mm, Are you sure she didn't used way. to be a guy? And, 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 and Clarissa yeah. Shields is girl literally. Girl like that, man. I don't appreciate Clarissa that. Shields is I'm sorry, what? talking about her right now. I'm my girl, I don't appreciate that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's your girl? Yeah, man. Uh, my apologies. Who's your girl? Oh, that's I, wifey. That's wifey, Chad. Alicia? Okay. Yeah, Chad. Yeah. Wifey, Chad. I thought oh, she, she was. Little, uh, she looked too aggressive for me, man. You can have her. Never mind. I'm not She's not beating me up. So I don't want to offend. Uh, I, I, I call him that shit now. And <laughs> you want to? You want to? You want to combat a bitch like that? Shit, I'm good. Yeah. She yeah. Ain't my good ass. look, dude. Boring, look, bro. She gotta be a bitch, bro. Chill. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my, my bad. Wow, <laughs> man. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've never been a fan with of uh, chicks with dicks, man. I'm sorry. No, nah, you trying to say she a true? All right, try to do it. <laughs> All right, come on, Buster. Yeah, not doing too She's much. fine, bro. I didn't say nothing about that. Dude, I'm look just... at that jawline, bro. Come on now. <laughs> now, for a boxer girl, you don't think she look good though? You be seeing these other girls. Come on now, dude. I'm sorry. The, the one man. who just won the WBC featherweight title earlier today—that oh, was God. the epitome of femininity compared to that one. I ain't see it. I don't look at it. Joseph, I'm Sky, a, Sky Nicholson. I'm yeah. Look at it. Joseph, I'm, I'm, I'm. That's a girl. I this seen white race. I don't know. Check it up. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm going to say it again. Chicks with dicks right there. Oh, my God. Dude. Yeah. You're tripping. All right, man. Back okay, to the in, in the immortal words of Austin Powers. Any, anyway, I don't even want to hear it. Here, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to say it anyway. Austin Powers. Oh. She looks like a man, baby. <laughs> Back to the fight, man. Yeah, yes, yeah. Who's winning this fight? It's, it's, it's now, now, Hitchens is having a much easier time from the outside, just killing him with the jab. Someone said, Joseph, I don't think you could pull a girl that looks like her. A man like her? No, you're right. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. It's Dude, funny. I'm sorry, I, man. I, I think Alicia is cute. I just think she her demeanor is aggressive. Nah, but she herself, like, she's attractive. Bro, Look, back to the fucking fight, man. God I'm damn. So I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna go on about this shit. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Jeff, God, he's damn. tired of this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. You're right. This is a very good fight. You're right. I just don't like girls with Adam's apples. That's all. Oh, he won't stop. All right. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to let you have it. That's all. I I'm decided to get the last word. Kind of. That's I'm all. I'm going to let y'all have that. Man. <laughs> it's Joseph. He keeps. He Why do you keep side. turning southward? It's not doing that. Yeah, it's not helping. I don't know. It, again, it's because he's trying to move, move laterally. I, I still think. It's probably close around because he started that dumpster. It is. End, but, it is. But I still think uh, Hitch has probably took it. We'll see. I don't think so. There's a lot of a lot of. Uh, you get that around the Lemos. Yes. Cleanest work landed was uh, the jabs, bro. That was a closer round, but I gave it to Hitchens. I think I think the judges would give the uh, aggressiveness because, like. Um, like Gems pointed out, there were very close or a very clean or very few clean consequential punches landed. In Yoel. This round. Yoel in there uh, yelling at the man. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know why you, he gave up the inside, though. He was in there. You've a, got it five two Hitchens? No. Huh? You got it five two Hitchens? Yeah, I still think Hitchens took the last round. Hmm. See, I've got it three apiece. I actually had Lemos winning the first three rounds. Well, it was round eight, so you gotta have somebody. Oh, win. never mind. Then yeah, it's um it's uh four three then. No. Yeah, I've got a four three Lemos. He telling him to throw the Brooklyn back in. <laughs> Is that what he said? 
Yeah. Throw the, mm. throw the Brooklyn back in around the guard. Luka. Nice. No money. <laughs> Brooklyn back in. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, swivel jab. Hurt hits us a little bit. Yo, Lemo's touching him up. Man, he touching him. Oh, he hurting him bad. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. shit. Oh, shit. Come on, baby. Come Let's on, go. baby. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> he still got his legs, though. He hurt him, but his legs never went out. Yeah, and he's doing some smart shit right now. As long now. as he got his legs, pushing man. him back, being physical, right? Yeah, turning much bigger him. guy, man. Lean on him. Yeah, Hitchens is in yeah. it. He's, he's not. Now he's not. back on the ropes, though. I mean, uh -oh. yeah. good, good uh, clinch. Limo say no punk. No. Uh, if he drops him, it makes this fight real complex. Yep, sure does. Oh. Because he's getting him behind the ears, why, man? I, I think something oh, hurt him, man, and threw off his equilibrium. But yeah, Lemos is going in for the kill. I saw Hitchens this looking at the clock. You guys see yep. that? Hitchens was looking at That's the clock. That's not good. That's, That's never not a good, good sign, Joseph. Nope. Crazy. Never good. No. He's got no steam on his punch. He's trying to hold. Oh, oh. Boom. Yeah, man. He you know what? He would have hit him with a hook on the way up. That would have been beautiful. Is, oh my gosh, match. man! He's in trouble, dude. Come on, Lemos, don't stop. Oh, big cross from Hitchens. Don't stop. Oh, I need twenty five hundred. Damn it! That was a good cross. Hey, hit. Hey. Uh. <laughs> oh, nice overhand from Lemos. Uh. Oh what wow, you talk, bro! What time stamp are y'all at, man? I, yeah, I don't know. I'm what at one thirty. This is the only person that's landed punches in the last 20 seconds. I'm at I'm, I'm at 34 right now. I just I saw him land an overhand like 10 seconds ago. You told Damn, me. Damn, dude. I'm he way did not behind. Land that shit. <laughs> man, Hitchens looks like he's he's still looking at the clock, man. Dude, this is a big <laughs> Lemos round, man. Man, yeah, uh, first of all, bro, yeah, I me. seen the overhand. It's not like 40. Dude, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not oh, at exactly. So dude, I'm not I'm tripping Driggs. I've got it 5-3 now, Lemos, man. 5-3, Lemos? Excuse yeah. me? Yeah. I had Lemos no, winning I the got, first three I rounds. I still got Lemos winning the round, but, man, that shit got competitive. What do you have at 10-4-4? 5-3. 5-3? See, I've got a 5-3, Lemos. Five, three, I had him winning the first three rounds. But Hitchens is in trouble. He He's a uh, he's leaving it too, like, you know. It's nah, too close. I, he didn't win the first round. It's too close for comfort. So, if I was Hitchens, I'd try to separate myself right now, and not. You don't think Lemos won the first round? No. No. Okay. I gave Lemos round two, round three, and then the last round. That's it. Really? Yes. Okay. That's it. Yeah, I don't think he won the first round either. I think Hitchens so has been you, winning. You, you you do realize the last round could have gone either way, right? Yeah, but I gave it to Hitchens. Okay. Very good. As he was long the as ring you general. acknowledge that, it could have gone either way. Because he was the ring general. And, yeah, that's what, didn't you hear what I, I said? I can, I can see that as well. I can see jo that as well. Joseph, you I hear what I said? I, said? I agree that with that uh, with round uh, seven as well. It could have went either way. But what I was saying is he's leaving it too close, like, for comfort, and he needs to separate himself. So, yeah, Indeed. definitely. She You're right. Close. It could be 5-3 either way, 4-4 four, four either way. You know, I really thought, I really thought that Hitchens would have, because the way he looked in round 4-5-6, I thought he would have just kept creating that separation. But I really like Lemos's character, man. Oh, that's like, good. Yeah, we all have it. Tough son bitch, man. We all, mm -hmm. we all have it 5-3. That's good. Uh, Mannix has it 4-4. Four, four. You know, Brian Castaño, I think someone said Brian Castaño vibes from Lemos. I think you're shortchanging Brian Castaño. I think he's yeah. a much better technician on the inside. Lemos hasn't thrown a punch this whole round yet. That was his first punch thrown at like yeah. two ten. Yeah, he's, he's gassed, he's man. The last shots. Round. Yeah. Yeah, he slowed down considerably. Either Hitchens has a beard, or Lemos don't punch as hard as uh as we well, think. He, hurt, he just hurt him the last round. Then mm -hmm. Hitchens well, must have a beard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm actually impressed with uh, Hitchens' durability. Because keep in mind, this guy's got a really good knockout ratio. I don't think Lemos landed a punch yet in this round. 
Not in this I, I agree. I agree. He's following around the, the yeah, puncher this right now. This motherfucker's got to be gassed. This is, uh, yeah, he gassed himself yeah. in his last, I, last, I last know, round. I, I, that's what I said earlier after I seen his second round. I was saying he's probably going to gas himself out. He keeps punching like flurries, you know. That's why I don't understand why um, Hitchens didn't go to the body more on the inside when he was on Somebody the in the comments told me he's not going to gas. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of punches he threw around. Man. Yeah, it sure was. I said a great fight, round though, two. man. And his is kind of taking a round off. I don't know why he went away from that inside shit. I mean, but still, he's he's a nice little overhand from the most, but nice cross from Hitchens. I yeah. understand. He's winning this round with a fucking yeah. jab. So Yeah, he's easily winning this round. Wait a minute. Someone said Matias and Cruz would have already knocked dude's head off. No. Who? Um, some someone stated, yeah. Matias I, I, might have. Matias maybe, but not, a, but not I Cruz. I, Look, I, I, Cruz I is it. so bad at cutting off the ring and closing the distance. He just fought a guy who couldn't fight. And that's all. In um in uh, Bobblehead, what's his name? Rolly. Yeah, he's Romero. touching him too. He was just eating it though. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And I I said that before the fight. You you're not going to be able to hurt this kid. It's Pitbull it's Cruz, it's low center of gravity, no neck. You're not going <clears> to <throat> hurt him. Bro, it's a hitching round by default. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. He's not doing anything but just following him around. Yeah, he punched himself out in that last round, man. We'll see how he comes out in this next one. I mean, it's literally now. I mean, he got in some inside work again, but and the most started to do a little something. But other than yeah. that, it was just a jab for pretty indeed. much, pretty much a half a half a round. I mean, indeed. But again, scorecards don't mean shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Our guys don't mean a damn thing. I'm just thinking of uh, Harold. How do you have it scored after round nine? Okay, casual. Jim. Yeah. For the casual. <laughs> this is that's a sweet science, baby. Twenty clinches around. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Casual. Yeah. Uh, well, look, I uh, mm. boxing needs as many casuals interested in the sport as we can get right now. Mannix gave that round to Lemos? No. Mm -hmm. No, hey, dude. Out, that doesn't surprise me, though, that, man. That's, that's, that's Chris that's, Mannix. That's good, man. I don't want to fucking... I don't want my cards to align with Mannix. <laughs> yeah. Shit. This is had a nice little sequence. I mean, uh, if it, again, if they had a judge that, that punished uh, Odin, then it might be something else. Yeah. Well... Uh, they started that, they that was Letterman, that. right? Harold Letterman hated that shit. And you know what? So do I. But still. Hitchens is gonna come. Most starting to come back on. It. Oh. Nice cross on the inside from Hitchens. Yeah, did you just take that round off? Yeah, it looks I mean it looks like it. Yeah, oh, that, that was right. a nice cross. Nice uh, body work from Lemos. Yep. I'll tell you what. Well, though, that was man, low. That, both guys have very as uh, have really impressed me in this fight. Both guys. I really like the uh, oh, intestinal. Big uppercut. Of both men. Oh, that was a big uppercut. Shit. Got him on the ropes. Go to work, man. See the ref wow. letting them work on the inside. Yeah, like, that's what he should be. Not just he's he's waiting for a break in action before he breaks it. Not that last. Yep. One. Sneaky. Oh, nice little. Uh, Let him right fight. Hand. Let nice him fight. Sneaky, sneaky body shots from. Uh, mm. Yep. This is a close round right here. Really close. Oh, cross, ugly. Mm -hmm. Nice body shot. This is a great uh -oh. fight, guys. This is trying to steal it. 
This is an excellent fight. Hey, great tactic to get a motherfucker tired. I wish, I really wish I was here live, man, seeing this, this one. Very few fights today I actually say that about. And Hitchens is clinching, but his goal is to is to pressure him. Oh, nice three. God damn. See if this if they had this ref in the co main, um McCombie would have had a better shot. This action is beautiful, man. Like, honestly, this is a fight, regardless of who wins and who loses. I want to see both men fight again. Dude, who do you give that round to? I limos. like, again, I think, I don't, I don't think it's a limo's round. I think Hitch is Maybe. Landed, landed both, both, I feel guys, like I both edged guys it to, have their um, spots. I feel like I edged it to Hitchens, but Limos put up a good fucking fight. Yeah, no, nah, it was a good round. It was a good ass round from, from both, but I think Hitchens landed the cleaner. I think I'm just seeing I it give it to I Hitchens. I noticed. Game. I noticed a few cleaner shots, like you said, and also I noticed he was being the ring. I, mean, I got skin in the game too, Joseph. So, but still, I still think he landed cleaner work. <laughs> you know what? You may be right. You may be right. Both guys did great work that round. That was a beautiful round, man. No, nah, but Hitchens was the ring general, and he landed the cleaner shots. So. Ah, this is a great fight, guys. Yeah. It, like, it honestly, I'm very impressed with both men. Like, I'm really looking forward to see them fight after this, um, regardless of who wins and who loses. Boxing needs needs more guys like this, more more fights like this. Yeah, but Hitchens needs to stop getting hit with shots, like the same shots over and over, man. Every fight. See? He's just trading. Well, it's, look, it's it was weird. you're a skillful yeah. fighter, man. You should you yeah, should be I don't, a know, I don't know what happened to the inside controls and all that type of shit. Like that, yeah, he just when his, mid -range, when his mid range the most got his best shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like well when you're tired like this, oh, exhausted, sure. um, and you've been receiving that hard pressure all night, you you don't think as clearly in the late rounds. Tell Telling you, Joseph, he was getting caught with these in round two and three when he wasn't even tired. And he's, oh, I, I've seen him in like at least four different fights, mm. five fights. He's getting clipped. Really? Oh, yeah, you have a really good eye body nice, shot. Nice sequence from Hitchens, man. Lamos is getting beamed with the jab now. Mm -hmm. That left hook Lamos. also, man. I see Lamos oh, landing. Oh, tackle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hitchens playing dirty. Oh, trying to get his ass left back. hook from Lemos. Nah, that was a Lemos tackle. <laughs> he pulled oh, him Lemos off. tackle. It looked like uh, it looked like Hitchens fell over him. I'm I don't know. Yeah, nah, Lemos grabbed him and pulled him. Oh, okay. He that, conceded to the clinch and he wasn't there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, he just gave him a little bit of recovery time. That was stupid. Hitchens is fucking gassed. Both of them are, man. This Lemos is a great is, fight. Is not a guest. This is a great fight. I love I love fights like this. This is an old school fight, man. Okay. The work rate. This is a that great little, uh, toughness. Little, this is a great fight. That little walk around from Lemos was a nice overhand. Oh, dude, that was a wrestling. Lemos. That was a toe hold by Lemos. Damn. Did you see that? That was like an old school WrestleMania toe hold, man. I'm yeah. at forty. I'm at forty-two seconds, Joseph. Ah, oh, don't rub it in. <laughs> I, I'm just not rubbing. I just don't know where. I, I think you just saw it. I'm at one twenty-six. Yeah, you I just, just saw it. Yeah. All right, so this is <laughs> this is the Lemos round for me. Definitely. <clears throat> Seven four Lemos. But again, I, is it nice dominant? From no. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it when it's a genuine surprise and you really don't know what the scorecards are going to say. Absolutely love it. Yeah, his is definitely uh, losing. It lost his technical form over um, mm -hmm. being exhausted. Um, seven, it's all balls now, brother. Yeah. I love fights like this. Yeah, I can see... Um, I could see 
Shit, I could see I could see six five pretty easy. I could see um yeah, six five, I could see it pretty easy. Either way. Twelfth round is twelfth round is pretty important. Yep. Who wins the twelfth is gonna win the fight. Look at this. Look at this casual fan. What? How was he a fucking hype job, bro? Man, get out of here. No, dude, that's terrible. It's like I'm really impressed with both guys. Like honestly, I'm really impressed with Hitchens as well as Lemos. He probably saying that because Hitchens is getting touched up. And that's like saying Michael Phelps. Hey, yeah. why is he so wet after uh, doing the uh, <laughs> 50, 50 boxing, meter? Man. Yeah, it's boxing. Well, You're gonna get hit, dude. Uh, well, what you gotta understand is we got fanboys of other fighters, and this guy talks shit about a lot of fighters. So there's a lot of people who don't like him. So. He does hype himself up a lot. like he You know, does. Michael Phelps is a really good swimmer, but you know what? Why is he so wet after the uh, relay? <laughs> That's just insane, dude. This is boxing. You're going to get hit. Yeah, you're going to get hit, but shit. He he talks like his defense is way better than what it is. But My defense. Yeah, I, dig- yeah, I, I digress. Well, that, don't have, that don't have nothing to do with him being a high jack. He's supposed to be confident in himself. Yep. Oh, I don't think I don't think, I don't think other hype people job. are hyping him up. Look, when you're fighting a guy like Lemos, him. you're gonna have to stand and earn your respect the hard way. I, I don't think he's a hype job. That's why I love fights like this. Like I'm very impressed with Hitchens, and the verdict was still out in my mind. But you know what? This guy's uh, this guy's good. He's just he's just ja- out jabbing right now. Yeah. But he uh, might lose around yeah, doing that. Does he think he's but way Lemo's, up on the scorecards or yeah, something? Lemo's, That's what I was Lemo's thinking. Doing, Lemo's doing what he just did. It's going to erase all of them. Just. Uh-oh. Chris I was going to say that. Up 105, 104. I was going to say that, Joseph, but I also think he part of it is just he's tired and he's trying to play it safe. Yeah, they're both exhausted. But guys, you got to bite down and you got to. One, two, nice stab, nice three. Yep. This is when you have to rely on your training and muscle uh, Hitchens is outboxing him. Again, a different ref. Yeah. It could have been different. I like this ref. Thank most God. Time, yep. The most yeah, time it, dude, it's like on. comes from oh, the nice of Frank hand. Cappuccino. Oh, nice old man. Lemos needs two knockdowns just to make it a draw on my scorecard. We'll see how the judges have it because um, – yeah, man, I'm I'm really impressed with both guys. Well, look, man, I so far I, again I got Lemos erasing all them jabs. I got him winning around so far. Yeah, I got him up now. This has got to do something. Yep. He's been active for too long. That come bro, on, yeah, somebody, somebody got to teach him a better way to to. To establish clinches, bro, and holds. I mean, oh, well, maybe he went to reaching, the school of Devin Haney. Out the hold shit is not it, right? No, no that's the Devin Haney school of tying someone up. Yeah, bro. I, I hate, I hate watching that shit. Man, and he, he's he just wants to make it to the finish line right now. Devin Haney has better head movement than Hitchens. I'll say that much, and he has better defensive responsibility at mid range. But he hasn't he fought have, anyone like Lemos yet. And he's more aggressive when he clinches as well. well. He, like, he, he may you know, not have. Not, it's, it's, but shout out to Lemos for uh, for taking the step backs when uh, Hitchin tries to clinch and throwing that overhand and landing it several times. Yes, but, sir. But that's a, that's one way. Jokes. That's one way you could deal with somebody trying to hold you instead of complaining yeah. about holding. Um, yep. But um, yeah, I think Haney's a little bit more aggressive. So I, I tell mm-hmm. I tell fighters that I work with, bro, be be aggressive clinching or be aggressive staying out the clinch. Either way, you gotta be. Either you gotta way, be, be decisive. Either way. Yeah, be you gotta decisive be decisive either way. And you're right, Gems. Be decisive either way. But you know what, man? Um, yeah, look, it's easy to say that Haney um, has better head movement, whatever. Um, but he's never fought anyone like Lemos. I got a seven, seven he, he five may, hits and I've and got a seven five the other way. He when may not have fought five, nobody. Like it could be seven five either way or a draw. Yeah, so, I've got seven five Lemos. So that shit was close, man. I loved it. I loved it, man. I want to see another one. 
But but Joseph, he may not have fought nobody like him. He was fought guys better than him, like Loma, who's a better pressure fighter, more calculated, more like intelligent pressure better. fighter. You're right. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. May not have yes. fought as rugged, but I think Haney would school this guy. <laughs> I don't. Um. This you know what? We'll see people. when he ends up fighting Supreme Matthias. We'll see. If because those guys are cut from the same if. cloth. Well, he already said he wanted to become undisputed at forty. And Matthias is not like this guy either. You're right. He gets hit more often. That so real Matthias, he's a he's that, a windmill dude. And Matthias doesn't know how to cut the ring off as as well either. His foot no, you're right. He worse. doesn't. You're His right. His footwork is way worse than this guy. You're right. Absolutely. <laughs> Someone's complaining about the disown commentary. <laughs> hey, it's Chris Mann. It's what do you expect? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, the same Mannix is racist. Here goes okay. the scorecard. All right, turn it up. After 12 rounds of action here at the Fontaine Blue, Las Vegas, Nevada, we go to the judges' scorecards. Tim Cheatham, 117-111. Whoa! What? Max oh, Luger no. and Steve Weisfeld both score this bout. 115 to 113. All three. By unanimous decision, he's still undefeated. Richardson. Oh, man. I have no bogus. problem with uh, 115, 113, but 117, 111. Yeah, 115, 113 twice. I mean, that was my scorecard for his. Nine rounds to three? Nine rounds to three? Wow, that's shocking, wow. actually, guys. One seventeen, nine 11. rounds to three. Wow. Now look, look. Jeez. I understand the scoring system. I just explained it, but can you fathom nine rounds to three in favor of anyone? Nah, nah. That's nah, absurd. Wasn't, wasn't that's that's absurd. To no. To me, uh, again, I told y'all, bro. Look, <laughs> if if the round's not dominant, never know what you're gonna see on each other's scorecards, man. You never know what you're gonna see. So it is what you're it is. What dude? Why is Tim Cheatham even dude? That's three scorecards in a row that he screwed the pooch. Yeah, he needs to go, man. That was Tim Cheatham's card. Wow. That was Tim Cheatham, brother. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah he's his go, last man. name says it all. Yeah, his last name is, is him. That's what he is. That sucks ass, dude. I'm sorry. Nine rounds of three. Tim Cheatham is a fucking... He's, and look, he's a, guys, I, like, I've been accused of being an apologist for the judges. I can't do that for this. 9-3? Yeah, that's God, not damn, right. I, I'm fucking just <laughs> pop in. Like, bro, have, have y'all been listening, man? Oh, man. No, Here goes. No, <laughs> no, that doesn't mean it was fucking fixed. That doesn't mean no. it was paid. That doesn't mean it's... No, a, no, it just yeah, means the scoring crazy. system works. The three judge system works. That's all that means. Two judges got it right. One of them got it wrong. Had an off day. Y'all crazy, bro. Again, again, your opinion don't matter on this shit, bro. If the <laughs> round is not dominant, you you will never know who the fuck won it, man. I it mean, could that's conceivably that's go up, either that's way. Very subjective. Yep. yep. Yeah, I'm not saying robbery, but that judge was um, that judge was off. But two of them got it right. I can see it being scored 15, 13. Yeah, it's, me, bro. it's only it's only real gay dudes that even think of shit like this. Yeah. All diddy. <laughs> 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 Woo. Nobody, nobody thinking about any sexual acts but you. Yes, it just means like that it. Tim Cheatham sucks. That's what that means. <laughs> this that shit is weird, great man. Or card. Dick sucking Hitchens, he's tripping. Get fuck out of here. You, you, you the one that got his nuts in your mouth. Keep talking about him. <laughs> yeah, for real. Who the dudes up here was going Damn, against. Yeah, do. Yeah, they ain't do too much with this shit. For real. Like some people think that hating on somebody, like it, it, it's not dick riding. Like no, because I'm talking shit. It's not dick riding. No, you you keep talking about somebody. It's dick riding. You love, <laughs> you love hugging and holding. Yet I was the one saying that the whole fight. If it's a different ref, it'd be a different story. That's you right. Know, you you know, did. Say that. 
It's yeah. probably too much in the motherfucking feelings, bro. Your panties was too wet. Yeah. <laughs> How is he hugging and holding yeah, when he bro. was actually using the clinch just to push him against the ropes and be the ring general and mount like mount his offense? How is that holding? The guys just don't understand what the fuck they're looking at if they think that's just holding. Yeah, that, no, that wasn't. Degree. No, no, no. Some it was bro, not holding. I, I, again, I, I even said it, man. Moving forward to to clinch and hold. Just on it on your own, like as a boxing move, is fucking whack. That shit is whack. That ain't it. I, I said that. They said he was hugging. All right, Wait a minute. maybe around twelve, but when he was actually yeah, fighting on the inside, was the only one I legitimately saw. That was the only one I remember. Other than it, that, it, all, everything before the only that round was was clinching in fighting. If you guys think yeah. in fighting, but, bro, hugging, but, but if you're but if you're a punk ass fan, that they bro, your opinion don't matter, fam. You don't know enough about this shit, man. Look, look, the stop, only stop, round stop, that resembled... Stop typing in caps because you're emotional. Chill out. Motherfucker got tears in their eyes typing that shit. Oh, really? Damn, <laughs> listen to the <laughs> shit we talk about. You better be holding this stuff. <laughs> oh, <ass> <laughs> that boy was Jesus running. Christ, and then that boy was hugging and he was running like LOL Seriously? YouTuber experts, bro. I, I guarantee you we're going to whoop your favorite fighter ass with the fighters I work with, bro. I guarantee it. YouTuber. Appreciate you. Oh, God. We love the smoke. We need we need you guys to keep us entertained. Niggas is gay. <laughs> <laughs> Just be fucking fanboys of a fighter man so there's always a, a angle you know yeah J, jxv bro he he like he's so delusional he got me saying shit that i had never said <laughs> what is this bro i'm the, i was the one saying hugging and holding the hugging and holding would be a whole different story if it was a different rep i said if it was a different rep he really could have fucked with hitches on that Again, he wasn't hugging also, and holding i also said reaching to hug is is not it but you know you forgot all that because you over there crying. He was clinching. He would. He was turning him. He was framing. He was. He was doing a lot more than just hugging, dude. And he was actually working. He was punching. He was manipulating his guard. There's a lot more going on. Like uh, I, if you listen to the commentary, you can hear us breaking it down too. But, you know, they just would rather say, oh, you guys are not. How the fuck are we not? Nah, that's, we're all, that's, all they, they, that's, that's all they see, fam. He was listening they, to Sergio Mora and, and Odo. I forgot right. his name. If you listen to us breaking it down, we're talking. To, we, we scored a 7-5 for fuck's sake. Like, we gave the guy, like, five fucking rounds. God damn it. Like, nah, shit. You know, like, listen, brown, listen, listen. I don't Yeah. They don't, need no, the rounds they, don't need no, they don't need no further explanation, man. Just stop being a motherfucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just letting them know all this shit they're talking about. It's like we were we were saying this shit during the fight, and you guys are talking about it after the fact, like we never said it. Fuck. <laughs> just way too emotional out here. Clinching is, is just that's the sweet science. <laughs> Matias will piece him up. I doubt it. I doubt it. Maybe. Actually, maybe. No. I got to think about it. Hitchens with that defense. When he gets him like inside. That, if you but... act like that in the fucking 11th and 12th round with Matias, he's fucked. Nah, the, so... Fucked. I'm wondering. Um, I'm wondering why he changed up strategy once he started to chill out and not move as much, and and started to hang on the inside and and really put in good work. Why did he change from that strategy? It was like round. Uh, I want to say round eight or nine. He mm -hmm. abandoned the strategy a little bit, started going back on the outside for some reason. Like, bro, mm -hmm. why are you why are you going away from what's really working? Because he was clear up to me, he was clearly winning those rounds, just like just like the rounds before it. Uh Lamos was winning clearly. And right. and the round Lamos hurt him. Obviously, he won that round clear. Mm -hmm. 
But nah, I think Hitch is, yeah, he got I think it's experience, but but nah, he's he's definitely got some shit to uh to learn. They definitely yeah. gotta teach him something better than that, you know, that reach to hold shit. Like that shit's gonna get you in trouble, man. But like I yeah. said, shout out the most for but but uh dealing with it from time to time with them step back with that half step back and that cross or overhand. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's like Hitchens at, at the end of a combo. It's like he'll just leave his head. He tries to rely on his reflexes to to move out the way of punches. And it's like you should just automatically take your head off the line after you do a combo. I feel like that's one of his like major issues. And then, like you said, what what he'll do to correct that is he'll try to reach out and grab you, punch traffic, hold or what or whatever you know, so he can like initiate the clinch or whatever. That's where he gets clipped. Jeez, guys. God. Still Which fighter would people. you rather be? What the fuck? Damn, man, I hate how casuals think. <laughs> Which fighter would you rather be at the end of that fight? Oh, my God. What? I'd rather be Hitchens. He won the fucking fight. How about that? that? Have been on suicide watch. They do. You must be talking to somebody in the chat, man. Nobody on this panel give a goddamn about Richardson Hitchens, bro. I mean, if we pay attention, I was saying I thought it would be funny to see him get knocked out. So that that's just me, though. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what happens. Yeah, I don't know between each other. Weirdos, man. <laughs> Weirdos. I mean, bro, get them on a panel. I bet the motherfuckers don't know nothing about boxing. <laughs> nothing about what they was watching. But so they, like, swear, they swear it's a robbery. Are we in the holding? Dude, like these people think we're Hitchens fans. This is hilarious, man. <laughs> this is hilarious. Like, <laughs> what? He was running and holding. <laughs> Man, he, he that's not that's the sweet science to y'all. Like, like seriously, man. I mean, if you were hugging just to like hug and get the the, the ref to stop the like you know the action, that's one thing, and you're doing it the whole fight, like Caleb Plant versus Benavidez, that's hugging. Now, but, he was doing it, bro. He just was doing it the whole fight. But, bro, I mean, again, if you knew something about boxing, if you knew what you was watching, if you knew the possibilities of, of stopping that from the other fighter, then you wouldn't be saying that shit, man. It, bro, just because, look, if we're in the ring, if we're in the ring and you reach to hug me, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's shit. There's shit you could do to stop it, man. I, I'm I'm tired of people putting the onus on the fighter that's 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 doing it to success, and not on the fighter that's not stopping it. But like I keep saying, shout out to Lamos. Sometimes he showed you how to stop it. Sometimes he'd take the half step back with the left leg, come around with the overhand. It would leave it would leave Hitchens just you know head over his uh lead leg or head over his center line. And then he'll get cracked with the overhand. That's exactly how that's exactly one of the things you could do to stop it. So I mean, he didn't do it more. His bad. His bad. Yeah, the like he's allowing him Hitchens to do this shit. Then you gotta figure out a way to stop him from doing it. Y'all motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing skill though, so you wouldn't know that. Nah, he was just hugging. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Yeah, man, he using cheat codes in there. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's a cheat bro, code. Who would you rather have been, Hitchens or Lemos? Lemos took no damage, man. Look at his face. He's a warrior. I'd rather be him. Like Jesus fucking Christ. Like, I mean, but, I don't know, bro. I, again, I, they just don't know shit about boxing, man. Fanboy but, logic. You can go watch, like- go watch uh, Zoo Harrison. See how you deal with uh. Somebody trying to hold you. Go watch. Go watch a bunch of fucking fights, man. I, but you guys don't notice it because you don't know what you're watching. Shit, go watch Floyd. He'll never let nobody hold him. 
his his avoiding the clinch games masterful. Cool for you. <laughs> Richardson clinches. <laughs> 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 See, that's what we like right there, man. Yeah, Give us man, something to laugh at. Funny. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, Cal, cool to project Super Chat. He said, appreciate the breakdown and commentary. Blessings to the panel. Much love, fam. They said uh, Benavidez already getting uh, getting shit on Twitter. Oh, that's why you mad because you sent a super chat. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for the money, man. I'm going to leave it up. Wait, that's the dude who was talking shit? That's one of them? What? One of them, yeah. <laughs> crazy, man. I appreciate the super chat, bro. You forgot to read the super chat, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Two old limos. <laughs> no wonder y'all was crying about the damn decision. But nah, he ain't win the first round. I, I don't know. You tripping? Yeah, nah, he, uh, he won the second. He ain't win the first. <laughs> anyway, hey. uh, Matt Borges appreciate Suja Helen Keller. Wouldn't have scored that fight 117, 111. What was he watching? Lisa Bumgarner in the crowd? Maybe. Yeah, 117, 111 it was a ways away from my scorecard, which was 7 5. 7 5 hitting. But 7 5, okay, okay, I hear you, fam. But 7 5 hitches could easily be 7 5 the most on how I do, fam. I say, I say 7 5 either way or a draw. But Man, bro, just to, to go as far as to say it's a robbery because you don't like clinching and holding. Man, bro, you tweaking. Nobody cares what you like. That's like saying, bro, I don't like threes in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> they always fast. But it's always a, a running gun three nowadays. I don't like them threes in the NBA. Are they going to change it because I don't like it? No. Supposed to have somebody guarding them. <laughs> <laughs> no warding for holding. That he was working guys on the inside. Work, work, work. Sometimes he was. Sometimes he wasn't. Either way, it wasn't excessive. These guys are tripping. No warning for holding, bro. So you mad at the ref? Hitchens doesn't know how to fight on his back foot? That's what you got out of that? It's <laughs> clear that Hitchens does not know how to fight on his back foot. He really needs to work. Uh, nah, that's the that's point of it. a pressure fighter, um, Matt, is that fighting on the back foot kind of favors them in a way. You know, He was having more success when he was fighting on the inside. He well, wasn't. again, it, it depends on what you mean. Uh, fighting on the back foot or do you mean moving backwards? I'm pretty sure he means moving back because we know that's what most of these dudes mean. Yeah. How many fighters can actually fight moving backwards effectively? If he was here, if he was here during a commentary in the early rounds when he was doing all that moving, I was the one saying something about it. I said he was doing too much. He's got happy feet. He was he was putting himself on the ropes because he was moving too much. He needs to get in the center of the ring. And start controlling distance from there. Mm -hmm. I'm biased. What's good, man? You said Hitchens doesn't know how to be first. He's first with that jab. I agree. I, don't I agree. I don't, know bro. I don't know if they're talking about anything else. Yeah, I, I, I think he's first with that jab. That's what I can think of. Everything else, maybe not. I I agree with that, bro. Sure. Yeah. But again, I know I know what to do to stop holding, so I'm not mad at holding. No lateral move. What? What? <laughs> oh, yeah, crazy. 
Yo, this is cool. Yeah. Well, well, um, hey, we have 160 people, man. I'll say that. Shit. <laughs> man, I can't even say shit, bro. I, I just had you look at that fight and see no lateral movement. Like, well, that was, <laughs> it was like half the fight. A quarter of the fight was lateral movement. Half quarter, yeah. So I know you were only paying attention to like like one or two rounds. Okay. Uh oh, I see Clarissa and Alicia I don't get it sizing down. each other up. You know what I'd be thinking? I think these dudes they be watching it on them them illegal streams and they be glitching and shit, so they only see certain parts <laughs> of the fight. It should be freezing up and all they see is holding. You're hella <laughs> funny. And the lateral movement. <laughs> and they freeze on the overhand for like five seconds. So yeah, they a little confused. Bruh, yeah. I mean, over what you say, yeah. <laughs> what did, who, what big what is he everything said everything Jim say is right? Nah, me and Body Shot disagree from time to time, but I mean it's a bet is better than what you talking about. Shit. Um, just not visually pleasing. I personally don't think clinches is the goods, right? But again, when you when you preface it by saying it's not visually pleasing, like I said, bro, to me, running gun three pointers is a visually pleasing in the NBA. That shit don't matter, bro. Shit doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I think of was visually pleasing or not. I gotta go back to what homie said. I trust. say he's not the goods, but by winning a title eliminator is crazy, bro. What do you mean? He's about to have a title shot. He's good enough for that. I trust gems more than I trust any of you keyboard motherfuckers <laughs> on any day. I mean, a motherfucker that has a proven, a proven track record. I follow gems data. Put, put in the work with over fucking three hundred some videos. I don't know what you guys follow, but I follow data analytics and shit like that. I, I, I'm in my feelings. Oh, I'm. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> you couldn't get to me. You couldn't get to me. I'm just. I'm just gotta let you know, like you know, what I mean that you. You can follow your emotions. That's what it sounds like. You follow your emotions. I follow data, and this dude's track record is proven. So there are a lot of. There if you think I'm in my feelings, you you know you, that proves you're emotional and you're in your feelings because I'm yeah, I'm yeah, chilling. He's, tro he's just trolling now, but there yeah, are no, there are a lot of super chats that. you haven't read. That's not true. <laughs> then you've never followed the stream because me and him have disagreed plenty of times. And we've gotten in many like debates where we've disagreed. So no, I don't follow everything he says. But I trust him more than I trust you. <laughs> uh, thank you, hoodie AP. I mean, I uh, do this shit professionally, bro. I mean, hoodie. I swear uh, to God. Yeah, yeah, again, I it ain't even really no explanation needed, man. I do this shit professionally, period. Look, Hoodie, when you have as much, like, knowledge as me, sometimes you might think that you're really seriously right, and you could be completely wrong. You know what I mean? So, when so like, Gems would tell me certain things, and I swear that I'm right. But I'll just listen to him because I trust him because he's proved me wrong so many times. I just listen to him. It's different when you've been proven wrong by somebody. That's that's part of the reason why I listen to him. <laughs> you know, like if you guys were to come up on this panel and talk to him, what the fuck would you guys? You guys won't be able to say shit. <laughs> the fuck? You guys would get roasted. You guys would get exposed. It would look bad. Yeah. But I talked to Definitely. I talked I talked to you know what you know what it'd be you know what would be the worst part? Mm -hmm. I, I let them I get them to the rope to hang themselves because I know y'all don't know shit about boxing. I mean that, that's all it is. But 
But yeah, you guys prove yourselves. I mean, you guys expose yourselves with these comments. I know so. this ain't. I mean, don't get it twisted, bro. This ain't no regular YouTube channel. You're not talking to a. You're not talking to a normal talking head. This ain't. <laughs> this ain't. Uh, I ain't gonna name no names, but this ain't them. Uh, dude, his name his name is Big Huncho, and he's on YouTube, acting tough at what he's probably in the East Coast, one a.m. one thirty a.m. at night, bro. Do you not have a job? Like seriously, man. He's just Charles and Bobby Show. Yeah, no, I mean, who was saying that shit? What they they said? I think this shit just be grown ass men, like, and they just be they be creating alt accounts and they just be trying to get it out their system. Was that you, Triggs? Was what me? <laughs> Somebody Same. said these trolls they just be like regular grown ass men, like. It was probably Dorian, and, <laughs> with, with, <laughs> and they know. just be trying to get it out their system. <laughs> <laughs> No, man. <laughs> oh man, these dudes be trolling. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, he was in Chad Dawson, gentlemen. Sheesh, 20 years. So, wait, wait, wait. So, you saying you went to the gym and immediately got to spar? After 20 years, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. He said he went a couple times. He went three times, then sparred. That's, I mean, that's still tough, bro. You went three times. That, I mean, that's three tough. Times spars is set up. Hey, hey, big huncho, <laughs> shut your big mouth and join the panel. How about that? Why don't you join the panel? Oh, uh, you can't let it go, bro. <laughs> trolling, man. <laughs> No, I, I, I'm I'm just saying, join the panel. He said his mouthpiece wasn't even motor, right? <laughs> he, he had time to blow that motherfucker. <laughs> his head gear ain't fit. <laughs> I agree, man. I agree. I saw, you know, uh, Lamos was just, he was folding on that stab jab. His, his guard is dropping everything, but he would, he would fold all the way over. So the o overhand definitely was there. Uh, no diddy. <laughs> My piece still in the pot. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, facts, Marcus. Anyway, uh, 117, 111. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -mm. 115, 113, all right. 117, 111, shit. And um, even my uh, 115, 113 for Hitchens, bro, I said that one of them rounds was definitely a swing round. could have went either way. I think it was like. I want to say like round seven or some shit. I, I don't really remember, but but yeah, I could have easily scored a six six. One seventeen, one eleven is tough, but once again, if there ain't no dominant rounds, bro. You, the rounds better be dominant that you think you win it. I could have seen it's five three for Lemos. I mean, 
115, 113. Yeah. I think it was, it was around. Yeah, no, nah, it's that close. It's either way, man. I think it was around either around eight. It was close. It was around where he was landing a few combos, but Hitchens was was landing the cleaner punches, and he was the ring general. Could have gave him that round. I think it was around eight, and then also I think around eleven. Yeah, I came away with one parlay. Yeah, Cheatham, Cheatham cheat him already fucked up three fights in a row. It's like every time you get a a, a bad scorecard, you're like, oh, it was Tim Cheatham. One parlay win. Mm-hmm. And he got a I look at that time about that two dollars. Shit, I think you're gonna make a lot more than two dollars if you if uh if Haney gets a knockout. Well, I didn't I didn't pick Haney by knockout for sure. <laughs> um if anything, I don't I got to see the odds, man. What are what are the odds? Let's see. Where's devil? Garcia by KOs plus 850 by decisions plus 1150. Haney by KOs plus 210 by decisions minus 165. Um, yeah, bro. If anything, I don't know. I might, I might bet on Ryan KO just for shits and giggles. I think that's really his only shot at winning, but. And I think the uh, the money line is bullshit, ain't it? Let me see. Yeah, the money line, Devin, is minus 900, man. That shit crazy. The over is minus 260, and it's at 10 and a half. Hmm. Marcus is possible, but not probable. I help train one fighter, but for the rest, I just do opponent analysis and strategy for their upcoming fights. Who you think has the fastest hand speed at lightweight? Yeah, I think this is the second time you asked that. I, I don't. Triggs, who has the fastest hand speed at lightweight? Now you put me on the spot like that. <laughs> Strong, Bro, because fast. you know what? Where did that come from? And I don't, I mean. Fastest speed hand power. speed at lightweight. Um, who's that? Maybe, maybe Carabosis. Yeah, maybe Cambosos. Tank, maybe. I don't know. Man, you got Tank, Cambosos. <laughs> nobody. He, he said nobody. <laughs> Kid Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Kid Austin. Uh, yeah, out of, out, of, out of top those, I, would, I don't know, man. I, you know, Tank might have... Tank might have the fastest hand speed, but but Cambosos throws them fast combinations pretty fucking quick. So you going in? <laughs> Richard is a disgrace to box. <laughs> Like, bro, there's no way you really watch boxing if you've never seen a fight like this before. Like, uh, ain't no way, bro. Yeah. Ain't no way, man. There's no way you haven't seen way worse. Like, 
It's the uh, Haney uh, Cambosos one all over. <laughs> Ortiz does have fast hand, but I don't think faster than uh, Cambosos or uh, uh, Tank. Shit, Dorian. Man, that's how it be, man. If you don't just get a complete blowout, you, you ass. Your hype job. And he's still talking about holding. <laughs> now, I'm not completely against what what they're saying. I mean, as far as um, look, what I'm what I'm against is ignoring the fact that Buddy could stop it. You know what I mean? Again, which is which is also skillful. Uh, but I'm not completely against the ref not saying shit. But, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, man, you can't expect the ref to, to, to fight for you, man. So you got to figure out a way to, you got to figure out a way to stop the holding your damn self, which again, at times he showed you, he showed you one way to do it. Richard was hugging like he was P. Diddy hugging Meek Mill. Man, y'all need to chill, man. No Diddy. They they just they won't stop with the holding, man. And it's the same thing every time. Like this is not he was, new. Like, he was what? holding. I mean, Hitchens showed that he's not perfect. He showed he's not Shakur. He showed he's not Floyd. Another thing, too, like, how many of y'all seen his last fight? Like, did you watch his last fight? And right, fight exactly. A, a barn burner? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, do you not know who he is? <laughs> I mean, we just saw the shit, literally. That's why I was, I, that's why I was making uh I was using the um, it was a pay to fight as a reference throughout the fight, even though that's a southpaw, but it didn't really matter. Like the style, the style matchup was similar because the pay could definitely pressure at times and sometimes he'll box. But that's what you saw tonight, too. So um, during the pressure parts, a lot of that shit looked the same with Hitchens using all that lateral movement and getting clipped from time to time. Like, bro, we already seen this shit. He talking crazy now. What Brooklyn block? What Brooklyn boxes is so? Brooklyn from? boxes is soft. These comments make me laugh, bro. This is hilarious. Where you from? <laughs> Man, <yeah. laughs> what Kendrick versus J Cole? Oh, the next question is say, what do you think about J Cole's this? <laughs> somebody asked you that before you got on by the chat. <laughs> For real, <laughs> bro. I had like three random people ask me that shit today. I was like, I didn't even fucking hear the shit. It wasn't that good, bro. It wasn't that good. It was all right. Man, mm -hmm. bro. His pictures look bad. There you go. Crazy, man. All right, man. Whatever, bro. He looked bad to you. He was running and he was clinching and hugging. Both Kendrick and Cole Cream. That's crazy. I mean, it's just completely taken away when he was fighting in the pocket. Completely exactly. Taken away the jab, completely taken away everything, bro. I mean, he did it look a good. He's so mad about about clinching. <laughs> did it a couple rounds too. <laughs> did you beat him? He said, "I fought a Brooklyn fighter in amateurs, and he was soft." Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, his example sample size is two. <laughs> the dude he fought and hit you. 
<laughs> so all Brooklyn fighters. Right. Yeah, man. Mike Tyson, super soft. You're right. He was not he was just Teddy Atlas said he was soft, incredibly man. Incredibly soft. Teddy Atlas said that he was just soft inside, man. So yeah. I believe him. I guess we still got to see if uh, Shoe Shoe was soft. I'm about to say, I was just about to say, yeah. <laughs> I bet you wouldn't talk that shit to Shoe Shoe. Shannon Briggs and Zav Judah soft. All of them are soft. Riddick Bo. Riddick Bo. Well, he ducked Lennox Lewis, so I don't, I don't know if I could really. I don't know. I got to take him out the equation. He whooped that ass. He ran the holy field, though. Yeah, but Jay Crows, man, your boxing knowledge is severely limited. Period. Against a strong, we'll do the same thing. What? Just boxing knowledge is very limited. So, against a strong athletic fighter, Shakur will do the same thing. You guys are not great. They are protected by boxing politics. A guy that holds and jumps back is not a great defensive fighter. Who are you guys talking to? Not you. I'm talking about the guys but, saying this. I mean, then we just see Shakur. Who are the guys? You you guys who are saying this, who are you talking to? It's like then, then we just see Shakur against a, a strong puncher or whatever. Because I don't remember anybody a here strong saying athletic fighter. Did, did you see a lot of clinching? Was it no. a lot of holes in that fight? No. I don't remember holes. I, I do remember him jumping back out of range, which Getting out of range with a reverse shuffle. When was that not defense? <laughs> I, I, at what at what point in history, in boxing history, was that not defense, bro? But when did anybody mm -hmm. on this panel I, like? Because he's he's saying that's not good defense. But when did anybody insinuate or even say that Hitchens was like some defensive wizard or of some sort or a defensive fight? Like I don't remember nobody saying that. Man, check. I mean. Even though the stats is fluid, check CompuBox. Like he don't get hit. What is like? What is we even? I don't care I'm what he do. To, I don't care what he do to not get hit. He don't get hit. He a great defensive fighter. He he don't get hit. What's there to really yeah, talk that, about? That, that, you can't talk common sense to him. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying so. <laughs> God damn, man. Great defense, you gotta you gotta start going crazy like Canelo and shit. You gotta start doing that. Yeah, that's great defense. They like the flat. They probably get defense confused like the flashy shit. Man. Mm. I don't I don't know what they what they think or what they know. Or I I have no. Isn't it? It clearly ain't much, bro. But but we talking about Shakur's defense. I, right, even I. Right, so say what he's saying is correct. So why are you not taking none of the other fights into consideration? You gotta like you gotta pinpoint the argument. Oh, he's gotta be strong and athletic. All right, so what do you mean by strong? What do you mean by athletic? Strong and now it's now now we now we going into a random fan's definition of who or who what's strong and what's athletic and who exactly that is and like these motherfuckers, again these motherfuckers bro <clears throat> I, I feel know, like so. half of the time these dudes be arguing with themselves they ain't satisfied unless the motherfucker got a face for the scar tissue Shit. Is Shakur the only runner I mess with? Oh my god! <laughs> Man, I mean, he was running in his last what about, fight. What about what about when he fights in the pocket? What about when Hitchens fought in the pocket? Bro? What, what happened? Was no, that, he was hugging. He was hugging. That wasn't talking. satisfactory. I mean, bro, he, he, was, was he was a bum. It didn't matter. It don't. It don't count if he. If it wasn't this fight, it don't count. God whoa, damn. whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no diddy. Nah, he, he talking about them though.
Shakur Perry game need work? Whoa, man. Okay. Nah, I thought he was winning them rounds. He was fighting in the pocket. I thought he started losing when he went away from it. I agree. So I'm saying, like, then you back it up with shit. Mexican slow footed fighters. That's all Shakur them fought? Exactly. Like, what? What are we talking about, man? This, I this just, dude right here. This was is what I'm saying. Y'all make points based off ignorance, man. The, 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 this, uh, or this now story. are you going to say, oh, we don't count the black fighters he fought? We don't count the. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we talking about, bro? We don't talk. We don't. We don't count the the Puerto Ricans that can move. We don't talk. Why are we just? You keep you keep <laughs> pigeonholing, bro, <laughs> and, and trying to pinpoint exa exact people versus versus sh sh uh, strong aggressive or strong uh, athletic fighters that Shakur have an issue against. Now it's. Now is he always kill Mexican slow flat like damn bro? Why are you being so goddamn pointed with your shit? And why is it never about skill? Why is it always some intangible like strength, athleticism, or nationality? I'm I'm confused. Is he saying? Didn't he just say? I don't know if he's he's one of them saying that Hitchens uh, just did terrible. But now he's saying that oh. Hitchens doesn't have problems with slow, flat-footed fighters. You're kind of contradicting yourself right there. Nah, nah. He said hugging and um, and jumping back isn't good defense. But uh, again, I mean, you, he's you watch a fight and and it's all you see is hugging and jumping back. Then clearly, you don't know what you're watching. You do we did you not see any head movement? Did you not see any blocks with the guard? Did you not see any catches or parries or you just you missed all that and went straight to what you didn't like? Uh somebody's mad in the chat. A lot of people mad in the chat, man. Come so on. somebody's really mad. Somebody's like, you know, really mad. <laughs> Dave, Dave, appreciate the super chat, bro. A lot of people moving and holding. Ali did a lot of moving and holding. People love him. Yeah. disagree with your entire chat so you so you and niggas that agree with you is the entire chat exactly again bro, I, yeah, yeah again i just i just speak out of ignorance uh go to sleep it's a good five of y'all yeah it's good <laughs> it's a good five six of you i mean i I'm right reading every comment bro <laughs> You see this comment? Oh my God! Nobody paying extra attention to you, buddy. You can't. You Rent can't get me with this shit. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> go to bro, sleep, bro. Go, go to sleep, sleep man. man. You still in this chat, bro? Go to sleep. It's not that serious. <laughs> We also think trolling is lame shit. <laughs> Appreciate it, Dave. Dave. <laughs> the motherfuckers had a half pack of light beers and turned to Teddy Atlas. It's I corruption. It wasn't for uh it wasn't to fight Matias, who's also on match ring. Nah, I could have sworn he had an IBF, right? It was like an IBF title eliminated. What Matias got? IBF. Right. Yeah. So he, he lining up to fight Matias. Check. And this dude really got my nuts in his mouth. Like, like really, bro. You gotta really like mm -hmm. 
<laughs> this dude can't stop talking about me. I think it's hilarious. It's because you keep mentioning it. That's all. That's what I, that's, I, the, that's I, the idea. Of the, trolls, the funny, you know? the funny thing is, I haven't mentioned him, but I've seen him put my name in like four different comments, which it is hilarious. That just means that's, that. I mean, that's the idea of trolling. <laughs> I I mean, oh, you he mentioned he mentioned me. I mean, I'm clearly I'm clearly reading the chat. I'm going down the list reading the chat. So, but a troll would think like it's success if you mention their comment. You know, what I'm saying? I know, Which, but how much of a life does shit, that, bro? It's, but it's but really I'm a some, goofy. How much of a life does really that mean some, that you uh, have? So you, you said exactly. So you're agreeing that you're a clown. It's really, it's really some. Uh, <laughs> not, look, let me show the world. You a fucking goofy. Let me show the world. I ain't got nothing better to do. That's all. Hilarious. Um, Ether. Out of here. Had half a pack of light beers and turn it. <laughs> I don't know why they so mad. They had they fight. They had that Mark yeah. Castro fight. I know that's what they like to see. Hitchens versus Regis would be interesting. But he had the same he had the same issues that uh he had with Devin uh Regis would. He'd likely outbox him the same exact way. I mean I heard if Jose, if you watch boxing, bro, it, I, this is nothing though. If you if you fight a unified bout, I heard that that IBF rehydration clause goes out the window is that true if you fight what if it's a unified bout they said the ibf mandatory like rehydration clause goes out the window so like if hitch has had a wba belt for example and then fought against matias he doesn't have to do the 10 pound rehydration oh, yeah i'm not sure about that I think Hitchens hit harder than Devin. You think hey, Hitchens got more power? Willie, if Willie anything, Pep, it's equal. Willie Pep um, can fight his ass off, man. Oh, I never saw that film study. So what did you no, think of that? Yeah, go check it out, man. Yeah, so it, I, it's, it's out there still. He wasn't no uh, Nicolino Loche. Nah, nah. Willie <laughs> Pep was nice. Man, that shit pissed me off every he time. Not, I don't know about that. I don't think they actually have proof of that. Uh, that that supposed round where he that he won without throwing a single punch. I don't think that's. I don't think that's actually on film nowhere. But but the motherfucker was nice, bro. I, he could he could he could fight he could fight everywhere, bro. Inside, outside, mid range. I don't mm -hmm. think so. I don't okay. think so. You, you couldn't find it. Nah, nah. Shit. I mean, it might be. Shit, you can look for it and let me know. I, I know who did win a round without throwing a punch, and it's and it is on film. Oh. Y'all don't know? Roy Jones. Without throwing a punch. Vinny Pazienza. That was a round. I forgot what round it was. He didn't throw a single punch and won the, and won the round. Yeah, I had to see that shit. Yeah. Yeah, Bro just exposed it. himself. Hmm? Like Boo Ennis. That's defense. <laughs> Richard and is running. Yeah. Yeah, you caught it, Dory. Right, yeah, what is... <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Maybe maybe English is not their first language. Mm. Willie Pep didn't use lateral movement, bro. Oh Lord. Come on, man. And do y'all actually yeah. watch do y'all actually watch? Boxing man, do you do you actually watch the shit you're talking about? Uh, 
Nah, Hitch has definitely got some work to do. He can definitely get better. Mo, appreciate the super chat. When you have time, look up a chart of the Dunning Kruger effect. I'm gonna look that up. But yeah, this is dope. This is this this gotta be what's his name? Dirt. Yeah, this is dirt. The Dunning-Kruger effect is a cognitive bias in which people with limited competence in a particular domain overestimate their abilities. That sounds accurate. Yeah, no, it's been mentioned. Um, one of the who? Somebody said that shit on a panel. Sound like something Jacob would say. Jack Crow is pretty super chat. He said, respect what you guys do. Keep up the good work. Even though we disagree, I believe we want the best for our sport collectively. I, I don't know what you want, bro. It's I mean, I what I want is on. What I want is on record a um, hundred times over. But again, so I don't know. In general, perhaps that's true. But again, I what I want is a maximum level of skills. That's what I want. I want the best competition and a maximum level of boxing skills. So a uh, part of boxing skills is learning how to deal with somebody that likes to clinch and hold. It doesn't seem like you're aware of those skills. Yeah, I mean, if Hitchens, um, the, the trouble is, Matias isn't great at cutting off the ring, man. But, but if Hitchens, uh, continuously, man, we got the. <laughs> we got the hair dryer on. Honestly, bro, that shit's coming from outside. I don't know uh, what the fuck that shit is, but I'll mute my mic for now. Yeah. Um, yeah, nah, if Hitchens puts himself against the ropes like he was doing, he gets them happy feet and doesn't stop in the middle of the ring and keep resetting with the real estate behind him, and he ends up he ends up in corners on the ropes uh, where, where it's going to be um, – him needing to clinch again and he reaches the clinch nah bro he might get he might get knocked out doing that against matias yeah i yeah mr sharper it's painfully obvious to me I just think it's funny how everything is a robbery now. It's just crazy. I saw I saw the amateur fight. How we get to Crawford and Boots? Yeah, oh, boots. you know it's gonna go there. Yeah, Boots fan in the comments. Kind of. 
Nah, PBC, the longest live is that uh that dreadful nine hours and fifteen minutes of um uh, of all things, the goddamn uh Anthony Joshua versus Ganu. Some shit I wouldn't even normally do. But they had some they had a decent undercard. All right, y'all. I'm out, man. Fuck it. All right, man. All right, yo. All right, man. Appreciate y'all.